this night. Oh. <gasps> I don't even know if I can copy. sing that, bro. WB might Yeah, that's so bad. That's what I was about to fucking say. <laughs> Be careful. Are we live now? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just pulling up the music, then I it'll okay. be good. So are we gonna go through the movie? Is that the idea of this? Uh, or are we... Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we'll take okay. in disagreements. And so break down the plot of the movie. Break down WB's shitty copyright. Don't say that. They're gonna sh they're yeah. gonna go after you even more now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I did this with the Flash too. So yeah, the Flash. Come get me. The Flash. I'm in this bitch. I'm in this <laughs> bitch. All right, I'm gonna put this on the platforms. And then once everyone's ready, it'll just pop up. I have a disagreement, but I'm going to get food. I'll probably take me about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. okay. Legos are not innovative, 0 out of 10. <laughs> that's Okay, that's not true at all. Whoever the fuck said that. They've literally been updating pieces and updating prints to figures all the time. Like, like, like since this movie came out, that like figures have even gotten better. That's just false. Ban that guy. <laughs> but uh, I will say that they've gotten worse in like quality control. Yeah, that is one thing that they have gotten worse in. And also, just not making Lego DC sets. They kind of just like put all their effort into this movie and then slowly gave up by like 2020 uh oh shit i should probably put up the words my bad my bad this is an agreement day yeah pretty much unless unless someone wants to try and take down the lego batman movie I had to check a few things. It was being odd. Oh, we're good. Alfred doesn't one shot. Negative ten out of ten. That is a pretty big plot hole. Yeah, like what he should have done in Arkham Knight yeah, exactly. to help Batman. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. I think the Lego movie is better than the Lego Batman movie. You're stupid. Personal. I haven't I seen think the Lego that... movie in ages. It's so good, bro. No, it's... I mean, it's good, but it's not it's Lego so... Batman. The movie has, has crap like... pacing. Okay. What is your, what is your disagreement and tell me why? Uh, we got a disagreement dis and tell me why. We got a disagreement okay. on the line. We got a disagreement on the line, okay. I think. Okay, call, okay, call on, call on. What were your problems with the Lego movie? Because I can, like, think of, like, maybe one. I cannot think of anything else. Um, I actually don't remember. I haven't watched it in, like, two years. <laughs> Exactly. So I can't shut the fuck up. I mean, we can yeah, watch it. I mean, we up. can we can watch Multiple it. Multiple fucking implications. I mean, I mean Multiple, pimping, no, no, pimping. shut the no, fuck up. No, 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 no. You too, buddy. You too, buddy. <laughs> All right, we have, have a disagreement. We right. have a disagreement. I'm, I'm, All right, hold on, hold on. We have a disagreement on the line. We have a disagreement already. Okay, we're we're quick. All righty. So, what is the disagreement, Pimpin? All right, it's an honor to be here. Um. Anyway, my disagreement is that the Lego Batman movie, it kind of, the, the pace scene is so often, even as a kid, it, it kind of ruined the film for me, as there are so many parts of the movie that I feel kind of just watered it down, especially like where the whole time where Barbara and Robin are trying to get Batman outside of that one cell he's in, it, it just goes on and on and on for like over five minutes, and it's just unbearably annoying. Like, Lego movies can definitely be annoyed, but at least it's funny. Like, the first Lego movie, we don't talk about the second Lego movie. That shit's ass, but still. Damn. It's just, and also, it kind of feels like more, uh, I get it, it's kind of a kid's film, but at the same time, it's just, even kids' media has shown to be more respectful towards Batman's characters of rogues, like Batman the Animated Series and the Batman 2004. So, okay, so, mm, so I, I okay. got a, I got a, I got a couple problems with what you've said. 
So firstly, um, uh, when when it comes to pacing in a thing, that is completely up to you. That's fine. That's I, I'm not gonna disagree with that. Well, I'm I disagree. gonna disagree I, with that heavily because I think pretty much every movie in the, I mean, every scene in the film is uh, yeah, is but, touching on something with the character. So when yeah, I when yeah, I think when I'm, it comes down to bad pacing, I think it's it's scenes that don't really add much. I think that the scene adds some character work to like how Batman is like, like it 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 like harbors like to the point even more that like batman is just like at that point just like just not willing overall he's very reluctant to work with people and it hones that in before the final act where we go into it it, it, it refreshes it basically and i think it's pretty neat and pretty cool that it does that before doing it because it it, be... it, anchor, it, it anchors the characters forward with barbara and batman's relationship as well to get that development because earlier in the film they were kind of butting heads but by that point, it's like they're slowly becoming like a friendship, and that scene is kind of necessary for that. I feel like it's necessary, but I feel like it could have definitely been handled properly without it making it feel like it was filler. You know what I mean? I don't think it was. It's just I, like... I don't. I don't think it's filler though. I think. Well, I think well, that it. Well, how is it filler if it's like so? That scene, like what it builds up to, is like Barbara eventually realizing that Batman doesn't really care about anybody but himself. So. And you also have to take into account if they don't show that kind of scene, like how Batman tries to, you know, break into the thing, uh, mm -hmm. it like they have to show that for the plot purposes to progress the plot well, forward. I understand that. I just kind of was hoping they would do it in like a different way. It's hard to put into words. It's just, well, I tried rewatching it a couple of days ago. That's how I felt about the scene. I still haven't been able to get my full thoughts on it, but that's just what I was thinking about the movie. Is it's been nice to talk to you all. I really look up to all y'all, but that was my disagreement. All right. All right. All right. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, you guys have a nice day. Bye. You yeah, you too. Sammy looks up to me. Right. I mean, he, <laughs> must, have seen, he must have seen the Peter Quill defense. Story. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, true. It's powerful. It's a powerful video. Yeah. Son of Gondor says, I would like to discuss whether or not the president lives at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, little little update on the Spider-Man 2 disagreement day. Um, something to keep in mind when that happens is that Comic Legend thought the City Hall was the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Martin Lee bomb the White House? <laughs> I mean, if it's bombing the fucking White House where the president is at. <laughs> I think S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Secret Service should definitely be a part of the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, Count of Lego Batman, should we start with uh, the black screen at the beginning? Oh, do you want to stream, uh... Oh, do you want me to pull up the movie? Well, we don't, we don't have to do that, we could just talk about it. We well, only have okay. to, like, pull up the movie for references. And remember, copyright's being a total asshat about it. Well, I can, I can, if we need it, and you, for like, want it, and I can just stream it. Only if we need it, but we don't, okay. we, we I'll, don't I'll need get it. it. I'll get it ready if we need it. Alright. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think we'll just need specific scenes if we, if we need it, but I don't <laughs> think we need it. On my site, it's, on my site, the logo for it is Lego Batman Film. Lego Batman Not even film. Film. <laughs> um, I thought Comic Legend was Australian. <laughs> no. Okay. Wrong, Liam. Yeah. Yes, Comic Legend is Canadian. What's yeah. the first point we're gonna go over? Like, what the intro does for Batman's character, I guess. Well, the intro for Batman's character, just just off, just 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 going into it, like the whole intro is just showing his narcissism and like all yeah. his character flaws and how he thinks so highly of himself. Uh, and then like, and then after that, like you go into uh, the house and you can tell, like you you feel that uh, he's like lonely, and, like you feel that sense of loneliness, and uh, he's like watching the movies like internally whether. I wouldn't say whether he realized it or not. It's just like he kind of wants. You can tell that he kind of wants a family, but like he's too scared to have one because of his trauma. Yeah. And like, you know, when uh, when Alfred is trying to get through to him, he's like deflecting, uh, what Alfred's trying to say back onto Alfred. He's trying to like call him crazy and stuff. 
like gaslight him into thinking he's the one that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, just doesn't want to listen. And then Alfred uh, tries to tell really him. It's a really neat way to establish character flaws very early on. And I mean the, we got. I mean we got to talk about the, in the darkest night. <laughs> Um, I make the bad guys fall. I, uh, one thing about the intro that There's I really, really appreciate. Heroes. Really, really appreciate. But on, I'm the on, best on, of all. Okay, on, on okay. two levels. Thing, two things I appreciate very much about the opening is that it is able, like, for the Joker segment where, like, he talks about all the villains specifically. I really appreciate that on, on like, a meta level, being able to get these figures from this movie as well. Just these obscure DC characters, and that's why I really appreciate this movie on top of it. As well as, like, yeah. how much research this movie did to the lore of Batman to, yeah. like, pull out some of these. Like, I, I sure, had, like, sure. like, like, still I have no idea who the Zodiac guy is, whatever the fuck. He's like, he's like the, he's like the, the light guy. blue yeah, is it got zodiac signs on him? I forgot like what his name is. You got like Anybody cra- in you got like crazy quilt pencil head. I don't know who the hell those people are to this day still. Pencil head. And I, and I love how Joker's like maybe worth a Google. A Google. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, they also well, what I wanted to bring up about the song is like the uh, the song that he makes is just like hyping himself up. It just shows another trait of like his narcissism and like his ego. Yeah. And also like they use the references of his previous like like adaptations and errors to like push forward a character moment of the let that let's get nuts mix is like obviously a reference to 89 but it like want to get nuts they use it for, come on let's get nuts it's it's a reference that works in tandem to like a character thing which is i think is probably the best way to do it i, I don't yeah. think we disagree with that anybody they here work in tandem my guy um i mean i have a question I have, I do have a question about this movie, that still um, is, because like I was talking about like this, it's about like the cat uh, who owns um, the Legos, like the people who play with the Lego. Do do you guys think that it's the same people as like the Lego Movie One, or is it like his friends, or is it like one of his friends' house or something? Because. Because it there seems to be an implication to some extent that it's like different, or like in a different area. Because we don't see any of like, like the Emmett or a, for example, or like any of the other like Lego Movie cast. I mean, we see Emmett in one of the. We we see it there, but I'm just saying, is it like, is this like his like, is this his like friend's house or like his friend? I don't playing think it's. With, I don't think it's his friend's house because, like, when you see like the snake clowns, it looks like the uh, his sister his sister's Legos from the second movie, kind of. Well, I would say that. Well, she has Duplo. Those aren't Duplo. No. Yeah. I mean, they kind of look like it though. They're not Duplo. You could. You. You trying to scale the Legos right now? I I <laughs> I have a very big knowledge of Lego. I'm a, I'm a um, Lego guy. I'm someone's Lego saying guy. Uh, it's better than Suicide Squad. I mean, everything is. That's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Which, su- which Suicide Squad? Which one I'm are we talking about? All, the all, Justice of, League. all of them. Yeah, all true, of them. yeah. Better than all of them, but I assume it's referring to Kill the Justice League because of the constant talks about that game. <laughs> I mean, I had someone in the comments, in my comments, talking, talking ass shit. He was saying, uh, I was trying to explain the standard to him, and he was like, well, if you think there's defenses for things, uh, uh, well, I, I just, within two seconds of thinking, I already thought of counters to your criticism, so I was like, okay. So, and this, mind you, this is a guy that, like, likes to lurk on my page, and he just, like, constantly leaves little mm. snarky comments. So I'm like, okay, bro. We've had six disagreements, now seven. Six disagreement days, and where you at, pimpin? Never been there. <laughs> where you at? Um, you think you'd Leonardo be here now? Leonardo Fillhead said, "The first Lego movie established that there's different worlds. This movie keeps that consistent." True, there are like uh different tables, like we see in the first movie, of like the pirate ship stuff. So I think it, I think that's fair that it's just one of the other tables, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Or, or his, uh, you know, new Lego set could have came out. That's why Batman probably looks different, too, in this movie. He's got a different uh, different costume. New Lego set came out, so his dad bought it for him. So we just added to the city. Maybe they added a new table <laughs> specifically for this movie. I'm just waiting for uh, the Lego Spider-Man movie to come out where it makes fun of previous works and even the fandom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's... The sad thing is about that is that that's just never going to happen. Like these, that's never going to happen. It's because, like, for one, it's Warner Brothers, and like they can't like do that. And second of all, oh, Warner yeah, Brothers Warner gave Bros. up. Are... Wait, Warner yeah, Bros. Warner... owns Lego. Yeah, it no, it owns the it owns. Okay, Warner Brothers owns the Lego Movie IP. So that's yeah. why. That's why it's on. That's why you see only like DC characters and stuff. That's why they don't. They Star Wars is in the first one because like it was still like there was still like deals and stuff going along and stuff like stuff. But by the second one, they weren't allowed to be in it. That's why like it's only DC stuff, yeah. mostly in the majority of the stuff compared to Marvel, um, which is really unfortunate. Well, that in Warner Bros seems to just hate money or like basic happiness or basic because, human like... intellect. Because like yeah. Marvel, like if looking at this with the lens, like Marvel, Lego Marvel was like one of the most popular Lego themed. Like it genuinely is. Like the Raimi Spider Man sets from two thousand and four, like like up onwards to now. Like those like the the Raimi sets like have like nostalgia value similar to like the old Batman Lego sets as well. Um, it'd be neat to see a Lego Spider Man as well. I don't know. I mean, I don't really so. You said they own the Lego Movie IP, so like they, if someone they, was to make a new Lego Movie universe, like not connected to the 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 movies we have now, would that even would that count? Like, what if Marvel uh, wanted to make a deal with Lego? I mean, they can. They 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 They've frequently work. With them. Yeah, they frequently work with them. They they. It's very weird because they have made technically technically they have made Lego Marvel movies. Yeah. They are uh, like the like they're shorts. like yeah like the little fifteen like, minute the, things. Yeah, the fifteen minute like things and stuff. I think they even made like a one recently on Disney Plus. Um, but I it's saw like one not with Loki where he's just super strategic mindset or whatever. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> um, we, we obviously know Marvel can use Lego stuff. Like they literally put it in a cross. So. Oh yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, uh, WB Marvel's a bit smarter with their uh with making projects. I wouldn't I, I say a bit like maybe too lightly, but like cuz they <laughs> they seem to also hate money. Um yeah, they seem I to think, hate I money. Think, I think a Lego Spider-Man movie would go really hard. There's a um there's actually an animation from a guy who did like a Lego movie styled like Spider-Man short where it had like Lego movie action in it let's cool. find it are you talking mm -hmm. about the, the like the 16 year old kid that that, that he was he was he did the movie but this is like a different like oh, this is man. a different this is a different guy instead of lego marvel they made the lego ninjago movie oh yeah i remember I, that i love that movie i think it's super underrated that movie i've, I've, heard, I've people, heard people say it's garbage that people hated it. but lego ninjago I mean, is i love this show as a kid Okay, I so like the people show as a kid as well. people hate it because of two things. Firstly, it's not like set in the same universe; it's its own thing. Like, uh -huh. it's it's like in its own thing, but doing its own thing. And second of all, that like it looks like people like consider it to look a little cheaper, which it technically is because not everything is like Lego bricks. It's similar with this movie as well. Um, where you notice, like, the water isn't all Lego bricks like the first movie and stuff like that, and in Lego Ninjago it's more explicit with, like, the forest and stuff, and that literally puts mm -hmm. it off of people, but, like, the story is actually pretty neat. There are some really neat things in the Lego Ninjago movie. Is it connected it's pretty to funny. the, uh, show? No, it's not. No. It's not. That's, that's why people hate it, because it's, like, no. it's not even, like... Well, I know the, uh... uh <laughs> I know the one clip that always floats around, it's like... Lloyd. My, my name's Lloyd, Dad. That. No, my I favorite joke. L -L -L my favorite. My favorite joke in that movie is, "How can I even ruin your life? I wasn't, I wasn't even, even there." there. <laughs> 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 um, but all right, let's get back to the Lego Batman movie. Um, yeah. 
So after... I like how Joker uh, talks about his plan in the Dark Knight about the two boats, or the, his plan in Batman '89 with the, yeah. uh, with the what was it? Whatever money parade. The Prince music. Uh, I like the little references they've got. Like yeah, those plans failed in this universe too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I also just like how like Joker kind of forces like he's out to prove the point that he's like superior over all the other villains. Uh, yeah. And like he forces Bat, he's like basically the one that you know makes everything in the plot happen, and he uh, kind of forces Batman to grow as a character. It's kind of mm-hmm. weird to an extent because like they kind of try to do like the two sides of the same coin type thing. I don't think it works as well as it does in like other Batman media, but like it's still there to an extent. You mean you mean two sides of different coins? <laughs> <laughs> two sides of two different coins, bro. <laughs> I, I linked the uh, the Lego Spider Man animation in the chat by the gotcha. way. Really, really I'll catch it cool. at some point. Yeah. It's really cool. Um I also think it's neat how like Batman he like pushes away like uh you know, people trying to help him and like his uh friends and family and like in Joker's thirst for his plan, he uh also pushes away all the other villains that were like trying to help him and shit. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think they use Dick Grayson really well in the movie as well. They, uh, he's like a, he's like an opposite parallel. Children can be cruel. The joke, the joke is so good. I'm I'm surprised they got away with that in this movie. I was surprised as well. That reminds me of the part where it's like, he's talking to him and like, um, he sees Barbara for the first time. It still makes me mad, because I don't think they credit Forest Fire at all for that joke, if anybody in chat knows who I'm talking about. There's, there's, there's the scenery looks at Barbara, and then the song plays, and I don't know what the song is called. That is, I very much feel like they saw, like, one of the people working on the movie saw Forest Fire 101's, like, old Lego stop motions, and they were like, we gotta use that joke somewhere. And I don't think he gets, like, um... I don't think he gets, like, any, uh, like, reference to, like, doing it, which is kind of mm. annoying. I might be wrong. I mean, they could have credited him in the, uh, things. In the I, credit. I, I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't, I would not know. I didn't catch I don't him. even know what's referencing, so. Um, Batman 89 is, is 35 years old this year. Damn. Damn, that's old. That's old. <laughs> yeah. Um... But, like, yeah, Dick, he, like, represents, like, an opposite parallel to, like, Batman, whereas Batman lost his family, and so he, uh, he wants to push people away, whereas, uh, Lil' Grayson wants wants a family after losing his, because he's sick of being yeah. alone. So it's neat that they go about that in two different ways, and then, like, by the end of the movie, uh, Batman kind of sees the, uh, influence that he's had over the kid, and, like, changes him for the worst, kind of. Um, I think all the all the characters in the movie they they represent similar things with how Batman needs to grow, but they go about it in each or each of them go about it in like you know semi different ways. Like Al, I think Alfred represents like that family that that's always been there for Bruce, but he just kind of neglects them. And, the wine uh, dad. What? What? The wine dad. <laughs> it's like it's like the joke in the movie. It's like you've been drinking way too many like Chardonnay. Uh, <laughs> You've been watching way too many Lifetime movies and drinking Chardonnay. It's Pinot Grigio, <laughs> sir. You mean I Alfred that... the Butler with two T's? I love that fucking... I love that animation of Batman's face when he laughs at it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I also find it really... I find it really funny that uh, Ralph... Uh, Ralph Fiennes, I think his name is, plays Alfred while Voldemort's in this movie and he doesn't play him. I find that really wow. funny. I'll say one thing that I don't think is a problem in the movie. It's just something I personally just... It's a little grievance. I don't really like uh, Joker's voice, Zach Galifianakis. I, neither do I. I don't really even mm. like... like I don't really like Joker's design as a minifigure in the movie either. I don't I really like... His pretty like, cool. I don't really like his weird sharp teeth. You don't like the sharp teeth, bro. I don't like the sharp teeth. I like his suit. I like his suit. That's cool. I don't like really like his hair either, but 
And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like... I haven't... I've always stuck to this. I don't really like Batman's costume in any of these Lego movies. What? Oh, what? I don't like his That's costume. the craziest shit I've heard. He looks so good I, in the movie. Do I think what a perfect Lego Batman minifigure would have been in all these movies. Lego Batman. Someone said it's funny that Lego Batman movie is the best representation of Batman in the movies. See, that's interesting because I was because as I was as I was going through it, right? I'm kind of thinking like the way they characterize Batman in this movie. I feel like it's a lot different. Like there's still similarities to like adaptations and like what he's supposed to be, but I feel like the whole narcissism thing is like really ho- horn or fucking honed in on, and like. I feel like some of those character flaws is, like, something that other Batman don't have. Like, the whole thinking you're better than everyone, shit like that. Yeah, I think it, it takes a level of, like, uh, I guess, like, satirizing the character, but also making it into, like, actual character drama. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not that's saying that... it's a problem, but yeah, I think it's... it's not a problem at all. I think it's something that's, that's interesting, because I do think it's, like... They kind of do the most, like, I feel like, uh, between, like, that and the Batman, I feel like those have been the most fresh adapta- or those two have been the most fresh adaptations they've like, seen within movies in the past, like, I don't know, what, ten years? Instead of yeah. Relaxed, yeah. Wouldn't say they're relaxed, though. Huh? I wouldn't say they're relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that image, that Lego Batman I posted is what I think would have been pretty neat if he had that costume. I like the, uh, I mean, uh, it's a good design, but, like, the all black with the blue eyes and, like, the yellow symbols. Yeah, like, the, bl- the blue, the blue, uh, the blue eyes I really like, but I don't really like the, like, in, in the context of, like, a Lego Batman, like, minifigure. I don't know, I just, like, there's something about, like, that costume that would have been really neat if he had it. So like, do you think did, it like, would have been medicine. cool... So, you know how in the Lego movie they have, like, the, uh, you know, the father and son character development outside of, like, the, the main plot, but it still kind of connects to what the main characters yes. are, uh, doing? I think it could have been neat yeah. if, like, the, uh, like, the main guy or, like, the, uh, the, the kid playing with the, with the toys this time around, if they had something similar to that, like, they could have also thrown in, like, the the sister taking the the justice league or something like that so that there's no <laughs> room for criticism there um, why didn't batman just call the justice league well, it, well it's, it's because um it's because it's the right the, the real reason is that they were making the lego movie too at the time and like stuff like that but like on a story level it's like it's i don't think I don't think it works as well for this story. Because I'm going to be quite honest. With the theme and the story is trying to tell about, like, a kid that is, like... Like, the kid that's, like, lonely and stuff like that. And, like, he's, like, scared to connect to family. No, no, no. no. I'm saying, like, he, uh... Maybe he has some similar... Some similar character traits. Like, he, uh... Like, how he perceives Batman. And then, like... By the end of the movie, as he's playing with the Legos, he himself also kind of realizes, like, damn, wait a second. It's, uh... Yeah. Batman should be just, acting. I, this, this is kind of fucked up. He's, <laughs> just, he's just playing with Lego Batman, and he's just, he just says, fucking he's, realized, like, <laughs> he, 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 he has, he has, he has this, like, reaction on gravity. He has, like... It's just the Star Lord reaction from fucking. No, 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 it's, what? It's, it's, it's 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 this. It's like the fucking like soldier meme. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like it's it's like this. It's just a shit image of it, but it's the first I found. Oh. It's, just that <laughs> image. it's just that image of him playing with Lego Batman. He's like fuck, and he puts him on the ground. <laughs> <clears throat> um. All right, hold on. Let me look at the chat real quick. See if we got anything. When's the next amazing Lightspeed collaboration? I don't know, oh. Pimpin. I think the Spider when Combat Arena. Stuff. I think the Spider Combat Arena's got some. Oh yeah, it's got some hiccups. Yeah. At least the Joker is Joker instead of the Jonkler. That's facts. Oh yeah, way better than. Uh... 
It can always get Put it worse. in me. <laughs> Put it in me. Uh, oh my oh. god. I don't they just call him Money Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. Uh, you do not like Lego Batman suit. That's crazy. See, he's spitting. He's spitting. Yeah. I like I like that, everything. That, that crazy I like a lot. Of, I like a lot of it. I like the blue eyes. That's almost, that's neat almost as crazy as saying uh, John Jones wouldn't run in a fight. <laughs> John Jones, James. he's running from that James. fight. We need uh -huh. Lego Batman for a reboot. Nah. Oh, or reboot. Um. You mean? Oh, you mean like a? Oh, I think you talking about the Lego games. I don't. I am still so confused by this. We already have four LEGO DC games, as it is. We only have, like, three LEGO Marvel ones. I think they should honestly make a LEGO game that's, like, not entirely made for kids. Like, one that actually is, like... <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, like, imagine like, if they had a LEGO game that was, like, actually had, like, deep, engaging puzzles. Uh, I thought you were talking about like adding gore to Lego. Like, oh, I no, thought no, you no, wanted, no, like, no, 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 well, it's because, okay, here's the thing with TT Games. They have gotten so comfortable with a very specific formula that sells really well that they just don't care to change. It, it, it's, um, and it is a tired formula at this point. Well, I mean, to be fair, the sells. game, I'd imagine, like, I, ima I remember the, like, before I replayed it, I remembered the Lego Batman 1 movie being better. But like that's probably because I was a kid, and if they're making the games, you mean for... the Lego Batman game? Did I say movie? My bad. Said movie. Yeah, yeah you bad. said movie. Uh, as I well, was, they, te well... they technically did make an original Lego Batman movie before this one. They technically did. They turned the uh, Lego Batman two into a movie. <laughs> Wait, actually, they did. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, they did. They. So they take the cutscenes from the game and then they turn it into a movie. And I think it's like Lego Batman DC Superheroes Unite, and it's just the cutscenes from the Lego game. Oh, okay. Pretty wild. That's just how good Lego yeah. Batman Two. The Lego I like Batman the story Two is... for Lego Batman Two. I don't remember the story for Lego Batman Two. I still got to replay it. 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 It actually gives Batman an arc as well. It's like Batman it is like a, lo a loner as well, and like he accepts the league in and stuff. And Robin's it's basically this. You know what? Lego Batman Two. He doesn't fall for traps in good faith. <laughs> Lego Batman Two is the blueprint. Honestly, so is Lego man. So is Lego Batman. Lego Batman Three because Lego. Ba I think Lego Batman Three has the same arc again. Really. What the fuck? Yeah, he's I, have, like... I haven't played that one. I've only played the first two games. No, right, no. The Brainiac's in that one as well. And I think he's smarter. Yeah. I think Borgia. he's smarter as well. I think he's <laughs> smarter as I think he's smarter as well. Of course he's yeah. smarter. I don't think you can get dumber than Super or, uh, fucking Suicide Squad Brainiac. Yeah, Bor Borgiac, yeah. Because cause no, Borgiac no, no, no. in Suicide Squad, he's just he's too stupid to win. Stupid, stupid to win. win. Whatever. Okay. Lucas if you too stupid it, to lose. He's have you too considered it? It's a gameplay thing, potentially. Have you considered no. these nuts? Yeah. <laughs> you should play Lego DC Super Villains. It's basically uh, Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, but actually done well. I played the beginning of that game uh, with a friend, and never finished it. Can't you play as the bad guys in Lego Batman One? Yeah. Yes. Dude, there's, they yeah, actually have a whole. Like a they, they have a whole story mode for like yeah. the villains in yeah, that game. It's pretty cool. Separate campaign. Yeah. The Lego Batman Ooh. games were really cool until they kind of shit the bed with the open world in the third one. The third, the really? third game's open worlds are terrible. But like, um, really? I've heard mixed things about the third game. In the in the third game, you like. So, what I like about the game is that it focuses on Green Lanterns and like Lantern cores, which is pretty neat. Um, the bald lantern. 
yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> like you you go to different like you can go like the different hub worlds are like Oa and like the different planets with the lanterns and stuff. But like other than Oa, like the other lantern planets are like fish. You know, like, like those fish-eyed cameras where it's like <laughs> everything is warped to look circular. It's literally that for the planet. It, it's like the Rick and Morty like small planet. They're all that big. I remember the, I remember the, I got to, so when I played the Lego, ba or Lego Batman 3, I played, uh, like, up to, it's like a boss fight in a room, I'm pretty sure Joker's there, um, and you, like, kind of gotta either destroy or power up these electric things, it's when you're at the watchtower, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I fucking, I fucking hate that mission so much, I hate that mission I actually really don't like that game, thinking back more and more about it. I kind of don't. Three is kinda... good if you like running on balls. That's true. Someone said, what if they made Red Hood kill the Suicide Squad? Oh, that'd be satisfying. Yeah, that would have been... Dude, what if, like, the old, the old rock, the old motherfucking Rocksteady team came back? And they, <laughs> uh, and they said, you guys fucked up too bad, and they just had, they just retconned, like, or not even retconned. They just, like, have Red Hood come in. It was a dream. It was a nightmare Batman had. <laughs> that would be... I would I would forgive them if they did that. <laughs> be like Arkham VR. Yeah. Uh, too much like New 52 and 3. Uh, the super villain's path in LEGO Batman 1 is essentially like separate ways from RE4 Remake. The Dark Side, Sonic Adventures, in, oh, in, in Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. It was so sick. There is a benefit to making games cheaper. I don't think, uh, if I'm being honest, oh, it's, this guy said in the, ch the chat, if I'm being honest with you, disagreement day is so hard to have a disagreement with because the movie is like an 8 out of 10 no the movie is a 10 out of 10 yeah the movie is a 10 out of 10 just like the batman would you play an insomniac daredevil game yes i would it'd be interesting how would daredevil fit into this whole world i mean he fucking exists he's just i don't know what he's doing yeah. it's just gonna be blind web slinging Blind web slinging. <laughs> you know, no, 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 it's actually the easiest game to make because it would just be a black screen. Ha <laughs> ha. That's <laughs> right, and you just have to listen. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, could be kind of neat. Funny. If a black screen game, yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, what if, that's the combat system, bro. You just have to listen for audio cues. I mean, that would be yeah. interesting, like an, a very audio cue focused combat game. Yeah. A compounded experience. Like, I don't know if you've played Hi Fi Rush, but like they have these play. enemies where I've, like they have these. Uh... I've I've tried Hi Fi Rush. It's alright. I know FNAF 4 Did you does say something. say it's alright? It's alright so far. I haven't finished it's it. It's a masterpiece. Goodbye. Does it get but does it get better? It consistently gets better every level. Okay. Because the first level is kind of boring. Well, I mean, it's like a tutorial. Yeah, I know, but like... <laughs> I feel like if we got an Insomniac Daredevil game, we'd have a... We'd have an extra stench from a certain organization. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty organization. <laughs> How many points do you have in your Spider-Man 2 doc? Uh... 81. Alright. Wait, actual, wait, actual, All right. wait, actual, wait, actual points? Or are they like... I want to debate that Arkham score. Knight is overrated. Okay. Ar I mean... Well, if we, if we want to take disagreements for other things we've talked about, we'll take them. Yeah, I mean, I already said you can, like, debate about anything you want. Yeah. Peter Quill defense? Maybe uh, Edge of Time. <laughs> <laughs> or Suicide Peter Squad. Quill Cool yeah, because I'm sure people, you. I I checked your video. You really got people disagreeing with you on how bad Joker is, right? <laughs> I mean, there is people. There is people. Oh, really? Because what I just what from what I saw, people unanimous unanimously just agreed. Yeah, this was shit. <laughs> I 
It's like you just look at videos just talking about the game. It's like, dude, I, I, I can barely find people that actually like this thing. Jesus I like how Christ. I put on the screen, if you want to debate, read the description. And I still get a comment. What's your Discord? I want to send a friend request. Damn. I don't What's know. your disagreement? I don't know, bro. What does the text say on the screen? <laughs> I'll take a bit edge of time that I don't care about the story for at all. I really don't like Peter the Suit in that game. What I do not like. What? I don't like. You have the I, shittiest I'm... taste in suits I, ever. I don't. Damn. I don't like the colors in his suit, and I hate the messy webbing. I think the colors could be better, but uh, the webbing, you know, I'm fine with. Chad, Chad, Chad's gonna be mad at me for that, but <laughs> I, I have. I have. I have. I some... mean, you should tell them whether or not you think Far From Home or Across the Spider Verse is better. I'm not gonna talk about that. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep a bit quiet on that. If MCU reveals that Norman Osborn actually does exist, who do you think should be cast as him? Which version of Green Goblin should they go with? Classic or Ultimate? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I, I kind of don't want them to do Green Goblin. I don't want them to do it. If if they did do it, I would want. I think it would be cool to see Giancarlo Esposito play it. Mm. Play him. I think he's got that uh, uh, that charisma and intimidation factor that Norman can have. I could pull it off, better. yeah. We could just disagree about my all my suit hot takes because I got a lot of them. How do how do you want me to yeah. objectively debunk your suit hot takes? <laughs> yeah, it would be just interesting to hear my. My disagreement is your hairline. Like, give me I, I like while we're waiting for like people to join or just give me a, like a couple suits or like big suits. From, so like, all right, we got character. the Raimi suit. I fucking uh -oh. hate it. Uh... You hate it? I really don't like silver webbing. I don't like the silver Ew. webbing either, but I think the suit Look, looks really I'm good. I'm not gonna lie. That take about the Edge of Time suit was wrong as hell. I'm Damn. Just like, <laughs> that take was fucking ass. <laughs> I don't like it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the Edge of Time suit. Even though the story is shit, at least respect the drip. Nah, <laughs> I'm, gonna have to agree with him. I'm gonna have to agree with him on that. I don't think yeah, I will. Me, look, I don't want to hear an opinion about some guy saying that Hi-Fi Rush was mid. That shit was I didn't, say, I didn't say it was mid. I'm just saying, does it get better? Does it get better? Buddy, you're on like the first or second level. Exactly. It that doesn't lift. Does it? Okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. What are you, what are you apologizing for? for? Yeah, you better be sorry. Hot Fight Rush is one of the best games <laughs> okay, on right, anyway, right now. Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Damn, someone's just said, uh, okay, have you ever watched an Arcane? I have watched Arcane, and I think it's a very great show. It's a pretty shit show. Pretty, sh pretty shit show, pretty sh honestly. Dude, you're I just saying fucking hell. I didn't, no, 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 I didn't no, no, care no. for Arcane very much. I did not <laughs> care for Arcane. I did actually not care for Arcane. Though. Why? It's a good show, though. Damn. It's a oh very God. good show. It's, it's, so it's good. very good. It's incredible. It's very good. It's very oh good. Oh, my God. I did, I did not care for it. I did not care for Arcane. did not care for the Godfather. did not care. Sure. I haven't even seen the Godfather. What are you so. gonna say? It insists upon itself next. Huh? I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna say that about Arca Arcane, kinda, yeah. <laughs> uh. I think Ew. personally, I think, I think your opinions are an attack on the White House in New York. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> People in New York White I, House. I'm here. To, I'm here. I'm here to just All right. like. All right. Look, I have a hot take for. Colin, because I know he likes Spider-Man too. But hear uh -huh. me out. Yeah. The game, it, it is good, uh -huh. but it definitely had way more potential, and they kind of fumbled with it. Uh -huh. I feel like the first game just set up kind of a better standard, and the second game didn't really live up to that, in my opinion. That's just me. I mean, like gameplay wise, like gameplay wise, it's great, but like story wise, I feel like there could have it really needed another few hours to cook in the oven. I, agree. I don't think you have a disagreement. Yeah, I don't there. think you have a disagreement. <laughs> like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, Agreement. it's the worst Spider Man story of all time. So well, he freaking well, got MD yeah, pregnant and gave her like cancer. Yeah, like a certain league of individuals. A league like, of Edge of Time, Edge a time of is a three or four. Edge of Time is a one. Edge of Time is a one, yeah. That's what I have it at. 
The only reason I have it at a three or four is just because of the replayability for me personally. With all the oh, okay. Spider Man, okay. Spider Man Two is an eight out of ten. Fuck you, League Entertainment. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like a seven point five, but you know, it's valid, valid. As I'm going However, through it I now, have, I, I have, have it at like uh. It's about to get me killed by all of you because all of you are gonna disagree with it. Would you say SK? I have it at like a four. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not a two. But a four. <laughs> but how far are you? Wait, are we allowed to debate anything now? Because I'm just double into check. it. So let me let me check my uh, cutscene timestamp because then I'll know. It's like what part of the story? Um, so it is the symbiote invasion started, okay. but we haven't gotten to anti venom yet. Okay. Um. So okay. pretty much like somewhat in the third act by now. Are your problems with the plot or the characters? Um, both, but I think it has most to do with uh, the plot. Um, yeah, I agree. I with think that in terms way. of it characters could... so far, uh, you know, I'll start with Peter, the the nerfed one apparently. Um, I think Peter is fine so far. Actually, I just think uh, there are some things he does that are stupid. Um, and like as for the nerfing. I just see some arguments, but I don't think it's... I don't think those examples are emblematic enough of, yeah, I'm calling this character completely nerfed. I feel like those just are more chunks of story inconsistencies and not, like, an overall detriment to the character. Um, yeah, I, know, I, I just... Agree. I don't see the nerfing as bad as people have made it out to be. Well, see, That's I want to look at... Well, see, I want to look at the doc, because I, I want to defend some things right now. Cause... Okay, okay. okay. Well, well, it's, you'll it's, see... It's you'll, like, the, I feel the, like the Peter wasn't there. The doc will be there cared. when it's done. The doc will SK. be there when it's done. SK. Yeah. It, without Suicide Squad, would you give it a 2 out of 10? No, probably a 3. <laughs> Personally, look, I gotta Here's say two. something. Personally, I enjoyed Suicide Squad. Now, I'm not going to say the story was great. It's terrible, but I enjoyed it. It was a fun mm. game to play gameplay-wise, in my opinion. Uh, SK, That's just me. Uh, does, doesn't he try to sound like Cade, like his voice, a little bit? Vaguely, Sorry. yeah. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> He kind of sounds like Cade. Uh, um, but yeah, going yeah, back well, to my thoughts on, on the story. So, I think Harry's good so far. Um, I like Harry a lot. Um, Miles, I I don't like Miles in this story. Um, I'm gonna be real. I hey, think wait, Miles is it, is has been it... damaged quite badly as a character. I don't oh. like him in the story. Okay. I think Peter's oh. doing better. What's 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 so damaging? What's so damaging? Uh, well, I think uh, the one that stands out the most to me. Oh man, I don't know. Should I say this for disagreement day? Do I say it now? Well, now it's technically a disagreement. Well, I, day, I think so. it'll be less sweaty if you just say it now, because then we can get it over with now. <laughs> <laughs> like if you save it for the disagreement day, then it's just that just adds to the grease. And if we reach a certain <laughs> level of grease, then it's just like the world will end. So do you want to save so, the world? So now you you've just put me in a dilemma now. Do so, I want to SK, do is I want it because to he has the, the melanin? Grease? Do I want to escalate the grease by saving it for for later? You want or do I just let it out now? Yeah, an escalation in grease. Dude, what, so are you wait, saying dude. his character assassinated? Are you saying that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Very badly. Why is your character assassinated? All right. Um. Well, let's look at his character in his own game, right? And right. I thought something that stood out to me was that morally speaking, I thought Miles was in a very strong place. You know. Um. He's like, you know, I, I don't get to pick and choose when I'm Spider-Man. Um, I can't just let people die to save my own skin. Finn begs him to look the other way, and he's just like, nope, nope. Sorry, if you do what you do, I can't allow that. Right. So I look at that, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is good. This is good. I wonder how much uh, Spider-Man 2 will, will work with that. I look at Spider-Man 2. He deals with the black cat, someone he knows that he can't trust. And then, because she says some story about her girlfriend apparently being in danger, he's like, please, I need to go to Paris. Please, I, I need to escape the city. Please, please, please. And Miles not only just believes that, but he just lets her off. And I'm just like, wait, so well, you're... No, Black ben, Cat's... You're, yeah, your Black best Cat... friend... Whoa, hold whoa, up, whoa, whoa, hold whoa, up. Wait, 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 wait. Ben, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not done. Um, <laughs> ben, like, who's basically like... What his other best friend and he, who he considers family, she says, "Please look the other way for me." Miles is like, "No, 
this random black cat person that Miles was told not to trust, she wants to be let go, and he's like, oh, okay, fine. And yeah, I what has she done? He thinks they're... What has she done? Oh, man. Throughout that entire sequence, she put a fucking subway train in a building. She's uh, doing so much shit wait, that's, wait, like, wait, 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 destructive wait. in the city. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? So okay. she's, oh. she stole the wand from these wizards, right? right? That's the first part. And the second part is that she used it to cause so much destruction in the city... And she blatantly doesn't care about anybody but herself. All right, let's uh, let's um, let's go. go through the let's go through the sequence. Yeah, let's rewind back a little bit here. Like the the core issue, just to be clear, is he Miles let her should go. not tr not only should Miles not trust her, he shouldn't have let her go. Um. So, but yeah, if Miles doesn't let her go, then she's kind of the hunters go after. She's kind yeah, she's kind of at risk of dying. And they so if Miles, her. so if Miles, so if Miles, like, you know, captures her, she's not, she's at risk of dying. And like, I guess the way Miles would see it is like, okay, so if you reappear, you kind of got to do this, but like, I'll let you go for now. So you don't fucking die. Yeah. Especially okay. because the mission before that, we literally see Kraven pack up Scorpion. You no, know he ain't going to hesitate. Okay, so there, there's a, there, there, there's a couple things uh, to go over. So firstly, they're also going after Tombstone, and Spider-Man lets him off. He's like, hey, do you have a safe place to go? And he says, yeah, I got somewhere. So if Tombstone has a safe place to go, then Miles can easily offer, hey, Tombstone has a safe house. Go there and stay there for the time being. And you can even have well, That was Tombstone before the Tombstone mission. That, yeah, that takes was place it? before the yeah, Tombstone, before Tombstone the mission. Tombstone yeah, that's mission. how they find Tombstone, because she left in yeah, Paris, she, and yeah, they gave her that information. She's the, yeah, she's the one that gives them the information on Tombstone. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, regardless, what what I was what I was illustrating is that there's always going to be like a safe house that you can find, where you can you can have somebody at for the time being. I mean, Spider Man has worked with the police, right? So why not just tell the police, hey, she's being hunted by these hunters. They're going to kill her. I need you to take her to some kind of uh, protective custody or whatever. Like, All right. No offense, SK. SK, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't believe the New oh, York Police Department is gonna do shit when the hunters Spider have Man fucking works with them in these games frequently. So like, I, I, I don't mean, know what's going on. No, no, no. So what are they gonna do? Well, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Uh, I got pull you. up the watch together and let's just go through the sequence real quick. All right, welcome to Lego Batman, where we talk about Spider Man too. <laughs> <laughs> it always it always comes back to Spider Man. Watch together, cats versus dogs. Damn, that's the. That's the that's a crazy death battle. I won't lie. That is a crazy death battle. Um. All right. I'll you get the video. Then I'll I'll turn it on on my stream once it's up. Yeah. Fetch the video. Oh, you want me to get like the call. video? Wait, Colin. Yeah. I'm gonna send you a DM. Does that show on stream? No, I can look at it on no. my phone. Okay. Just check on your phone. Uh... <laughs> what are you laughing at, SK? Wait, Nothing. Colin, why was there an ASMR video on your homepage, Brody? Because that helps a brother sleep, bro. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. fair enough. Uh, no, I, put don't, on the I, don't see, ASMR. I don't see a DM. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um. All right. Um. Well, we'll wait for this shit. Anyway, regardless, like even if so, I I guess I misremembered the order of events. That's fine. Uh, regardless, there would be like some kind of safe place. I put it that in the Miles playlist. Would wanna, would wanna put her. And I and I feel like what's also what's also important to account for is the goal was to at least like get her out of the city. So like, is there is there no reason why the police can't just move her to a different locate like to a different imprisonment I think, outside of the city? Well, given what just well, given what just happened with the prison convoy, no, I don't, because they are they've yeah, but given the prison convoys, they've already taken Scorpion, Mister Negative, Shocker, okay, Electro. But but what's Miles's plan? Uh, what does Peter and MJ send Miles to do? They go. To well, they send to him to go him. escort her out. They send her. Well, they, they send, send her. Her to go okay, back. let's do. Let's do one at a time. We'll let yeah, Colin. Yeah, Mark. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry. All right. Sorry. So, 
So they said so their goal is to get her out of the city, right? So Paris is already out of the city. Right? And yeah. she she's safe in Paris. So if that's just an easy safe house that she has to go and she's telling Miles like uh what's it yeah, called? Yeah, but I mean their plan at first. Their plan is not put her in Paris. Yeah, I know. Well, the plan was to just go find her and keep her safe, according to the mission. I'm watching videos right. on my own phone right now, trying to defend Here, this wait, shit. Pull up the, uh, just pull up the thing, SK. I put it in the... Oh, you put it in the... Where'd you put it? I in don't the, see it. In the playlist. I'm just gonna go edit um... my video in the background, because I just don't have any say on this. Okay. Damn, that's fucking long. Damn, Holy shit. Tiny. All right. They're tiny. All right, let's get this some volume. Um, okay, where's the black cat sequence? Uh, it should be. No, this is too no, ahead. This, yeah, this it should be right ahead. before it the Coney be... Island sequence. It is right before oh, the Coney Island. Right before Coney Island. Okay. It's right here. Oh, it's right Coney here. Coney Island. It's right yeah. There. Right here. Nope. Nope. A little Just bit, a little bit man. forward, like thirty minutes probably. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, all right. So, all right. Okay, so let's, we're right here. Let's go through it. I'm gonna lower this volume. Yep. This might be ahead. Shall we? No, it's yeah. That's definitely ahead. And guess who else is at Coney? So go to the like chase sequence. Yeah, we can do the chase sequence. Keep me posted. I just hope I'm not too late. Line was damaged by the explosion. This one's still locked. Paris. Some instruction manual for a Wanda Watoon. Watoon? Hmm. I'll do a search. Give me a sec. Hunters. Wherever they're headed, I should follow. According to a translation of the Mystic Arcana, that Wanda's old. We're talking BC old. Supposedly, whoever wields it can create portals to pretty much wherever they can think of. Like magic? If she gets her hands on something like that. I can figure some uses for it. Miles, let's just stick to the plan. We're in position. She's ours. Alright, skip through. Just skip through all this shit. It's just a gameplay section. Um, this, the chase starts right yeah, off after this. What's up with Felicia? Alright, we're right here. Huh. Oh, that's a first. Little spider wants to play, huh? Alicia, that's a minor. MJ! She stole the wand! And magic is very real! What? What happened? Hey, Cat! Can we talk? Will you yeah, if we want to cover what she does... I portal you into the Pacific Ocean. How'd you get on our comms? You're still using the old channel. Don't you have better things to do, kid? Alicia, you have to stop. This is reckless, even for Yeah, you. doesn't she like almost kill Miles here by almost fucking you? putting him in the Arctic? The I mean, she's dropping a whole bunch of shit around. Um, I mean, I don't really think that's a problem if there's no civilians. Well, no, the, the, the issue is that they see her as dangerous, and you'll see in a moment. You know what you can do with that one? She's just gonna I can kind of understand where your take's coming from for a little bit. Up until the part play. where the hunters let the cannon play out. Miguel wants us to see them. Right there, L train straight in the building. Yeah, but there's nobody in there. That's not the point. Miles literally just says that, that could have hurt people. The hunters are back. What, what do you yeah, mean? It's 
Well, it's just Miles like just, that. He explicitly <laughs> says verbatim that could have hurt people. Right. So it doesn't matter yeah. if no one's in there. It, the the point is that uh, Black Cat doesn't care. Yeah, well, like that could have hurt people to an extent. Yeah. Well, so, the, so someone who does that—that's someone you turn in. Well, so I think by I the mean, end, she already did it, so she already belongs in prison. Well, we already we already have the issue with uh, what's it called? We have the issue with we already discussed like the turning in issue. Like, you can't really do that at this point. Yeah, they have like helicopters chasing after her, plus hunters with APCs on the ground trying to follow her. They got so many people after her. I think her if by the end of this, house. well, I think if by the end of this, um, like Miles realizes, like, okay, she's trying to get away from the hunters. There was nobody in that building anyway. Um, well, that's irrelevant to him. It it doesn't matter if anyone's in the building. Well, that's still no, that's I'm, still a crime, and that's still that could still no, kill I, people. Th yeah, but the, the Spider Men cause property damage. Are they going to yeah, turn themselves because in? Because he's saving people. She's not she's saving, saving people. Yeah, she she's is. She's a... running from the hunters. No, she's no, she's escaping from Miles in this case when he's trying to help. Well, because if she sees Miles as someone that could screw her over, she doesn't trust Miles. She doesn't know Miles. She knows yeah, Peter, but, but like she still wouldn't she, trust him either. Still... I mean, sure, but she still caused, like, a whole bunch of damage throughout this whole thing. Like, I don't know, and she clearly doesn't care. Miles says, hey, why don't you help me save the city? She's like, yeah, I, you'll figure it out. You're Spider-Man. Like, he blatantly says, right. you only care about yourself. Uh, Peter was right. Well, yeah, but then when she tells him that she's doing this to get to her girlfriend that's, like, in trouble with yeah, bad well, people. that could be a lie. Yeah, I why get... Why does Miles trust that? I, I, get what you're, I get what you're saying, but, like... Where what is Miles supposed to do with it? You said bring her in, but if if he tries to bring her in, she could die. So so firstly, their plan already was to bring her bring her in in some way. I'm I'm guessing if the plan was let her go, then oh, Peter, what are you fucking doing? Well, um, no, if the pl no 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 uh, you're 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 mis you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. I'm saying if their plan initially was to like get her out of the city or something, like get her get her somewhere safe or whatever. If she's going to Paris, which is somewhere safe then they don't need to do that. I'm confused here. So if the point is that when you if you just throw her in Paris like that, she can leave and, and evade consequences for her crimes and well, even commit more. We're talking about my all right, so we're talking about Miles. Like even even in his game, right? When Finn was uh when Finn was causing all this destruction and stuff, you know, like attacking attacking Roxon and stuff, he didn't immediately try to arrest her. Yeah, exactly. Actually, to be fair, your argument kind of doesn't Finn hold says, up. Can you, can, hold on, Finn Mark. says, "Look the other way for me," and then and then Miles says, "No, I can't do that," like without hesitation. Yeah, but he still doesn't. Yeah, he's, but like, hold on, Mark. Uh, he sorry. still doesn't. He still doesn't bring her in immediately. So I. So I don't. I don't know if we're judging do anything. Because we're judging. Well, hold would. on. You're judging. No, he. But he doesn't. So no, how? He, so he how would he? Would? Because he never caught her. What are you talking about? He never caught her, so that's why he didn't. He never caught... He could... There's multiple points throughout the story where he could catch her. Exactly. Like, once he finds out where okay, she, so, like, who she is, he could have turned her in. So, hold on. When okay, he's, Mark, we gotta do this one at a time. Yeah, you gotta stop. Um, Actually, I'm gonna just say this respectfully, like, because the, the disagreement day is mostly for people, like, from the chat to disagree with our points, and, like, me and SK are already in the middle of it, so, like... Um, Sorry. Yeah. 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 So either just like mute or just like you know. Um. So what's it called? Uh. Back to what I was saying. You know when they meet for their, they meet for coffee, right? Uh. Yeah. Miles could easily if he could have easily gotten her. Uh. Sure, but that was for a more specific purpose. Uh. Well, a couple things to say about that actually. Uh. One. That was actually presented as a bad thing by the story that he's doing this very manipulative uh two-faced maneuver to try to get her trust that's one thing to mention another thing is that he's trying to get more information on the underground and doing so and he believes this is the only way to do so um whereas with with black cat it's not really a case of well i have to let her go for for the time being uh in order to achieve a greater aim and not just that he was also planning to arrest Finn, like, later on, uh, or bring her in, excuse me. Okay. He was still planning to do that, 
like later. He's just delaying that for the sake of making progress against the underground. Yeah, but I'm talking about with this specific scenario, we, we already established he can't just bring her in. That's not an option. So I don't know why you keep going why? back to that. I, I, I don't understand why, though. Because if like, they bring uh, her in, then she could die. Let, so let me give an example. If the scorpion is like... If they manage to retrieve the scorpion from the raft thing, are they just going to let him go like in some random city? Or are they going to like have eyes on him? I'd imagine they'd probably put him somewhere. Right. Where would they put him? I have no clue. <laughs> I mean, I would just imagine, like, if you work with the police and you can communicate with them... Uh, well, the police are kind person... of... Yeah, but the police, they can't do anything. We already... The hunters are way above the police in terms of what they're doing. So, so you just let them go? Is that is that the solution? I don't I don't think either of them would be okay with well, that. Well, no. So if they... If they... I don't know, bring them outside of the city or something and put them in, like, a, a safe house. Maybe lock them all up or whatever. That's, it's like, that's way better than what they did in the game with Black Cat. Well, if okay, so you can either waste your time, like, fighting Black Cat, right? Or, like, keep going through the sequence. Uh, Blank yeah. Me. We can end this tonight. We can stop the guy trying to kill you. Steal your own mystical artifact. <laughs> oh! Didn't even bring my scarf. That wand can take us right to Craven. This was never about Craven. Why won't you help me stop this guy? You're Spider-Man. You've saved the city before. You'll do it again. Spider-Man was right about you. You only care about yourself. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. And I got her into trouble with some bad people. Have you ever done something for love? She needs me now. Uh, if only I could figure out how to go more than ten feet with this thing. Even though you went to Antarctica. Oh shit. That's a smart one. Well, she didn't do that intentionally. It's kind of I mean, she, her. I mean, her whole thing is, hey, just imagine the place you need to go to, and then you'll go there. Yeah, but she it's still. She instructs Miles on that. Yeah, but it's still finicky. It's about... Well, okay, but also she needs to really focus on it. That's, like, very clear. And also, it takes Miles and her to do it. She can't do it herself. Just to be clear. I mean, I yes. you're not... I'm pretty sure the, the one thing... Because she, she read the translation, right? She said, no, she said the instruction and, and manual on this thing is not clear. And then they make oh, it... Okay. And they establish it very well that it's it's kind of finicky. So it's a two-person thing, okay. That's another thing I that could so. add. To, that's another thing that could add to like the whole property damage thing. If like Miles knows the wand is finicky by the end of all this, uh, with the train thing, like she probably he could have just thought, oh, she may, maybe she didn't mean to do that. I don't know. It doesn't seem like she really gives a shit about what happened with the train. <laughs> well, well, I would. Like, I would. I would. Okay. One thing I, because I'm gonna bother again, is that she's worried about her girlfriend more than anything. And it's like that's like her main concern, and then she's like genuinely like relieved, and she says thank you, like she calms down and she's like thank you, like genuinely. Well, like mild. Peter, like you also gotta do this. You also have to take it, this into account. Like take for the take the first game's DLC for example. Like Peter knows he can't really trust her fully, but like when she tells him that she has a son with him, like he believes her. Yeah, but what he does with that information is, all right, share information with me and we'll work together. He doesn't straight up just go like, okay, you go off on your own. Deal yeah, but what fine. do you want Miles to go to Paris with her? Um, well, he, I, I don't know what I don't know what his priorities are at the moment. <laughs> um, like, is, so is his priority going to be to help her or is it going to be to deal with the hunters? 
I'd imagine. I'd that imagine it's to situation... deal with the hunters and keep New York safe. He also wants. You also have to take into account Miles is like his whole goal is like focusing I, on more. I guess. Let me let me try to let me try to let me try to give a good comparison here. So, Spider Man has to deal with. Uh, let's say I don't know. He has a Devil's Breath issue to deal with, right? What if he sees like uh, someone is in need of like you know like on his own time? He sees someone getting beaten up or whatever. He'd still help them out. Okay. So if Miles is under the belief that she mm. has a girlfriend in danger and he doesn't trust this person to deal with it, maybe he doesn't trust Black Cat to maybe deal request with information on on the whole thing in the first place. Requ what are you? Well, what? Request information on like okay, they have your girlfriend. Where are they? They have your girlfriend. Where are they? In Paris? Yeah, where in Paris are they? Because this thing can just transport you there instantly. Well, yeah, but they have a lot more to deal with than this. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. You just compared. Oh, you just compared. Have, they, don't have, they don't have any leads on the hunters, though. Hold on, hold on. So not only would not only would the the teleporter thing have to get them to like the exact location where they want to know, and mind you, Black Cat might not even know where her girlfriend is. Like, she goes to Paris to look for her, so they don't even know where exactly she is. So not only would Miles have to take time away from the Hunters, plus his search for Martin Lee, which is very important to his character in this game, he would have to take all that time away from that to go help Felicia with this side chain in Paris. Like, why would Miles do that? Uh, to save someone's life, I think that's a pretty good reason. Well, and that's... to prevent her from causing any more damage. Well, we're talking about Miles' mental state, right? Um, well, I'm talking about his morality and whether or not... Yeah, your morality really can be affected should... by your mental state. Look at how he, like, you know, he's, like, not saving people to, uh, you know, get to Lee. Yeah, but he pulls through at the end because he realizes that's a bad thing. Yeah, I, I get and also, that's I not, assume, that's not I what I'm he, saying. He only, oh I assume that in that scene that when, when Spider-Man, the other Spider-Man was asking for his help, the reason I assume he didn't go uh, help immediately was because he saw Peter was still handling it. So in his mind, okay, I still have some time before something bad happens. And then once it's like at the last, last minute, or last, last second, I should say, he jumps in to help out. I'm just still, so I I still flabbergasted would, I, I why you he think he would, would like, go to Paris. That's my question. I'm like, what? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, on, I'm like so, it. I'm just like... Colin, Colin. I mean, I, I thought I, I think I made it pretty clear. If he, if he's oh. gonna save someone's life, um, and that's his opportunity. Yeah, I but if that's Black that's, Cat, that's yeah, character. but if he knows Black Cat can do that, right? Why would Miles take it? time away from tracking Lee and stopping hunters to go <laughs> do that? Like because he literally that. does it in this exact sequence. I don't know what you're talking about. He's stopping oh, hunters Colin. in this sequence and saving Black Cat's life. What are you talking about? Yeah, Colin, he's saving Colin. Black Cat's life. Yeah, but the I, par I agree. Well, we have no idea uh, how long man. the what? Oh, we have no idea. Hold on, we have no idea to... how long this Paris expedition will take. Like, we have no idea how long that will take. Oh, uh, you could always ask instead of just letting her go. <laughs> could always ask what? Ask for like basic information on what's happening. Okay, his girlfriend. Her girlfriend. I think the point Paris. is that he doesn't even try, and he he just seems not to care. He's just like, okay, fine, goodbye. I I don't think he. I don't think it's a matter of him not caring. I think it's a matter of him understanding. And like, it's not like she has the wand, like the the magic artifact, when she leaves. Yeah, I wonder whose hands it's in. It's in Doctor Strange's. No, it's in Miles's. I'm talking about his decision at the time. He didn't expect it to just get taken from him. What? What? I'm talking about Miles's decision at the time he let her go. Him losing the wand, that's afterwards. Okay, keep letting it play out. Uh, okay, can I say what I've been trying to say for like five minutes? Yeah. Okay. I like, I like how you laughed at the same time as me when you said, What would Miles do in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in Paris, SK? Who's in Paris, SK? Alright, Spider-Man. Let's see what you've got. SK was listening to SK was listening to Jay-Z while he was making this criticism. No, shut the fuck up! No, YouTube buddy, no, YouTube buddy. YouTube buddy.
it was, it was what I was laughing at for five minutes straight, is that you guys kept saying, Colin's like, what would you probably Miles doing parrots? What was he doing parrots? That's gay. I'm gonna skip the shit. Wait, guys, I'm, guys, I'm nearly finished. Never mind. Getting the second point. Getting there. Oh, I want to see that. Did you know sea lions can swim up to 25 miles per hour? Getting you to Paris. Your girlfriend needs you. You really are Spider-Man. What the fucking okay? <laughs> We're getting you to Paris. Your girlfriend needs you. Like he thinks she can handle it. Yeah, he just. But so I think the first problem is that he just buys the story immediately when MJ very much stresses, "Don't trust a word she says." I think that's quite dumb, especially for a character. That okay, is but if she's Paris going to Paris right, with hold on, powers. hold on, hold on. If she literally is going to Paris right after this, <laughs> then then why does he not believe her? Why is she just going randomly to fucking wait, Paris? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, all that proves is that she's going to Paris. That doesn't prove her story's correct about uh, her girlfriend being in danger or whatever. Okay, but if she's not lying, then he stops her girlfriend from that's getting actually, help. That's actually really uh, generous to give for a, for a thief. No, no, no. no. If, yeah, yeah. It, of course it's if generous she's because America, if she's not lying, then her girlfriend could maybe die. So then ask for information regarding it. You don't let the bad guy go. Like, let me give an example okay. real quick. So, let's say Spider-Man, Peter Parker, um, he's dealing with, uh, I don't fucking know, Shocker. And Shocker's like, listen, I, I gotta help, uh, I gotta help my son in, um, Mexico or some shit, I don't know. And then, is what, does Spider-Man just let him go? Or is he like, okay, tell me the situation and I'll help you out. I think the, the solution would be, tell me the situation and I'll help you out. Especially if Spider-Man is just better suited in general with this stuff if you just uh -huh. give him the information um then he would take that and be like okay look i have a plan i will help you out i'll do something um i don't think it would be in miles's character to just be like no and refuse to help out with that because even though he's still yeah obviously he's after lee and shit and he's worried about him he's still going to help people that are in need and i don't think it would be within miles's character to just let a bad person go or like any kind of dangerous villain just on the basis of, well, they told me this story that could be true or could not be true. But I'll just go in in good faith and trust it. Shut the fuck up. Stop <laughs> referencing that fucking game. I, I don't know. I just, I, it, it, I thought of it last second. I'm like, wait, this actually is the Superman good faith thing, kind of. Not on the same scale, but... So keep letting it play. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll keep letting it play. Why is C. Drago saying hi, Deadpool? No, there's no Deadpool here. Over here. She's everywhere. You insane? I cannot catch her. You insane? Brona said, ain't she lying to Peter about Pete, uh, potentially having a child? Oh, yeah, that's just. <laughs> that's true, yeah. That was so gross. Alright, are we at the end? We are- yeah, we're at the end. Here. Focus. Think Eiffel Tower. Yes, please help me escape consequences. <laughs> Felicia. Thank you. Oh man. I didn't like that scene. Uh, uh Finn be like, yo, Miles, please look the other way. Nah, I get we're family, but no. Black cat. Uh I, I have a story that might or might not be true. Alright. All, all aboard. 
Uh, go by, go by. I don't. I just think you're not. I. I just think the the shit, the context surrounding the situation doesn't make it fucking character assassination. Well, like I guess we'll just start on a simple basis. Why does he trust her story like completely? Because what? Like okay. Why does he trust her story completely? I don't think it's a matter of if he trusts her story completely, right? It's like, okay, let's see what she's she goes, let's see what she does. If she can if she actually does go to Paris, right? Then there's more likelihood of her telling the truth. No, that's not true at all. That's actually quite the opposite because Paris is like the perfect place to go if you need to escape and you're wanted in America. That is that is a Golden, that is a golden opportunity for a thief. Okay. Okay. I'm just, like, thinking, like, what does Miles know of Felicia, and, like, how bad does he really think she is? She's a, she's a thief, she has experience with Peter, Peter's saying don't trust her at all. She always, like, you know, um, she's very manipulative and shit. Okay. MJ even says, like, we're, during, like, the scene where she's causing all this damage, she says, this is reckless even for you. So like that's just that those are bad signs that Peter and MJ, the people that have these uh, lots of experience with her, are telling you don't trust her, and they're talking about how dangerous she is. Right. So, still get what you're saying. I think maybe the I think I'll agree to the fact that he's around a little bit. I don't th I don't think it's character assassination. Maybe you could argue it's a little bit out of character for him to let her go. But, like, I view it as, like, when she set, when she says to him, you ever do something for love or whatever, I feel like it's something that, like, Miles connects to, in a way. Because, like, what he just did earlier, it's, like, out of, pretty much out of love for his father, he kind of just made a really bad mistake and almost let people die uh, earlier in the story. So, like, if she tells him that, right, and it's like, yeah, people are going to tell you, okay, don't trust this, don't trust this. But it's like, it's still up to you to make your own interpretation out of, like, how trustworthy you think of a person this person is. Well, that's, the, well, from, that's literally well, the black I mean, well, that, I, okay, I do want to add. Wait, no, no, wait, I just remembered something that's going to help Colin's case here. I do remember a line where it's like, you got to make your own conclusions, kid. And it's in the fight, and he's feeling conflicted about it. But when she says that, it like what Colin says... Because she does say you got to come to your own conclusions, kid. Be your own so man. So it's, your it's thing. her word versus Peter and MJ's. Who's he going with? No, 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 no. But like the thing she says, what Colin said. Not an answer to the question. It, no, no, no. But I'm okay. But like, just listen to the context, I SK. No, no. Just let me let me fucking finish. Okay. Is what that the, the fuck? thing? Why are you not letting that, me finish? Is, is the statement that she says it's Miles in a deep way? That would that like um that emotion like that emotion of that specifically because of the state he's in due to like the because like like due to what happened with like this like new thing that's happening with Lee and his dad and stuff like that that's a new thing for this character and how he reacts into the situation is a new thing he's what's, reacting what's the new thing like with the new context of like Lee and the him coming back into like his life after the dad shit and like her saying that like he ever done anything for love. So like you're that saying hit what Miles life. is doing with Lee, that's for love? Are you talking no, about I, that? No, what I, what I'm, no, I'm saying that, like, what she says to him hits him deep in, like, the feels. Like, more than, like, Finn a logistical answer. basically entree. made the same argument many times. You loved Rick Mason, how could you defend his murderer? And she brings up Rick, like, many times. He even right. says Rick wouldn't want this and shit. So I don't know how much like those are two different contextual it... scenarios though. I don't know why that even remotely connects. Well, no, because Stir is Stir is trying to say that uh, her saying "Have you ever done something for love?" connects to what Miles is doing with Lee and how he wants to turn in Lee. But Finn literally tried to make similar appeals, so I'm confused what the what so the point is. Yeah, but Miles is in a completely different mental state right now than he was in that game. Uh, yeah, but in terms of whether or not he trusts this, re like, re again, it's Peter well, no, 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 and MJ's no, no. word well, no, versus that, Black Cats. That, that, Why that would you take Black Cats? Because he's, okay, because he, I don't think he's thinking about that specifically at that point. Because it's literally, like, like, the whole point of the thing is that, like, he's not listening to what 
like Peter would absolutely Peter absolutely does not want Miles to go after and get Peter's revenge. Still, on, like, like, I don't think... Yeah, Peter's telling him. Peter's telling Miles, uh, stay or like stay away from like Spider Man stuff, or not maybe, maybe not completely stay away from Spider Man stuff, but like fucking like stay focused on your schoolwork. I'll I'll handle most of the stuff, and it's like okay. And Miles is still like disobeying and like still making his own decisions. So it's not like I get what you're saying. It's like yeah, why? Like he trusts Peter and uh, MJ or whatever, and they're telling him not to trust her. But it's still up to Miles whether he wants to make a decision or not. And if that thing affects yeah. his mental state, then it, yeah. I feel like it makes complete sense. Yeah, but based on who he is as a character, I don't think he has any like what, Black Cat doesn't say anything that would grant her trust even in the slightest, above Peter and MJ. Like, that just, there's nothing... But I don't think, yeah, but best. I don't think he, I don't think he's thinking about that at that point, though. I, Why? I think if you... Why would you not? Because, because, because it's, the, like, like I've been saying, it's the deep emotional thing that she's saying that's hitting his, like, heart. It's a thing that, like, it, it's a statement that, like, I assume from what, like, that, like, hits Miles very hard in the heart when he says it. And, like, he's thinking more with his emotions than when he, like, like in that case, because of the circumstances he's been under, the stress he's been under, and the new, like, the new fucking, like, uh, the new, like, how would you, how would you describe it? Like, the new, It's uh... like, I mean, if you want to go with the whole, like, okay, so, Miles is now, like, I'll, I'll, I'll bring in Across the Spider-Verse. Let's, let's do this. Uh-oh. So, let, let's do this. So, so, <laughs> so we've got a society of, like, a thousand people agreeing with Miguel, right? Telling him, oh, this is how it works, this is how it works, da 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 It's like, okay, so they have all these people, all these Spider-People doing this, right? And they all trust Miguel. So it's a why thousand people, Miles, yeah, why, why doesn't, why doesn't Miles just go with that? So, so there's a there's a problem with that. So my point is about. Of course there is. Of course there is. <laughs> well, I so feel like it's the exact same my, thing. My I feel like it's the exact same Hold thing. Up. Miles can make his own decisions. It's, it's not. It's 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 not the same thing for for a few reasons. One, there are so many variables that go against what Miguel is saying that right. Miles is going to be question. He's going to be questioning. Um, then why did also, the other Spider Man not well, then? Uh, that's not applicable. That's not applicable. Sir, you can't. Sir, SK, SK, sir, you cannot sir, just sir, fucking sir, say you can, sir, sir, <laughs> sir, 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 sir. <laughs> I can I can uh, I can explain that to you another time. Okay, I can explain that or right now. We could get disgusting. into All right, we'll get into we'll get into across oh. now since This was your this was your no, doing. Colin. Stay, your no, doing no, 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 stay, no, stay no, stay fucking no, stay on topic sir, and stay on the comparison. This was your path. I don't, I don't this was care. Your path. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I didn't make the choice. Sir. I'm the one that started the argument. <laughs> I don't care. Sir, I can explain this to you very easily. I can explain this to you very easily. I don't think so Miguel Yes, I can. Miguel like literally top. has a video showing that this can happen. Peter was in that video. Gwen was there on uh, Earth 65 to see that the building started to glitch when he was like, oh, shit. Wait, 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 You're not letting me finish. You're not letting me finish what I'm saying. You're not letting me finish. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish what I'm saying, bro? Can I finish what I'm saying? Dude, sir, shut up. Thank you. Thank you. So here's the problem, right? Those those pieces of evidence that that Miguel has, that's something that you can actually play on. That's something like tangible that you can work with. What Miles has in terms of is Black Cat telling the truth? He just has her word. Okay, Miguel doesn't just have his word. Well, no. Oh so my God. I'm saying in the Spider Man in Spider Man Two the game, right? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. Forget what Star said. Forget what Star said. I got you, okay? And I'm saying, when Miles hears Black Cat say, you ever done something for love, there's a reason why he looks away and looks at the ground for a second. Because he starts to understand. Now, if Peter and Miles, I mean, if Peter and uh, MJ are telling him, don't trust, don't trust, yada, 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 it's like, sure, he has those people telling him not to trust her, that's fine. But Miles, again, is his own man. He makes his own decisions. And if he believes that she is telling or she could be telling the truth, and if she is telling the truth, then someone that she loves could die, then I feel like he would understand what she's doing. Especially since Miles, literally earlier in the game, just made a really bad decision based on his, like, decision for love. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so we'll we'll get into that. So in Across the Spider Verse, uh, <laughs> what, what, what? we'll get into that. So Across the Spider Verse. All right, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so as as far as him believing, uh, or sorry, questioning what uh, Miguel is saying, so he doesn't make any like huge decisions yet before at least talking about it. Um, he first wants to like uh, get into the conversation, like okay. Why? Why? How do you know that the world's gonna get destroyed? He first hears him out on that, um, and then he continues to question the the reasoning that they're going by because it seems to be very contradictory to what Spider-Man's supposed to learn from from the very conception of him. So what I think is going on there versus uh, versus this because from Miles' perspective, right? What happened uh, at Mumbai was that the the quantum hole that opened up because of the spot. He's like, no, that I didn't do that. That was the spot, because that's a spot hole that opened up. Yeah, but then so from gets, his perspective, yeah, but if on. he took the spot seriously, if he took the spot seriously, and he turned him in as he should, like way earlier, then that wouldn't happen. The captain wouldn't be in danger. So then, from his perspective, okay, you can do both if you if you take care of that stuff earlier, like I should have. So that's what his read on the situation is. Um, as far as his conversation with Miguel. It ends with Miguel literally, like, ending the conversation all of a sudden and just locking him up, answering no more questions. So, from Miles' perspective, that's suspicious. What happens if, Miguel's, if Miguel is lying about this or if he's just twisting things, like, by, by accident because he's missing a few variables? When you, start, when you shut down conversation like that, I would say, I would argue that's inherently suspicious to whether or not, um, whether or not you, you're, you're to be trusted on something like this. Especially if the if it's like the importance of it is uh, the existence of all of reality, like to give an example, right? Uh, Mysterio in Far From Home, he's saying this, this, and this about how the world is going to get destroyed. Um, but if someone doesn't trust him, it's like, yeah, this guy could be full of shit for all we know. So we kind of need more than, um, well, I I'm saying it'll happen than in order for him to agree with that. Um, I also want to add for Miles in in this game, if if Felicia showed like I guess I don't know if he showed like a picture of her, and said look look at this conversation I had or look at this this uh, this bit of information I have on what happened or whatever, or she shows some form of proof that adds uh, credence to her story, I think that would make more sense. The problem is is that Miles doesn't believe her from the jump. Uh, and all of his experiences with her are her causing all this trouble, her causing all this trouble, her causing all this damage, and she blatantly just doesn't care. So I think from Miles' point of view, anyone who does that, like, yeah, why would I trust no, this person? No, 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 no,
if he's more understanding well, of Felicia and what she's saying because of his mental state, then I think it makes complete sense. Um, what she's saying, like understanding about what, like doing things for doing stupid things for love. Yeah. But she could be lying about if she's doing it for love in the first place. Okay. We're just going in circles. Uh, again that's that's where, it that's where it comes back down to, to that. It just I don't think he has that. a reason to just buy her story immediately. Cause that implies, that implies if he goes after any random villain out there. And they say, hey, I'm only doing this because my son's in danger. Please let me live. Or, sorry, please let me go. And he's just like, oh, okay, fine. Like, that that doesn't sound in character at all, that he just trusts their word that easily. He would, at the very least, be like, okay, can I have information about this Yeah, so I, I can help you with it? Yeah, them? I get what you're saying, but, like, he's not, he's, yes, he does just kind of let her go to Paris or whatever. Um, however... <laughs> uh however. however uh i think that given i think that given the stuff that we've already went over like his mental state and shit like that and that she actually is going you know she's she's continuously running with her story nothing's really contradicting anything uh as far as their conversations go um it's like sure he could press for details or whatever but it's like okay so you either you either capture her when she was running for her life, you know, and just trying to, you know, get away from being killed. Uh, and that's why the destruction was caused. The same reason why a Spider-Man might cause destruction trying to save lives, right? It's like, okay, so you either capture her for that, or you bring her into law enforcement uh, for that, which has the potential risk of her getting killed, uh, instead of just letting her go to somewhere where she's safe. Well, I mean, so, what, okay, I guess something that's worth asking, so, their whole plan from the beginning was get her out of the city, right? I assume in the very, So, in go a, like, to the beginning control, dialogue, right? let's, let's listen to what they say. Okay. Before it. Um, where the fuck is it? Oh, you just missed it, you just missed it. I did just miss it. Let me, let me do it, let me do it. Alright, yeah, you take, you take the wheel. What the fuck? Can y'all hear the fucking weed whacker outside, bro? Chat. Weed what? What are you talking you probably about? Probably can't hear it. In, probably can't hear it in the Discord because I have noise suppression off. But uh, here you uh just hit play because when I hit play, it keeps pausing it. Um. Okay. Yeah. Can you turn my mic down. Why are we at Scorpion's Is death? Is my mic too quiet right now? Uh, well, Why are we no, at right, uh, right after, Well, right after Scorpion's death is when the whole black oh, happening. So okay. you just skip a little right, bit right. until after you uh, stop playing as Peter. not teaming up with Super... Oh, man. Why do you have that suit on display? Get dressed. Why do you have the suit on display? Yeah, because you, you can see it through the window. I'm just like, oh. Why, man? I mean, for all someone knows, it's just a cosplayer. Safari pirate. No, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, maybe he is just a cosplayer, Next time like, a cosplayer who can jump outside his building and then swing out. Well, I'd imagine I he doesn't jump outside his fucking window and people are looking. Does he have awareness of that all the time? I know. I know. Spider Verse established. I mean, that, I know he has. I mean, I'd imagine he has spider sense for like. Okay, so if his identity is something that puts him in danger, and his spider sense warrants him of hey. danger, then uh, he also has like the perception time. Of like, I, I don't, I don't recall this. I don't recall them establishing it warns you if someone's just looking at you. Well, I know it does it in other Spider-Man media. Um, wait, real quick, is my mic too quiet? On my end, so. Second. it's not too quiet okay so uh we know I, I, it establishes it in like other spider-man media but like even if the spider sense didn't warn him or whatever i'm mad i'm assuming he like with his perception given his perception that he has he can look at all angles where he could possibly be seen every time he jumps out that window 
It's like I don't pretty, know. I'm I'll, like he does. I'll the, look they at do, it later. They do this in like every Spider-Man media. I, I'm pretty sure he didn't, but I'm happy to move on to the yeah, thing ahead, we were ahead, looking at. Alright, let's look at this. Right, no, scroll back, scroll back. No, this is the start. Oh. This yeah, is no, the start. No, I, I want to hear the, all the dialogue. Okay. Because okay. I assume part was not important, but... I was... Hey, so I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. He killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of superfans. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? I don't know. But this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were you guys there? Sandman. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Lee's just on their list too. Why was this so quiet? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in. Oh, you guys watching the thing right now? Maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses. Would you be up for taking point on this? I got you! Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee Lines. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? So Maybe Peter hasn't have said anything about Robbie. trust. Someone's asking their special one to homecoming. Skip a little bit. But it looks. Is Joe finally tracking up to get out of here? Do this. He can get kind of Ooh. blindsided. This is a great Lego Batman stream. I know you're supposed to be a college Batman stream. We're waiting for cool. disagreements. I always have time to Spider Man. Everybody like loves this movie, but I don't know what to tell you. I don't think this is a good topic. Can't focus while he's out there, MJ. Don't. Don't let it eat you up. It might be best to just focus on the task at hand. That's not all. When I face Lee, I got some new powers. They're blue and weird. Uh, I mean, I'm no expert on spider powers, but C could it be from stress? What you're going through, it it's a lot. But you're not alone. Even Pete and I, we're still figuring it all out. One thing at a time, right? We'll find him. I know. Thanks, MJ. So all I'm gathering is and that Miles, their plan is to tell her that she's in danger. Alicia. You can't trust her, no matter what she says. Warn her about the hunters and get her out of the city. Okay, warn her about Understood. the hunters and get her out of Let the city. Let you know when I get there. Um, to be fair on MJ's part, this is before she does all the destructive shit. I'm not, I'm not um, criticizing what I'm just doing. No, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, she probably... She's probably not saying, like, turn her in or anything. Because... Like well, I can't remember what happened in the first game. Did she even do anything, like... That's worthy of Spider-Man getting her locked up? I can't remember. Um, she almost kills people? Oh, then I don't know. Maybe that is a problem that Scratch marks. they huh. don't they don't have him apprehend her because if she's doing because I remember that in the first game Peter's like yeah if sorry the fucking distract me uh, if he does if he does find Yuri when she's like killed people then he's gonna lock her up so if Black Cat has done like the same gotten people killed then. I'd imagine he'd also want her in custody, not just no, so out of the city. Yuri, so with Yuri, he's like, she's just like, pretty much just like going against her, her job and she just killed a man instead of going for the system with that part. And he knows that she's like kind of off the deep end right now with her, uh, with her whole thing, with her whole shebang. I don't necessarily think, I'd imagine Peter would want to talk to Yuri and get things situated before. Because, like, when she tries to kill King... Uh, not Kingpin. Uh, Hammerhead. Uh, he doesn't try to lock her up immediately. Uh, like, she gets she gets suspended from parole or whatever. So, I think it's kind of that. Like, Peter's... The way Peter was thinking right there is just kind of like... Okay, Yuri's kind of doing a little too much. But, like, in the DLC, if, like... She's showing that she can help people and Peter believes that, like, <sighs> okay... Uh, if I work, or if we work together, we can, uh, 
we can help more people than not uh we can stop this quicker shit like that uh which would be the same thing as like black cat and i think if they believe that they can change for good then that's more useful um what are you talk so you're talking about uh him sorry kind of zoned out in in some of it oh my God. so you're saying that um so you're saying that uh you're saying that she's uh showing promise of doing some good so therefore he sees it as a benefit to keep her around that's what you're saying yeah um and this is in regards to black cat right well i'd say it's in regards to both because that's not the impression i got with yuri in the first game at least because she because by this point well, he's no. not done with yuri in, in the side mission well yeah by by that in that side mission in the dlc I would still see it as like, okay, Yuri's going a little too far, going a little too far with this, or she's gone a little yeah. too far with this. She just, she just, uh, pretty, I mean, she did kill Hammerhead, but he got revived, obviously. Uh, and then she killed another person. Um, so if she's like, you know, out there just killing just, you know, the, the random guy or like that, that mob enforcer or whatever, I don't think, I, I think he would see that as more of an issue than like hammerhead because that because like oh, we she... go, well hold on when we go through peter's head we kind of understand he, like the concept of killing it's like it's kind of he's kind of under it's like he understands why why killing is a bad thing uh and why he doesn't do it because of that theme of second chances so if someone like like yuri or black cat can help people uh and they're trying to help people with this specific with both of those specific instances uh like in spider-man 2 and the dlc for ps4 i think it's pretty consistent with his character that more times than not he'll try to get them that second chance to actually help people uh um rather i mean than i agree jail. he's open for second chances but I feel if like he you thinks that the second chances thing and like all the shit that i added to it like for more contextual thing and then only hint, hoped in on that well, so i hope yeah. you don't do that <laughs> <laughs> I want to. So yeah, I want to add. So so you're saying uh, as one of your points is that uh, he thinks that Black Cat is still trying to do good or trying to help out, but still has like, I guess, uh, missteps all, along along the way. Yeah. Is that kind of is that kind of one of the points? So I don't know if that's true for this game because Miles says Spider Man in in reference to Peter was right about you. You only care about yourself. Right. So if you just if you're looking out for yourself, then that doesn't sound like someone who's trying to do. Well, yeah, good. but after he after she after she says that or after he says that to her, then she says, "Look, kid, not that it's any of your business." Uh, but like she reveals to him why she's doing what he's doing. So if Miles sees that, okay, so this is why you're doing what you're doing, and the and the destruction you've caused is really only because you're you know you're trying to run for your life. Uh. And I think that makes, and she hasn't killed anyone. Um, then I don't really see the issue. Uh, I guess it it really comes down to how quickly he's convinced that she can be trusted, based on a story that she easily could have just made up. Um, but I guess if we're gonna if we're at a stalemate here, we just move on then. Okay. Uh, someone someone said, Colin, you don't me. But I'm a fan don't of me? if Miles protect Felicia, Craven sees him as an obstacle. It show it's like... shown Craven can handle him under <laughs> circumstances spelled with an S E R C. S E R. What a legend! What a minor, legend! We got minor disagree. Oh, okay, Blagus. Uh, don't Jay, you know? You don't pay. you know Blagus? Oh, yeah, I do know Blagus. Okay, minor yeah, disagreement about Lego him. Batman. Yeah, just add him to the call. Blagus. Or do I not? Okay, I gotta add Blagus. Wait, Eska, I got the a question. The straight said you and Stirs the beta so fat. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It really was, because... I get, I'm just fucking angry at this point, bro. I'm just fucking angry. Sure. Anyway, you know, it, at this point, I'm just like, You're I've come wrong. to the point with this game where I'm like, I really don't want to argue about it anymore. But like, then I hear like, like SK bring up like that, and I'm like, 
Okay. I, I it's just like <laughs> I can't help it. It's like it's like when you're uh it's like a It's, it's like a, almost like we have to do the disagreement day. Well, even then it's not. I feel like it's not going to end, right? Like, can you did you add Blagus? Well, to be Wait. fair, I'm kind of just I'm very Yeah, I just added him. I am kind of being lax about this right now cuz I'm still working on the document. So I don't know. Um at but like, even if I agreed that he was character assassinated, I don't think that destroys his character entirely in the game. I think you mean, even if I agreed that if that was out of character, then I don't know if that's assassination. I think that's what you meant. No, 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 um, I'm saying I don't think that just, like, even if that was a character assassination, that moment, like, that one moment in the oh. story, I don't think that destroys his entire uh, character arc for the game. I don't think I like him overall. <laughs> In this game, at least. Good point. Um, for obvious reasons, of course, for right? reasons, right? <laughs> I mean, we were in Paris, so... No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we... oh Blagus here. All right, we got Blagus yeah. here. All right, what's up, Blagus? Blagus, what is All your right. disagreement? So... What's a disagreement and tell us why? So, near the end of... So, it's a thing that happens <laughs> during the third act of the Lego Batman, and it's after... So after Batman returns from the Phantom Zone and they all make up, they're like, all right, let's gear up to fight. I just, I found it like really weird that Batman decided, all right, we need to stop and we need to prepare one. We need a suit for Batgirl and we also need music for some reason. I, I thought that was weird that he's wasting time doing that. Well, when in the, the, city the, in the beginning, so with the music thing, in the beginning of the movie, it's established that Batman works better when he has music. That's why he has a playlist for it. Well, wasn't he doing that when, like, like he was already... Well, wasn't the point that he was kind of bad at being a hero at that point because he was just, just doing it for the amusement? Maybe it's less to do no. with, like, whether or not he's good at being a hero. Maybe it has more to do with focus. I guess. Yeah, I'd also say, more... I'd also say, like, maybe he was choosing the suit and stuff while everyone else was getting ready. So, like, even if they well, were yeah, ready I, specifically I, at that point, I, they would need to wait I, for everyone else as well. I, well, I will add to, to I will add to something that's probably important to think about is that we can't really think about this movie in the context of how this stuff would work in the real world because I think it 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 very much operates on like tune logic uh, yeah. with a lot of it. Well, like he literally like, has oh, a gun. Uh, he literally he literally has a gun that shoots out costumes that he's giving his out. hammer. Sp yeah. His hammer space. What, it's like what? what well, also, like if we want to if we want to give a, an example, like I don't know. Um, Hammer space is a term. Let's say music gives him, I don't know, hammer speed. I guess I don't know. Hammer speed. Know. I don't know how to it. Hammer <laughs> speed. Light scale speed. the music. It's fiction. Yeah, but something like that where it's like it just amps his, uh, it amps his productivity. That's probably what they're going for. And if that's the case, that's just that's fine. I think that fits right into the style. Well, it's of also the movie. like, also the others have to prepare, and also he has a gun that just shoots, and he has to give them a costume to go into battle with. So yeah, and they need to choose wait, a costume. Wait. A costume from a gun? Who is this for? Who is this for? <clears throat> um. So, I mean, I have one. I have one criticism for the film that's been yet to be debunked. What is it? What? How does the Eye of Sauron dies if he can see through all of time and space? Well, doesn't he have to do that willingly in order to do it? Because when the Joker asks him, "Go check out Wayne Manor," he has to like think for a minute to find it. Yeah, but you, you he think, tells him to find Batman. You don't think I of Sauron would have seen how he dies? Like, you don't think at any point in his life he would have been, he would have looked and been like, "Huh, how do I die?" Wait, wait can he see it? Do they say that in this yeah, movie? Yeah, they, they do say it in the movie. Oh, yeah, because I was thinking. I know the creatures work differently than they do in the continuity because the gremlins can just survive in sunlight. Yeah, so can Dracula. Uh. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think, like, well, what was he focus? So, what was he focusing on at that moment? Batman, he was like... fly Batman basically uh, hitting him with the good old September 11th classic. <laughs> Lord Sauron! <laughs> a second... A second... I, I can't do that, I'm sorry. Uh... I'm trying to think. So the thing is, I guess he 
probably would have looked into the future sure at one point but i'm trying when do they say that he can look through time and space does he say that like he says that oh, wait. joker <laughs> joker says your mystical eye can look through all of time and space right and he goes uh -huh. oh okay that's what it was right so he just probably he looked through time and space and he didn't see the fireball hitting him okay that is weird Um, right. All right. Yeah, that that yeah. that's kind. Of, yeah, that that was kind of the whole thing. That's my small contribution, and it kind of shows how great of a movie this is. That there's barely much disagreements to have. Yeah, yeah. Now we have. Do we have anybody in the? Yeah. the <laughs> we have to talk about two completely different things. You went, on a, you went on a tangent about Spider-Man 2 and ooh, and I was like, God damn it, I thought we were talking about Lego Batman finally. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, well, it's that, funny, it's right? like I'm on, I'm on numerous tangents right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm on numerous tangents right now. Because one, I'm, I'm I, as we're going through disagreements, I'm just having GTA 5 in the background. Um, and I'm also looking at, looking at a chat, looking at some messages people are sending, so... But it's, Going back and forth. Uh, well, um, Spider-Man 2 is my Iron Man, bro. It's like everywhere I go, I see his face. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man 2 is my Iron Man. <laughs> uh, does anybody in the chat have any disagreements with anything? It doesn't even have to be Lego Batman movie, because we all know the movie is a masterpiece. I'm gonna, I guess for another disagreement that's just not that's just about whatever, it's related to Spider-Man No Way Home. How about that? All right. Oh, really? I, I think that would just be an agreement day. All right, so it's oh, yeah, way. I don't think anyone on the panel is gonna say it's a good movie. Well, well the, I this love isn't... that. I, I love. I love how that so... movie is so good. So good. <laughs> so you don't believe that? I. I we've I, talked, and you I think it's not... bad. We know what it's, you actually it's not think. Good. It's not You're good. not baiting the chat. You're not baiting the Fuck. chat. Fuck. We know what you think. SK, this is actually related to a point you made back in your second No Way Home video that you took down because you took down a lot of your videos. Yeah, what do you, what do you, what's your disagreement? So it's about the final fight between Peter and the Raimi Goblin. Now, you said that you think it's out of character for the Goblin to want to fight Peter because he tried to tell the other Peters to stop hitting him in the first movie. Well, it's kind of worse than that. <laughs> Um, I will I will just add context. Uh, I talked to League Entertainment about this point. Not only did we have issue with this, but we found even like worse things about that scene. I mean, we could go over it now if if we want. Um, uh, all right, turn off this thing that I have on in the background. Okay. So the problem I have with Goblin in No Way Home is that. He's very much out of character in terms of if you compare him to his 2002 counterpart. I feel like there's a whole sequence of things you have to go through to explain it. I think the first piece of evidence is that when he's back in the when he's in the MCU and he's on he's in the alley or whatever. So he decides to hide his shit um and you know obviously for secret identity reasons, he doesn't want to get caught. So for some reason Goblin's reaction to that is well, you're a coward. We have a new world to conquer. I'm like, okay, I don't know how keeping a secret identity is coward cowardice, but fine, whatever. Uh, and he says, you make me sick, uh, hiding from who you truly are. And basically they have some falling out with each other for, like, no reason whatsoever. I don't know why that happens, when the whole point of the mirror scene in the first movie was that the goblin acts in favor of what Norman wants, Norman accepted that, and then they move on from there. And he found out his identity way after that. So I don't know why there's this whole back and forth between them where Norman is like, please, get rid of the goblin for me. It's like, what? No, that's not what he'd ever say. He'd want to keep him. Like, the, he wouldn't, under no circumstance, would, be, would he be trying to get rid of the green goblin when he's literally giving him what he wants, power beyond his wildest dreams. So that doesn't make sense. Um, another thing that doesn't make sense is that I think Norman... He should full on Wait a be second. team doctor. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, we, 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 we interrupted now? Yeah. Hold on, let me let me let me propose something. I'm not full uh... I'm, not, I'm not fully sure on this. I'm not fully sure on this, right? So what if Norman, now that he knows the kind of universe he's in, 
doesn't want that power anymore because that could lead to his death. What power? Wait, no. Then the then the scene just kind of contradicts that. I'm the, so no. Confused. Okay, so you you, so you said that uh, Norman wants power beyond all belief or whatever. Yada yada yada. Like in the Rain yeah. universe. So I'm saying what I was saying was maybe now that he realizes the kind of universe he's in now, that power would only bring him death if he tried to uh like tried to uh fight other heroes and shit like Doctor Strange. But and then he fights other heroes. Yeah, but then that yeah. So I was like, no, nah, it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Um. What I was gonna say after that is I think Norman Osborn. To be full on Team Doctor Strange, um, you I should was... want the box. And I'll I'll explain why first. I just made the claim, so I gotta I yeah, gotta yeah, explain yeah. it. So the reason he should be full on Team Doctor Strange is that he learns how he dies. He learns. Oh, he gets impaled by his own glider. So all he has to do is like, okay, don't impale Peter with my glider. Just find another way to kill him, which he has many. That's a very easy fix for him because he basically had him dead to rights at the end. It's just a matter of, okay, find another way to kill him. So, once you learn how you actually die, all you need to do is change the plane and you don't die. That's all Norman had to do. So, I don't know why his big brain plan is uh, stay in the MCU that has Doctor Strange uh, and all these other superheroes. That would make it harder for me to... I don't even have a company there. I don't have Harry there, who I care about. Um, I have no money here. I'm homeless. Oscorp doesn't exist. He's basically going to start over in a world where it's harder for him to survive just for the just for the sake of it. Uh, for no reason. It's completely out of line. And then the, this whole thing is like he tempts uh, Tom's Peter to kill him just just for the sake of breaking him. But the only reason he wanted to turn or break Toby's Peter was so was for self-preservation reasons. And when that didn't when that didn't pan out, he was like, "All right, I'm just gonna kill him then, or well, torture then kill." That was the idea behind his character in the first movie. So No Way Home just completely goes against it for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, that's basically my issue with uh, Norman in that movie. What's the disagreement? Right. Tell me why. So, so I guess I should say in the video, you can correct me if I'm wrong. The videos, but the video it. Did you private all your videos, or did you delete all of them? I'm I, I privated the ones I don't like. Um, all right, right, you part. can, all right, you can look this up if you want to. But uh, in your second No Way Home video, you said you specifically said that you thought that the reason you thought the Goblin wouldn't want to fight Peter was because in the scene where he's fighting the other Toby at the end of the first movie, he tr tries to tell Peter, "Wait, no, don't kill me. I'm regular Norman." And he said that he cares about his own life so he wouldn't want to fight him because to risk getting killed well it's more so the fact that he he did that in 2002 as like a trap he was basically pretending that he was back in control just to trick him so he can get one over him uh and and no way home it seems to be like well he just is asking to die well the thing is i don't think he's asking to die i think he just well one i feel like the goblin believes he can win that fight like the comparison i'd make is so in Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, when Death gives Puss his sword, no, no, he doesn't want Puss to kill him. He just wants to fight him. I disagree with that, and here's why. So even at the condo scene, he's he says uh, he's still trying to he's still trying to turn him there, right? Like towards his way. Right. So he leaves him behind, and after he kills his aunt, and gives him full motivation to just push the button and kill him. Because I guess he just believes it's going to kill him. But okay, fine, go with that. He believes that he's going to die from the button being pushed. And he's, uh, he's basically telling him, do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's a matter of he wants the fight. If that was the case, he would have just stayed there. And not just left him to push the button. To tell another... MJ to push the button. I have another caller after this. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Alright. Well, uh... sequel, Spider-Man, stay home. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for inviting me on, and uh, goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm, I'm sorry, I was trying to make a joke there. I interrupted you, my bad. Well, yeah, because you're a disrespectful person. So. I, was trying to, I was trying to say don't mention Puss in Boots, I see Drago's going to shit his pants. 
Oh yeah. You know what? I, I might I might just make a video explaining why Puss in Boots is better than Lego Batman movie purely out of spite to WB. Purely out of spite to WB. Dude, I, this video should have been up seven hours ago. Honestly, man. I literally screwed my sleep schedule so fucking badly last night. Just trying. You just, at this point, you have to start disputing it. This happened to me when I was making my shit fit about the Flash. It's like, at that point, you just have to just dispute it and hope they fucking listen. Oh. Uh, which you, it, you, in fairness, it does take like a couple days. So it's not like it's the longest thing ever. At oh, this point, I'm about to literally me. just fucking. I'm about to, what's it called? I'm literally about to just upload the video demonetized, like, at this point, like. It's fucking annoying. I mean, if it's not, if it's not blocking it, then, you know. Yeah, whatever. Um. Alright, we got the disagreement on the line. Alright, what's the disagreement? Tell me why. Is that the last gambit? No. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sinister. What's the screaming to tell us why? Oh, hi. Sorry. Uh, this is my first time doing this. So, I, I mostly think the movie's perfect, but I do have one criticism. Yeah. And that's like, I, I haven't seen it in a while, but I do think it's pretty weird that the Joker just kind of ditches all of the other Batman universe villains in favor of just like everyone else in the Phantom Zone. Like, it's in character, but I just found it very weird. And then they just kind of bring them in at the end, which I thought was strange. But other than that, that's the only I can really think of in regards to the movie. Um, I'm sorry, I think I missed the first part. So what are you saying is, like, what's the strange part? So, like, in the movie, right, you, you have, like, the whole plot of Joker wanting to be Batman's greatest enemy, right? Yeah. yeah. And, like... At a certain point, he just ditches all of the in-universe Batman villains well, at the like reason, the scene where they're at the. Well, you they, know, they actually give a reason for that in the movie. It's like I can't, I can't prove anything to Batman making plans with these chumps. So when he sees all these like big bad villains in the Phantom Zone that are actually like competent individuals uh, that can actually like help him prove this point, then that's why. Yeah, because without without Joker, you don't have that massive invasion. So that's probably the reason that they're going for. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's been a really long time since I've seen the movie, but I do remember that, and I was just kind of like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. But um, it is peak movie, though. I'm sorry about the video not going up. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Indeed. It is a peak, peak movie, though. Yeah. Indeed. Swear to God, WB needs to get their shit together. Holy fuck. Dude, WB never is going to get their shit together. My question, right? My question, right? Is it better than the Dark Knight, SK? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You think it it's is. better than the Dark Knight? I'm inclined yeah. to agree. Yeah. I just Dark think really that I, I just think that I just think the Joker is better in the Dark Knight, but I think Batman's character arc I in agree. the Lego Batman movie is better. I agree. I would... I'm mostly saying that the Dark Knight is not as good as for like technical reasons. Because I mean, I understand that it's you know animation compared to live action, but I mean, just looking at the choreography in itself, that's still a technical thing that applies to both animation and live action. And a lot of the choreography isn't really strong in the Nolan trilogy. Um, I think it's better in the Dark so Knight. There's not that many hand. It gets hand better. It just it's just not that strong. Yeah. Um. Visually speaking, it's stronger. So do you have, so one criticism I remember for the Dark Knight. Um, do it's you, hard for me to criticize that movie. <laughs> do you have a defense for why Harvey gets into the, the, uh, the, 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 oh, the yeah. cop car? We do, we do, we do, we do, we, 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 do. we, okay. I think, we I think you were there, sir, when we talked yeah, we about were, it. We, we, you had a criticism of well, it. Well, see, my I defense didn't... was that after the Joker's, like, you know, caught up in, ev in everything he's like okay uh he's like heads a little oh. in the clouds after this uh oh well we have a simpler one. Oh, he straight up didn't see warts was in there oh okay he didn't know it was that one specific cop that he can't trust and 
He's probably not thinking super cautiously about it because he's very prideful in the fact that they've taken down the Joker and he's had a very long, stressful day. He's just happy to go home as soon as possible. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what my, my initial was. It's just like his head's in the clouds after taking down the Joker and shit. So he's kind of just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what second, I think is going on I there. got the second point edited, by the way. It's done. Yeah, if he saw warts in there, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's a problem that he goes in there. But, but he, he doesn't. Also, yeah, he uh, Robot, Robot gave me a defense for a new thing of the Dark Knight, by the way. About the Interesting. Joker what's the, the Well, what's the criticism? It, remember the criticism about, like, why would Joker give Harvey a gun? Like, give him a gun if he... Oh, yeah, wait, I what the I... fuck? That was... I, that, but, but I thought that was that so I... obvious why he gives him the gun. No, 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 no but it's like, because he could risk killing himself. That's like a criticism. He That's holds not the, a criticism, the, though. He, he, he holds the chamber back. Wait, what? Yeah, it's a test of character. He's no, not no, actually we, gonna let himself but, die. But we, but we forgot. To, I forgot to add. We forgot to add that. We didn't say that. We were kept like focusing on other elements. Like Joker's holding onto the chamber of like, like the what, what's the part of the gun that like it flicks back, and it fires. I don't know. Regardless, I I mean, the point is that he's he's holding it back. No, I yeah, never even noticed that. I always read it as like, okay, if if Harvey winds up killing him right here, then the Joker wins. Still in his uh, mind. No, it's no because Joker. The the whole point of the movie is that he's such a good liar that you think that he he fucking gaslit everybody into thinking that he was a guy that didn't have a plan when he literally yeah did. he's literally he a guy plan, yeah. and he does have a plan that's like why that's well you know why what i think like, we can chalk it up to the tangerine <laughs> 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 Dude, we got all these call references and no one's gonna fucking understand that. Some men don't aren't want looking for anything logical. Some men just want a tangerine. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that with the vector BFS? <laughs> oh, thank you for the five, Christopher Gooden. Uh, what are your thoughts on The Dark Knight Rises? Goodbye. It's, um, I think it's, it's weak as a finale. Should um, I do a little... Should I do a little the worst thing ever? Peek? No, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I so do you like think? A, so do you think brave. Batman's character assassinated in the movie? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Um. Well, there's one thing I'm like, yeah, this is absolutely an assassination. I'm talking about when he quits, he... like he retires. Oh, when he quits. The I second time, I th the second time, I think it is because he leaves it in the hands of a guy he barely knows. Uh. Which is weird to me. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but but for the the first the first of uh, the first time he quits, I'm a little on the fence about it because I'm not sure if they're fully implying that he just straight up quit. Um, and the reason for that is there was talk of the clean slate, right? Right. And Batman talks about it. he's like, yeah, I acquired it to keep it out of the wrong hands. So if he heard chatter about what this clean slate was, and he cared enough to keep it out of the wrong hands before this movie, that communicates to me that he's at least still doing things subtly, that you just don't see him. Yeah! <laughs> That's at least something. Um, and I think what they're going for, which I still think is a bit flimsy, is that there's just so little crime in the city that, that it's like, of course you're not going to notice Batman. Um, I, I find that weird... That it's just like, oh, well, there's barely any crime because of the Dent Act. I feel like there should have been more work done with that. They're just saying there's no crime. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say he's character assassinated for the first time. Um, if something happens, he'll still intervene, which he does when something does actually happen. So. Okay, Mr. Sinister, you said you had other disagreements? Um, no, I, I really just had that one, but if, uh, anything else came up, like, if you were discussing, I would have had any, but, yeah. Oh, well, I was just, I was just talking about the, your, uh, your initial message, because you said the Lego Batman movie and other disagreements, but if there's no other disagreements, that's fine. Yeah, it was pretty cool, though, to be on the show. It was epic. Alright, well, uh, you have a good one. Thank you for coming on the panel, Pippin. See yeah, you. Uh, you too.
She probably Dead uh, Fact didn't address the huge poverty in Gotham. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fucking weird. Uh, I wish Dark Knight Rises did a lot more world building than it did. Yeah. I wish the Um I don't think it's like the worst thing ever though. Um I don't know why I, I, I would have liked Bale... Did you know there's an animated movie set in that universe? Yes, yeah, yeah, I've man. I've heard about that. Uh, I don't think I don't buy that personally. Well, apparently Nolan's wife is the one that wrote the movie. I um, still don't buy. I don't. I still don't buy. I don't know how it's connected or whatever. I don't really care, but I thought the movie was pretty good. It's it's like it's basically like different artist renditions of like who Batman is and like some some stories are like supposed to be somewhat connected and some are just like. Well, the, that, the like, reason I don't buy it is because there's blatant wait. shit that's like it, it, that you'd see in like the Arkham games or the comics. Yeah, it's like okay, this is not the same world. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some so two two comments I want to answer. When Spider Man is enraged, he stops holding back and punches with full force. That's not true. Uh, what's the animated movie what's called? Comments? It's called Gotham Knight. I don't know what that's in reference to the Spider Man thing. Um, that's not true in the comics or the or a lot of the adaptations. SK. Yeah. How do you get? How do you finish editing? How do you finish editing a video? So long. Do you finish editing a video? How do I do it? Do oh, I do you it? don't see. See, people think it's easy, but then they hop in the shoes. They're like, damn. <laughs> It, this is I'm um, I've only edited like fucking let me let me see, check now I've done like five minutes five minutes nearly of just grabbing clips putting them together fixing the audio to the best of my fucking ability. It's tiring, yeah. isn't it? It's fucking it's fucking tiring. Yeah. Drains you. You want to see the finalized second point, SK? Sure. Well, wait now? No, not now. So. Does anybody in the chat have any criticisms for Invincible Season 1? Oh my god. Because <laughs> I've been going through it. And, uh, shit's peak. Apparently, well, I, like, I brought up mine, and I just, like, you didn't really, like... Oh, what was, like, the, what was the disagreement again? It was, like, like, I don't know how to feel about Omni-Man, like, leaving the bag of his bloody clothing just in a very, like, somewhat open area to some extent. Why didn't he chuck that shit into the sun? Because, like, I know that, like, the, uh, the, the show is trying to say, like, a part, like he says, a part of me wanted you to find out. Well, I think it's it. very clear in the beginning of the show. What I read from it is, like, you can tell that he's, like, slowly going to, like, he's slowly down, like, his downfall is kind of slow. Like, as soon as Mark gets his powers, he's, like, worried. He's hit with that, like, thing. Uh, that realize. Hold on, I actually I have notes for this because for for Omni Man's character. One second. Oh, um, Omni Man is like my favorite part of the show. Yeah. The uh. So. so Rule. Omni Man being worried that Mark got his powers and wondering if he even wanted Mark to get them at all is foreshadowing for when Mark eventually gets through to him at the ending. So I think there is a part of him that's like, okay. Um, I did want, it's, it's like a slow descent into like, I, I gotta do what I came here to do. Uh, but like the family that he got is like kind of, you know, it's a, it's a, what's, what's the word? It's a, it's a difficult decision, um, for him to make. He's kind of like fucking pondering his thoughts, <laughs> I guess. I, I'm, I'm missing the word I want to find here. I get what you're trying to say, yeah. I, I guess I agree, it's just like... I... I guess, yeah. I think that's fine. But like, other than that, like... I've been debating with a friend about the super speed in the show. And I have a question for you. Do you think that Omni-Man has super perception? Yeah, he does. Objectively. Okay. Okay. That might be a problem. Objectively. Right? I mean, you need super yeah. perception for super speed. Objectively, like when you're when he's crushing uh, 
Objectively. He's probably not as fast as, like, Red Rush, but, like, when he grabs... Objectively. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> when he grabs Red Rush's, like, head, it obviously shows he's, like, somewhat relativistic to him. And he, like, he crushes his head so fast that the Guardians can't even, like, speed blitz him while he's in the process of doing it. Okay, yeah, that's fair. But also... Um... <laughs> That the reason I got that question is from the little channel that you both hate. Where the little channel? I'm not gonna say his name. No. I'm gonna say his name. What's the name, bro? We'll that up. Well, I'm not gonna say the name. You don't want to know. You don't. You don't like this guy. I think that. I think that. Point... Dude, just say his fucking name. What is he, Voldemort? Yeah, kinda to you. Is it Liam? No, it's. Not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, go on. That's that, that's why. Who is it? Fucking DM RSG. it to me. I, I said, it. said it. Said... Oh, what? RSG. RSG. Yeah, the guy who had... Oh, uh, the fake Donkey Kung Clone. Panda too. You, you can't say that when you did it. I'm well, not a right? fucking Donkey Clone. <laughs> yes, you... Okay, chat. Chat. Ah. Uh, if, if, ah. if you've seen... If, ah. if, you've seen ah. if you've seen Colin's older videos, or some of his new ones, potentially, does he sound like Donkey? What sound like donkey and act like donkey are two things. And also act, and act, act I like do not donkey act well. like donkey, bro. You do. You, <laughs> you do. You do, bro. That's true. Bro, I've been acting like this since like since birth, bro. You've been a donkey clone since birth. How sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really a disagreement, but well, I the way they were they worded Batman and Joker's nemesis relationship was a little weird in the Lego movie. But I get what they're trying to do with it. I just want to know why the movie dialogue sounded like they were in a romantic relationship when it really wasn't. Because the joke is that, like, the joke is is that it's supposed to be, like, a parody of, like, a relationship. But the the joke is is that, like, they're, like, enemy and, like, like hero versus enemy. I think it genuinely is making fun of the people that are, like, Batman and Joker are secretly in love with each other. That's literally why it's like, I hate you, and it's like, yeah. Ooh, I hate you more. <laughs> uh, Colin Nate, if you're in the chat, in the... did you get that? Or do you still want to join the call? And SK is Shrek. <laughs> I'm Donkey. I'm making a Donkey! I'm making a Donkey! Will you shut up for five minutes? <laughs> League Entertainment. League Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's 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 push the buttons of League Entertainment. Let's see another point I have on the dock. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, I mean, I had a, I had a, I had a little, I had a little idea, I had a little idea. I don't like your ideas. Goodbye. Okay, but. What if I did a sneak peek of my thing at the end of the stream? Oh well. All right, hold on. We know. gotta we gotta call her real quick. Oh, we have a caller. Okay, I'll save my pushing of buttons for later. <laughs> I think this should be quick. Should be what quick. What's the what is that using? What is that using there? It was the person that said uh, the Batman Joker relationship thing. Nate Hello. Raid Slushy sixty nine. What an interesting name. Nader Ray disagreement. You are on the line. What is your disagreement? Tell me why. I think this is the most productive one we've had so far. Honestly. <laughs> agreement day. <laughs> Can somebody edit uh see <laughs> Drago, I know that you're watching this. Can you edit Lucas but put like a face Oh he's talking now. He's talk. Hello? Yo. No. Yo. Uh, Can you wait, wait, yeah, turn the t turn the camera off? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just mess. It just messes with the uh, SK. Yeah, it just messes with the. Format. Oh, we're good, Andy. Hey, we're good. Hey, what's the disagreement? Tell me why. Yeah, that camera thing. That's sorry. your disagreement. The camera thing. That that's actually what I look like. I ha I have a beard right now. All but, right. Cool. Uh, anyway, the anyway. Though. The what? No, no it's no, just a ahead. joke about you, Lucas you and just, Team Star. Go, go ahead. ahead. So, 
my question was like I know that uh Batman and the Joker uh it sounded satirical in a way that like uh they were talking about oh well we're over or whatever because like Batman was just trying to be like a he wasn't trying to be some type of way. He was just be like, "Oh, I'm dark and brooding and shit." Like what? I don't know how huh? to word it. Okay. Like um, um <laughs> I don't really got much to go off of here. I'm just... <laughs> like they were trying to make a parody or something of yeah. They were trying to make fun of the whole re relationship thing that people say. Oh. Was there, like, a theory or something? I don't think it's a theory. I think it's just blatantly what it is. <laughs> oh. It's like... We've been... We've been having this, like, nemesis relationship for, what, 70-something years or 80 years? I don't even know how long it is, actually. Because the comics were, like, eight, 75, 80 years at that point. I don't know. All right. But, Is that all? Uh, yeah. I just, all right. I, I didn't, I didn't know what they meant by that or whatever. All right. Well, uh, have a good one. And uh, I, I, I partially spaced. It. Did we explain it or? Yeah, yeah, I explained it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I heard y'all uh trying to discuss it or whatever. All right. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I'll just uh, get out of here. <laughs> I'm making All this right. awkward. All right, goodbye. <laughs> more, more awkward than it needs to be. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> All right. See you. Well, <clears throat> see you. So I've got, like, while we wait for disagreements, I got, like, two videos on. Uh, Video docket so far. Um, on the what? I'm, I don't know which one I want to start. With the docket. What are we talking <laughs> about? What's the docket? What are we talking about? Um, either response to oh, uh, EFAP's the Batman criticisms or uh, Edge of Time. I'm deciding which one. Well, I mean, the Batman. We're on a bit of a Batman high as of recently. We are. We are. <laughs> The and fat Batman movie. fans are way more based, so. You know. I think that the Batman is okay. That's my opinion. I think. Why is it okay? I think I could handle the Edge of Time video. Mm. If you I want. If you, don't, if, you, I... if you want. If you want, I think. Uh, I mean, yeah. If you want to, if you want to go for it, yeah. I mean, I still gotta make my Invincible season two video. Wait, have you? Seen... How was that Wait. season? I um, didn't watch it. Yet. I, I didn't seen... watch it yet. I'm going through season. Uh, I'm going through season okay, one right I, now. It is. It is very good. Very it, good. Um, okay. It like, it accounts for a lot of <laughs> stuff really well, and I think, uh, Rob, Rob has been like going through the uh through the books as well and he says that the uh the show does improve upon things like some significant things from the book because there's like um certain character things that are just like weird in the in the book that i think the show like from what i hear the show drastically improves mm -hmm. colin what do you know about season two sk what do you know about nothing season two? i know nothing except for that i know nothing about season female two. villain and agent spider Oh yeah, I saw Agent Spider. He looks like a Spider Society variant. I mean, we could go through they, season two. They, I mean, that, I mean, I mean, they make a joke about that kind of in this show. Yeah, he might be Spider Society guy. Who knows? Dude, bro. What I what I am gonna say is if they don't if they don't get Josh Keaton as as like Spider Man, like actually Spider Man for this season, I mean, it's not beyond belief that. Maybe they'll do it for the third one. Maybe they were just testing the waters, just to troll. Well, uh, he because they've got they've got the third season he, worked on, right? 
He he doesn't appear in anything else after. What did I tell you, SK? So you didn't believe me what? when I told you that someone told me that they know someone who has all the episodes Cause, and cause Spider Man doesn't show up. Someone told me. Why would I trust their word? Okay, but um, but also you gotta go in in good final, faith. The, the final we episode. We have to go in in good faith. I I'm not gonna give any context. What I'm gonna say is is that the show canonizes Fortnite. Oh. Okay. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna say. Why does it canonize Fortnite? <laughs> do, do you want to know? There's reasons. I don't want to know. Okay. If something happens where it canonizes Fortnite, and this is the funniest shit ever. Welcome to Fortnite, Peter. Holy Welcome shit! It's Fortnite. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we're close to that now. <laughs> During the presidential election, they're gonna add Trump to Fortnite. <laughs> you know, yeah, you remember the remember the season nine event where it's like the monster versus the monster. They should just do that event, but reskin them as the presidents. Dude, fighting. Liam was playing a Mario a get uh, like a bootleg Mario game yesterday. It's called Super Bernie World, and it's Bernie Sanders going, <laughs> going through all the uh, the states. Man. Um, do you want to remove the Nate person from chat? Uh, and, uh, uh Blagus? Yeah. Oh, wait, Blagus is gone. I already, and... I already removed we... everyone. Oh, okay, if... you removed everyone? What All if right. I Because started... I still see people lurking. What if I started a discussion? What if I started Well, then fucking start, start it, Pippin! Alright, 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 alright. What topics are we- any- any Across the Spider-Verse. Any... <laughs> fine. Fine. <laughs> We went up if you want to make the time. If you want, I thought you said time, nine. Out. Fine, let's talk nine about out of ten. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the Spider Man. Let's All talk right. about the well, Spider Man. I gotta. I gotta piss real quick, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Spider Man. What is the disagreement, and tell me why. Uh. I, uh, I actually can see it to a point that I was thinking about more, <gasps> um, about Jessica Drew. I kind of concede as her as a character, <gasps> because we, I, good faith is, is that she has higher durability <gasps> in the universe that she's from, and she's not, a, so there's not, like, it doesn't need to be exactly the same. She can literally just be more durable, because she's from a different universe. I like. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. There you go. We have to go in in good faith. True. That was a great statement by Gwen I would Man. debate Batman Begins with SK and explain why that's a 5 out of 10. Son of Gondor, it is open if you want to disagree. Uh, I don't... I haven't seen that movie in years. I don't have anything to say about it. Bro. I've got things to say, so... I don't know. What, uh, I, I'm I'm prepared. Uh, I watched it recently, not super recently. Mm. Well, I you don't like if I pull up my stream. Can does it disrupt your like how your Discord like your setup looks? All right, what? What are you, if I pull what are you up my, talking about? If, if I pull up a stream, does it disrupt how your Discord yes. likes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So don't do it. Okay. Yeah. I can't see that's it, pretty, so... That's pretty, that's pretty fucked up, SK. Well... I don't know. Get the video done. The video <laughs> is literally... Bro! I'm, I'm trying my best! Try harder! I literally... I. I worked like I actually fucked my sleep schedule re-recording re this over and over and over again and trying to get it to my best. Like I, I tried, bro. I'm trying so hard. I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer though that says sorry for my bad audio at times. It's a skill issue, me. Disclaimer. Dang. I'm waiting for SK to form his opinion so I can form mine. Well, I think the first thing I gotta tell you 
is uh, Batman killed a baby in Arkham Knight, so it's bad. We have proof of this um, through Arkham City that Harley Quinn was pregnant, <laughs> and you know we don't see a baby in Arkham Knight, and that was because Batman and Robin beat the shit out of her. And Batman. Those character assassination. I think I think it's pretty true, true as well. Batman knew as well, and he willingly did it. Yeah. Like he, he straight he straight up said fuck this fetus and he fucking just like destroyed, destroyed it destroyed Harley Quinn. Exactly. All right, son of Gondor, you want to disagree so bad? I've let you in. You are here. Yeah, how did you wait? The only thing that I remember from Batman Begins is the how it should have ended, where it's like he lifts up Rachel Ghoul. And, like, the guy's like, how were you able to lift him? He was over 200 pounds. He goes, I don't know. Maybe it's because of me. He says, because I'm Batman. That's, that's all I remember. Hmm. Why are you calling my Discord? Son of Gondor, you have a disagreement. That's why. This guy is so stupid. That he goes on disagreement day, says I have a disagreement, gets added, and he's like, "Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me?" Because you have a disagreement on disagreement day. Who got the bear? Bear in mind. Imagine being as dumb as son of Gondor. What else has he been fucking saying? What are you doing, my swamp? Batman turned that fuse into mashed potatoes, mashed tomatoes, mashed everything. Oh. Do this. I can finish this fucking video. I can do it. That's okay. Go. Oh, son of Gondor saying, I was a ready jerk. Why are you voicing the disagreement, bro? I voiced the disagreement. Bro, I realized I, I, I literally. I'm not ready to disagree. I literally did not get any sleep last night, and it was 10 a.m. We are. We are winning. Stay winning. Um, I love to see you and Colin go to response to Eva. Dude, we're not going through that whole fucking thing. But what? About an Eva link? <laughs> what happened? Suggesting us to go through the Batman Eva. We're not going through that whole fucking thing. Right now? No, I'm saying no, we're not. Yeah, I know. Listen. I was asking if someone was saying should we we should do it right now. Well, no, someone was saying do it at some point. I'm just like, no. No. Aren't you making a video yeah, on it? I'll... Yeah, like a... Yeah, I'm already doing that. I don't know why I, tr I we would stream it. <laughs> but I'm already making a video. Um. Oh. I've just burped. Yeah, if I don't... If I have a... Oh. All right. Okay, are we good now? Are we good now? Alright, we're good. Yeah, if I haven't gotten it out, and you're still w waiting to cook something out, yeah, you might as well just pump the edge of time thing. But if you're not ready then, then I'll probably just, uh, go speed ahead. Well, I can um, do the edge of time thing to... after the... After the Invincible video. The Invincible. Well, you still gotta watch that, so... Uh, yeah, it brought up you had a video on the docket. I mean, I'll probably be finished... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be finished the, uh, like, Invincible, uh, like, by Friday or Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, we'll see. If you, if you get that done before I even start on Edge of Time, then yeah, that's, that's your baby. Alright. Um, we got Son of Gondor here. The, the baby killer ball. defender. <laughs> Son of Gondor. You're, what's the disagreement to tell us why? Okay, so, uh, you know how in, um... Batman Begins, where um Batman is this, trying to escape those cops. And, yep, you know, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. <laughs> yep, go on. Listen, like when he gets back to the manor, when Bruce gets back to the manor, um, and Alfred points out the chase scene on the television set. Um, oh, wait, how does it go? Alfred says, "What do you call that?" 
and then Bruce damn says, good damn good television. Like, I think that's very out of character for Bruce. Like, he should be remorseful after all that damage he caused. What? Um. No, he's talking about, like, all the damage caused by the Tumblr, and he said his reflection on that is that it's damn good television. Um, what I'd say is that Bruce is, because Bruce is, like, uh, getting dressed up and shit, um, I think that's just him getting into character for his persona. It's like an instinct thing. It's like, what would Bruce Wayne say if he's trying to get into character, if that makes sense? Jaden, we're streaming. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I won't yeah, say just, nothing. You know. Um, and as for, him, how, as for him doing all that destructive stuff in the first place, I think what the film is going I, for I, is the fact that... I, I, I know that... I mean, I know he was just doing what he needs to do to save Rachel. Yeah. Um, I think that's just him just saying it's damn good television. I'm not saying he thought it was like a great thing that it happened. Um, it's more so just him him having like a the billionaire yeah billionaire playboy attitude that um, he's just trying to get into character for. Because he does say afterwards, like, yeah, I didn't have time to observe the rules of the road. Um, like, you know, she was dying. I had to do something. So it's not like he looks at this as like this was some ideal outcome. Okay, got it. Ugh. Um, why does Batman well, flood the building with bats? <laughs> it's weird how he never uses that in the Dark Knight or the Dark Knight Rises. Hmm. Why would he use it in the Dark Knight? Which not scene? not enough not enough bats left. No. How do we use it in the? How do we know the? How do we know bats have? No, he should just adopt them. Adopt them as children. When would he use it in the Dark Knight? Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Maybe he could have. Maybe he could have used it. Uh, Actually, never mind. I think maybe he could have used it in the Dark Knight Rises though against Bane. Any time. Well, my problem with that is like the only time he uses it is to like escape places because like. If a bunch of bats start flying in somewhere, where like there's like hostages that could get shot or something, he wouldn't do that because that could fluster people into shooting at random places. Yeah, um, but I mean, Bane. But I think like, in Rises, you might have a point. You might have a point for Rises because they're already underground and shit. Like, okay. I mean, there's loads so, of ways he could have won that fight. He could have used I've, the sleeper darts that he has. And why doesn't he have, like, an x-ray vision? I mean, like, yeah, why doesn't he have, like, a thermal x-ray vision? Goodbye. I mean, he did with the sonar device, but I guess he just doesn't want to use... The sonar... I mean, like, about the sonar thing, theoretically, wouldn't you just be undetectable if you just stand completely still and make no noise? That no one does that. So, I mean, as far as we know, the only kind of uh, seeing through wall abilities that he has is the sonar thing and Luke, Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, <Fox>. Lucas Fox, <laughs> and Lucas Fox. He uh, <laughs> he fucking destroyed that. So it's gone. <laughs> Uh, he did destroy it, sure. I would say, though, that Lucius was okay with, uh, the original design used in, used in Hong Kong. So you could still do that. Wait, what? Lucius Fox was okay with using the original design in Hong Kong. Okay. So, I think, yeah, he probably could have used it. He used it for what? Um, to go into Bane's cave so, like, he knows what he's dealing with. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, but yeah, what other disagreement? I don't think we'll disagree on problems and rises. Okay, so, um, about the League of Shadows plan, specifically in the context of Batman Begins, um, like, wait, not about the plan in current day, like, like, it turns out, we find out that the League of Shadows had used plague rats to infect people. Like, wouldn't that risk them getting affected as well? No, because I assume that if you're going to deal with plague rats, 
or like any kind of poison whatsoever, you would have precautions in place so you don't get poisoned. Kind of like with the fear gas. I think I mean, the fear gas like, thing is kind of stupid because if it can if it can like evaporate the blood uh, the the water, then it should evaporate everyone's blood. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's got uh, because it's like the same thing pretty much. Well, no, it says it uses focused microwaves, so I assume that it's very specific. Um, Isn't blood literally, kind of like, liquid? less dense than water, though? Um, blood less dense than water. You know what, let's just go... I mean, I haven't, stu I, I, right, I, right. I haven't studied the densities and stuff. <laughs> I think... I, <laughs> actually, I'll just... I always thought it was kind of silly, just, like, on a meta level. But I guess in the story, you could probably just say, oh, yeah, the blood isn't affected because reasons... Whatever. I mean, yeah, I just kind of went with the idea that it's, uh, it's a fictional property. I mean, it already says it uses focused microwaves, so perhaps it just has precautions where it just doesn't affect actual humans. Um... It just affects the so, water system. So let me ask you something: Do you think he's character mm -hmm. assassinated at the end of the at the end of the movie, or is he just stupid or out of character? One of the three. I think he's character assassinated. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, what other disagreements do we have, Son of Gondor? Okay, so um, when Batman hits Scarecrow with his own fear gas, like, shouldn't Scarecrow be dying because he just used the concentrated gas on Rachel? Um, I mean, we don't know how much Bruce gave him. I had the same criticism, and I thought of the same defense. Yeah. Um, okay... You just seem to kind of spray it. Like, Scarecrow, yeah, I mean, actually, from what we see visually, uh, Rachel is hit with a big cloud of it, while Scarecrow only gets, like, a little little squirt. He also... Um, Batman also doesn't know at the time that it's a concentrated, a concentrated dose that will kill him right there. Like, that, uh, that specific I formula. I mean, I'm not saying that that I'm not, that's not my criticism though. Oh wait, what? Like, my criticism was that Scarecrow should be dying from it, but I guess not. Well, it depends on people have different reactions to fear, right? Because the whole dying thing is dependent on the idea that the, that the mind can only take so much. We don't know how much he can take. We don't know. Uh, I mean, he's just seeing a scary bat demon, and Batman knocks him out right afterwards. Yeah, just like Stag in Arkham Knight. Yeah. Uh -oh. I should leave you to your nightmare. Uh, I don't know if hitting Crane with fear gas was a smart move, because that would make him more erratic. That would kind of make it difficult to interrogate him, wouldn't it? Sure, but, like, this is an inexperienced Batman. He's just going to jump to a very quick, I would actually uh, argue against that, because Batman thinks fear will make people talk. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's something that's so strong about the Joker in uh, Dark Knight. It's like, he's the first villain that Batman's ever encountered where fear, his methodology, won't break the Joker. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's all I got. Um, I really? mean... So what's Batman Begins? Is it a, still a five? I think it's a solid so, eight. I think... I might give it Something like right, yeah. uh seven. Yeah, that's fair. And that's that's all I got. Goodbye. 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 What about Dark Knight? What about Dark Knight? What about Dark Knight? Um, I probably give it like a an ten? eight. Correct. An eight. Eight. No, a ten. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Like, I give it a nine. <laughs> Why is it not? <laughs> Hello. And the Dark Knight Rises <laughs> is a two. Then. The Dark Knight Rises is a two. Okay. Dark Knight two, Rises but... is a masterpiece. Be quiet. Masterpiece. masterpiece. Well, why is what? What makes Dark Knight an eight? What are the what are the flaws? Um, I really do not like the fight choreography at all. Oh, okay. 
I said the night pretty much agree. Agreement like day. there's like enemies like closing the distance despite them wielding firearms. Um, like it, it's crap. Fight choreography. It it, go, it applies to all the Nolan Batman movies too. Nah, bro, that Bane fight was peak. Hmm. Except for the fact that Bane has a very obvious weakness. <laughs> mm, no. Goodbye. Batman doesn't know that. And he never throws a batarang at him. Damn. What's batarang gonna do? Well, he's talking about the knockout ones. Oh. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's fair. Come I mean, by. the only thing I would say is that if he, he could try it, and, well, how you can work it is that you can have him try it, but Bane dodges them. I would just have it not affect them. Because you can't dodge okay. it if it's in the dark. Like, when he turns the lights off. Like, how the fuck is he going to see the little... Well, then you can't throw it at him very well. Well, no, Batman can see in the dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, well, well I mean, so can Bane, though, right? Cause didn't Bane ad- say? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, Bane, Bane, yeah, Bane can like see through it, but like I doubt if someone was to like throw something at him in the pitch black, where there's like no light, he would see the small ass batarang come at him, especially with how bas- uh, fast Batman can throw him. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Have you guys played Batman Arkham VR? Batman's Nightmare about turning into the Joker. I haven't played it, but recently I took a look at it because I, I saw a chatter about it. I think it's oh, interesting. Um, wait, do we even know? So, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 um, wait, wait, wait. Real quick, real quick. With the knockout, quote-unquote, Batarangs, how do we know that Batman didn't just hit a pressure point with the Batarangs? Um... I, I don't know, to be honest. A lot of them are, at, like, at their necks, so... Yeah, I mean, they all get hit in, like, the same place. I do know that one guy, he's, like... He feels it, grabs it out, sees the the bat symbol, and then he falls down a few seconds later. Yeah. So... Seems more like it's, like, a tranquilizing dart or some shit. I don't fucking know. <sighs> fucking... <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too invested in defending defending rises. Okay, so I mean, I mean, I'm gonna defer. Okay, I just thought about the Arkham Knight in regards to like the Joker disease, quote unquote. Uh huh. Now, bear with me. I don't really think. I mean, I do think Batman still has the disease even before the. Fi- the fear toxin, like giving Arkham VR. Arkham VR is a nightmare. Yeah, but like, here's the thing. What about that little Joker hallucination when Batman's like punching Freeze back in Arkham City? There's audio logs that defend that as well. Yeah, Joker went through the same thing. Okay. Wait a minute. There's also this. Arkham story and Arkham Knight, where um, Lucius notices Bruce's strange behavior, and he just suddenly started demanding more weapons on the Batmobile. Oh yeah, that's because he's getting paranoid. You don't need a Joker disease to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, And he never uses them for actually, like, killing... Um, okay, let's see, I'm trying to think something else, um, I think that's all I got. Alrighty. Alright, bye. Goodbye. By the way, um, don't come at the king. <laughs> don't come at the king, because you will get destroyed. Don't come at the king. Um, all right. All right. Well, uh, well. What what other disagreements do we have on the cowardly line? stirs is left? Oh, cowardly stirs on death. Wow. Coward, bro. Fucking coward. 
Um, I'm going to look at my dock and see if there's something that we could bring up to prepare for the Spider-Man 2 Disagreement Day. Uh-huh. Uh, um... Let's see. See, the reason I want to look at the dock beforehand is so I'm just not bombarded with points. So if I hear the points beforehand... Then I can yeah I'll I can I'll, I'll and... release the doc in private once I'm done um because not all of these are gonna be finished I just want I just want something like presentable well like when I say finished I mean like finalized points but yeah. I still don't have a finished doc right now I don't have a finished draft um okay so here's something to consider Martin Lee doesn't want to kill miles right uh no but is he will if he has to yeah and he says there's no escape i've tried right mm -hmm. so from martin lee's perspective if he were to look at possible areas of escape wouldn't one of the first things he'd do is just look up just to see the area yeah but we don't know if he can get up there yeah no i understand that my point is that martin lee would know that Spider-Man could get them out of there. No, I'm saying so like just send no, 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 no. I'm sa I'm saying like okay. So one, I don't think Miles would want to leave. Two, I think when he means there's no there's no escape, it's like okay. So if Miles tries to escape, uh, the Hunters are just gonna stop him before he can break out, or Craven's gonna stop him before he can break out. I mean, that's better than uh, that's better than any of the dying. I mean, I think he would just straight up tell him leave, just leave. You can make it out. And that's better than him having to die. Because remember, the whole thing comes down to them two fighting, and Miles is subjected to... The, so if Martin Lee says the, that the during Combat the fight... Well, on, so if, <laughs> if, if Martin Lee says that during the fight, then Craven will hear him. Um, so, if he, so, so if he's telling Miles, I don't want to fight you, uh, shit like that. I mean, can't you just say it quietly? Yeah. Can't you just say it quietly? Can't you just say it quietly? What? Because they're, they're, they're close to each other. Yeah, you can say it quietly. Craven's going to hear him. So Craven heard it the same way Craven heard him say, uh, go up there and uh, go see, find the other Spider-Man or whatever. Well, Craven as soon didn't as, hear that. Well, as soon as, uh, as soon as he says that, he kicks Lee out. Yeah, but my point is that they they don't hear that. Okay, but that's like in a mo. Okay, so like, if, if Martin Lee tries to whisper to Miles while he's like beating his ass, like the only reason Miles is able to get in a position where he can like whisper to him is because like Martin's just like, "I'm done, kill me." I mean, let me just get. We can pull an example. If he if the issue is that he's worried about craven hearing it he can always take advantage of when they get in close quarters and try to sneak it in real quick like sneak in a plan and say listen you can get out through the window um and just make it seem like it's just typical battle dialogue craven's not there to hear it he doesn't have enhanced reconnaissance mode or super hearing or anything like that so uh I think he might have advanced reconnaissance. Oh wait, no, not reconnaissance mode. <laughs> I thought when you said advanced reconnaissance, yeah, it's the Stark mode, text dude. No, I thought I thought you were talking about like seeing through walls and shit. I think Craven can do that, but I don't. Um, I don't know. One hundred percent. No, I'm 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 sure he has the tech for that. What I was saying is that he's not, um, he's not like listening into people's conversations from a distance. Well, he's listening to their battle dialogue the whole time. I think so. I can't ask something we gotta pull up the scene for, I guess. I mean, we have the... Alright, let's pull it up. Um... Back to the watch. Alright. Uh... Wait, what the fuck is this? Hold on, I just what saw an what... audio log. I didn't even... What the fuck? Wait, hit play. Can you find an audio log in here? I'll come in. Talking. Just keep skipping by fu right here, right here. No, go back, go back. Night, I dream of my last moment. My body 
lying beneath my ancestors' sky in a field fertilized by their failures. Their tears fall from the stars as fire consumes my corpse. For I have done what they could not. Only an equal may taste my last breath, and may they send my soul back to the quiet depths of hell. Damn, I never found that. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna skip all the way. Get this shit. He's okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't know if you noticed it or not, but like, no uh, I saw people criticize how does my, where does Miles just get this canister canister from, um, like for the symbiote, and like when when you escape from the cell, there's like a shit ton of those canisters just lying around. Background details. I tried. I the spider. Combat arena. <laughs> I expected you sooner. Where is the energy of youth? Huh? Fight to the death, or die here together. Wait. So maybe he's worried. So one possible thing. Maybe Martin's worried. So if Miles leaves, right? Maybe Martin's worried mm -hmm. that if he has no one else to fight, then Craven will just kill him. No one else to fight. So then swing both of them out. Well, so so if he says, okay, swing both of us out, I would still just go along with the line of defense that, like, he doesn't think, if, if they try to do it, they'll just, they can't escape. Like, they won't be able to get out. I mean, he's... I'm pretty sure at the end he's like, just kill me, uh, and, and he's willing to just give up his life. So, well, you're I... you're talking about. So you keep bringing up like, okay, they're in a close quarters fight or whatever. Uh, something, something, something. Uh, but like this, most of this is gameplay. Like we don't even know when they're in close encounters with each other. The only time they actually are, so before I got here, uh, is like. When I didn't have Here, just, yeah, just let it play out. You always we'll let choice. it play because I do remember a distinct moment where they're very close and could clearly communicate. Listen to the fucking dialogue, bro. <laughs> right here. Oh well. Do we need it? I don't think we need it. I mean, most of it's really like kind of important to the character conversation. Yeah, but not to like what we're talking about right now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's got him knocked. Yeah, he try he's trying to kill him here. But now when he sees this opportunity, he can just, you know, explain that. He doesn't want to have to kill him. He's like, okay, you have an opportunity. Like, look, it's such an easy escape if you look at the background. It's like, alright, web, break the glass. Do we know straight. how strong those windows are? Um, to be fair, no, but, um, I don't know. I feel like th that's better than stay here and fight till you die. I don't think he'd want to subject Miles to that. Well, Miles is out here trying to kill him and Craven's fucking, he's got a bunch of hunters and goons and himself there. So like, I'm assuming Martin Lee doesn't think like, Okay, like if he if he th he pr he might think like just telling Miles this shit won't even matter because they can't escape and like if Miles is trying to kill him, he's trying to whisper in his ear, fucking yo 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 the window yo 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 big dog big dog. Yo, I mean what he said it's not even about whispering in his ear right there he he straight up gets a dig in saying, uh he won't kill me Spider Man doesn't kill. How do we know Craven can't hear that? That's that's how conversation works. If you talk at a specific volume when you're close to someone, but everyone else is far away, that just stands to raise that they're not going to hear you. But Craven has like super senses. He has super hearing. 
I mean, he has super, I mean, if, okay, so if we're talking about a hunter that's trained himself to, like, the physical limit, right? Like, even, uh, like, even Batman, for example, like, Batman, he's trained himself and he's honed his senses so much that, like, his hearing is heightened. So if Craven is, like, a hunter, like, a bestial, human-esque person, right, why would he not be able to, along with all of his other enhancements? Uh, and like he uh, hears all the dialogue throughout the fight yeah because they're like yelling that though so I, I don't know i don't think there's enough information to say that he'd definitely be able to hear that because of his power set unless you show me something in like a character bio or something that proves that i guess that's fine but like from an outside perspective why would i don't know why i don't know how my how fuck not miles I don't know why Lee would just assume, yeah, he's gonna hear, he's gonna have the super hearing, like Superman, to hear us t have this conversation. A little weird to me. Well, I, I just don't think he'll know. I don't even think he'll know if it's worth it to say because he just thinks like Miles is trying to kill him or like just lock him up or defeat him or something. Well, I'm gonna skip to the end real quick. Um. Oh, f fuck, sorry. I don't even have to talk about this. They can communicate each other in this, like, negative realm. And, yeah, and it kind of, it, like, freezes time, I think, when they talk. I don't Whatever. think it freezes Martin time. Lee can communicate this shit here. Yeah, he can, you're saying he could communicate it in his head, but I think by this point, he, like, him saying that well, doesn't matter to Miles because he thinks Miles is trying to kill him. Well, my point is that he should at least try, because... Why would he if he at least so if like, you're cause... trying to break someone's if you're trying to break someone's mind, right? And like, you know, convert Wait, wait, him... he doesn't have to do that. He could just talk to him. No, 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 no. So he if... could and he could also say the Peter wouldn't no, want stop, this. No, stop, 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 stop. He doesn't know he's Peter at this point. Um well, Spider-Man, whatever. It doesn't matter. He cuz Spider-Man Well, let me talk. 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 So No. So if he <laughs> thinks that Miles is trying to kill him, why would he waste his time, or why would he potentially risk not being able to put Miles under control to say that? Because if he does say that, then Miles could break out of the control easier uh, and uh, wind up killing he him. get his dad to say, like, you're a failure, Miles, you always will be? Yeah. I don't know how that's going to help uh, compared to just saying, hey, there's a way out, why don't we try that? Wait, what? No, because really if he's trying to break him mentally... Then that would break him mentally. What are you talking about? How does that contradict anything? So he wants to he, but he doesn't want to kill him though, right? He doesn't want him. So I'm confused. Isn't the point? No, of, he'll kill him uh, if he, so, him mentally, so 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 he can like beat him. Yeah. So, in this die or in it's this kill, kill or be, or kill be it's a situation. kill or be killed. Yeah, exactly. So if he breaks, yeah, so if he like thinks, a, yeah, but if really he thinks, yeah, yeah, but if he thinks Miles is trying to kill him, then that that easy way out doesn't matter. Well, I, I I don't think you understand. The point is that he should try to convince him because we literally see in this fight he does exactly that. He convinces him, um, tries to convince him out of it. He's even like, you know, you're not going to kill me. Spider Man doesn't kill. Uh huh. It's like I I would think Martin Lee. I think he's if just he's like under the intention of I think if trying he's... to sway him away from doing this. He would just be like, "Yo, there's a way out." Come well, I th well, I think the the I think you I think to the uh the purpose of the line like you'll never defeat me, Spider Man doesn't kill is kind of just like Martin Lee just saying like give up or whatever. So like maybe. So he'll <laughs> try to convince him to give up, but not to escape. Right. Well, I mean, like I, I just, I, I don't see how. I, I if anything, why that would just he helps say? That... So, like, why would he say? So, you don't think Martin Lee would just say? Well, like, you don't think Martin Lee would know that Miles can see, can look up himself. I'm confused here. So, if Miles can look up himself, and he's still not trying to escape now, right? then why would Martin Lee think he would want to escape? 
Um, I don't know. So I know he wants. He knows that Miles wants to stay. The point I'm making is that he he would want to convince him, get the hell out of here. There's an easy way out. Uh, and I think what's also problematic about that is we can't appeal to the to the idea that Martin Lee just wouldn't tell him how to escape, um, because he doesn't think Miles will listen anyway. Because what he communicates, I didn't to him appeal is, to that. I, there I, is no escape. Wait. I've tried. I didn't appeal to that. I appealed to the fact that what's his name? Uh, he looks up, and he uh, like okay. So if he thinks there's no escape, then yeah. But this is Spider Man we're talking about who can swing through the glass. What Martin Lee is someone? What what what? Martin Lee can't swing up there, so of course there's no escape for him. Okay. So he. So he would he would he would basically try to convince him, yo. Get out of here. Um, there's an easy way out. And if we want to say that he's convincing him to try to give up in the fight, then why not convince him to try to just escape? If anything, giving up is worse for him. If and he, he wants Miles if he to make it Miles, out alive. Well, okay. So if he convinces Miles to escape, then Craven might kill him, or kill both of them. I'm confused. So yes, Craven might kill him. However, if Miles stays in the situation, um, Craven's going to kill either of them, and and, and Miles is eventually going to die because he's just going to be overwhelmed by all these people he's being put up against. What does that have to do with anything I just said? Because if we want to argue, well, Cr Craven might get him killed. It's like that applies to the situation he's putting him in. In fact, Martin Lee almost kills him in this fight right here. Yeah. What about it? You have less of a I'm chance of dying if, okay. if you give him a way out. I'm saying if Miles escapes, right, then Craven, then My, then Martin Lee might just think Craven might just kill him. The same applies to literally everything in this fight. Again, Martin Lee, had, like nearly uh, kills him with the blade. I'm not. Oh my god, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. If Miles escapes then martin might think that craven might kill himself not miles he might think that craven will kill him martin oh oh you oh, oh, fucking so knob fucking <laughs> 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 all right so you might kill lee so the thing is i i don't i'm i don't think lee is um how do we know what craven is told he gives his life no, I think he, no, he, Miles. no, he is, because he verbatim says in the fight, I won't die as the man I was. But isn't that why he says kill me? Because he's let it, he's giving That's Miles by, yeah, but that's out. by the end of the fight, when he's just like, when Miles turns all that shit back on him, and he's just like, do it. Kill me. But in the beginning of the fight, he was saying, he was saying, I don't want to die as the man I was. It's like when Miles well, hits him with that moment of, what wait what well okay so if we go back if we go back i'm pretty sure he says something along the lines of like wanting him to give up yeah because we agreed at this point he's, he's like you know you'll never defeat me Spider-Man doesn't kill he wants him to give up right but he also says i don't want uh uh he says, I don't want to have to kill you. You think you deserve to live? Oh. I won't die as the man that I was. Oh. Watch it. You don't get to walk away from what you did. The inner demons, devil's breath, the city hall bombing. Don't recount my sins to me. Go to the beginning yeah, of the fight. Like the beginning cutscene and then start the dialogue so we don't miss anything. So how many people did you kill before I got here? I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Yeah, so he's saying he doesn't have a choice here, but I feel like he has way more of a choice in this situation. No. I mean, if he's yeah, being Miles forced can... to fight, or otherwise he'll die, then he doesn't have a choice. Wait, but don't you have a better chance um, of getting a better result if Miles just swings them out of there? Well, he might think if he tries to do that, then they'll just get captured and killed. He's going to die anyway. Because put... he's... No, he his doesn't... Next no, 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 no. Craven. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. So then he would try to kill Craven. <laughs> but Miles... But, but So Craven has already overpowered uh, him at this point. Well, he's overpowered like everyone. 
That's how he got them captured here in the first place. Uh, he didn't overpower Martin Lee yet. And if anything, Craven during uh, the fight, Craven during the fight says, "I'm done wasting my time fighting," which he someone he views as a weakling. But like, I guess, I guess. But I think what's also important is that he doesn't want Miles to end up dying in this situation too. Martin Lee. Yeah, and he does it because if it were up to him, he wouldn't have any any of the the people he killed died. Yeah. Um. But that's if... why I'm saying, if from Lee's perspective, that you have a higher chance of uh of Miles making it out alive. Yeah, but if Ma no 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 no, no you're, you're misunderstanding. If Miles has to die to keep himself alive, then he'll do that. He doesn't want Miles to die, but if Miles has to die in order for him to live, then yeah, I I think that's completely fine. Um, I don't think... Well, I, I... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I guess we'll look at the scene. I know what I killed. Looks like server time didn't change you at all. Well, keep letting the dialogue play over. Oh, yeah, well, I'm skipping the... the... Oh, no. What? Oh, no. So I just got a DM saying let me in. From who? I don't think you want to know. Oh. I want to know. <laughs> I think I know. I mean, you saying that just basically just said it. Oh, oh no. Oh man. no. Oh no. We're having I a there, we no. were having a Your civil discussion. There, we were having a civil discussion and now the I grace begins. I at the perfect time. The grace begins, yes, bro. All right. The so dark grace. I, 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 I'm a little I've just been listening to a little bit of this and like holy shit, I have to fucking just say something. This is just bugging me. Because I want to see well, if are you playing it or you? That suggests... Yeah. Well, I thought you were gonna let Liam say what he's gonna say. Oh well, okay. Yeah, if you have something to say. Well, what, what part are we in? Just, just so I keep. I up. thought so you were, were listening. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the but streams are delayed by like a few seconds. Okay, yeah, but what 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 did you want to say when you were watching? Yeah, what did you want to say? All right, so I want to bring up the fact that. Craven has literally killed some of the biggest Sinister Six members, one of them being Electro. Why would Mr. Negative think he could beat Craven? We already moved off from that. No, we didn't. Like I don't th think we did. So, no, 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 no. Because here's the problem, because like, it's like, oh, Mr. Negative doesn't want to die, so he's that's why he's going to kill Miles. He kills Miles, he's going to fight the guy who has a reputation of no, killing... No, Craven in that fight... No, hold on. Craven in that fight verbatim says, I'm done wasting my time fighting weaklings. So if Martin yeah, Lee thi he thinks Electro is a weakling, that's insane. No, he said at that... Wait, what are you talking about? This man I think what he's... What he's yeah, what is that... Yeah, what does your point have to do with what I just said? He's saying that the six have like are, are seen as Mr. weak. Mr. Negative to, is not as powerful as like yes, I agree. Electro, obviously, so why? So if if like this guy has literally killed the other villains, which he should know of, no, because they're all in, like, you're not the understanding. Same cell, Liam, you're not understanding. Why would he think he could handle? Liam, Craven? you're not understanding. If so, if Craven is saying right, if if he tells Martin Lee before the fight and he says it during the fight, I'm done wasting my time fighting weaklings. So Martin Lee would then infer he would probably view me as a weakling. Correct? Yeah, until he beats Miles. Obviously he's gonna fight him after he kills Miles. Wait, what? That's the point of that's the point of having him here. He's gonna prove himself worthy first before he gets to fight Craven. He kills Miles, he has to fight Craven. He's gonna die anyway, so why bother trying to kill Miles instead of at least convincing well, him? Well no, this is just for no 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 no, no no no. This is for fun. Craven is doing this for fun. Like watching them fight is for sport. It's not to well, fight no, the replay winner. The replay the dialogue. I'm pretty sure he says like. That's you know, not what he prove says. Yourself. Prove yourself worthy. Okay. Save your superiority. Where is it? Wasting my time fighting yeah. weakly. Prove you are worthy of my life. Yeah, prove you are worthy of my life. What do you think that means? Right. Prove you're worthy of being able to kill me. Okay. Yes, verbatim. <laughs> So, if he doesn't want to die, why do you think it's a genuinely, why do you genuinely think it's a good idea for him to kill Miles and then go, yeah, I'm going to beat Craven, the guy who killed Electro? 
and Shocker and all these other bigger villains. So, do you know that Morton Lee views himself as weaker? Than someone like Electro? Well, I don't think Martin Lee is... Electro's not even that powerful in this universe compared to, like... I mean, he's probably one of the higher tier Sinister Six members, but we don't know if he's more. Two things. things. First first of all, this guy's a threat to the entire... Like, like to a good portion of the, uh, like, the electricity in all of New York. They've literally stated in, like, one of the Jameson podcasts that he could literally just help with the energy crisis of all of New York if he wanted to. And... And there's the fact that in Spider-Man's bio, what are you talking about? Potential <laughs> in just the fact. Well, I, I think there's Jameson an easier thing to talk. State. So if Electro is Electro that powerful, then why didn't he do that in PS4? Do what? Get that powerful. To. Why would he not need he to? Need what are you to. talking about? He needs. He needs to get that much energy first. Why do you think he was going after the Oscorp energy station? He was trying to gain power. So, so Martin Lee did not. <laughs> wait. So you're telling well, me he needs every single power plant in the city to get that powerful? To like energize well, the entirety of New York? Yeah. Well, first of all, one, I want to see this statement. Two. It's one of the- <laughs> first of all, yeah. One, I want to see this statement. Two. Oh, <laughs> two. 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 <laughs> Why the fuck would he think that he would have Electro f- fucking get every single power plant in the city before he fights him? Why, Why would he not assume? Why would he not shut up? Though. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Why that. would he not assume? Uh, Why would he so not assume that he just? Argument and he won't even shut up. Good job. You what? You what? <laughs> that. Oh, what, what I said, what I said was that hinges game, on you being correct. So that's what I thought you were saying. No, what what I was saying was fucking. That's why he was at the power plant in Oscorp because obviously he doesn't have all that energy inherently. Do you not know how Electro works? That's... Are you kidding me? What are you, why are you going on this tangent for? What are you talking about? You're going on an unnecessary what tangent what for something that's completely irrelevant. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to explain a point you completely but, didn't even understand. The point I'm trying to get is that Electro needs to gain the yeah, power Yeah, explain your point after you prove your statement. Oh my god. He needs to absorb energy okay, prove it. to get that prove powerful. Okay, prove I'm it. I'm saying he literally there is one thing that, innately. There, okay, so there, then Martin Lee would think that. to absorb power faster? There's one thing I gotta bring up. Go ahead, Tim. So, in PS4, Martin Lee gets defeated by the electricity and the train. Yeah, he want to really got that. fucking tased by a train, and you think fucking shot Electro? Well, that was after. Against him. So that I mean, that's just that's contextual, wouldn't you say? So and he, it's all. Really think, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! See, see what I'm saying, bro? You see how greasy this gets, Stuart? <laughs> anyways, <laughs> and anyways, what I was saying. How did he he lost or Martin Lee lost after he got his ass kicked by Spider Man? The electricity. Hold on. Right now. What does that have to do with anything? Better than Spider Man. Why would because, he think Craven would you're bring up... the powers, mind you? So, 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 hold on. So, you think in Martin's mind, he would think Craven, like, he would probably, I, I'm assuming you would view Craven as, like, <laughs> well, an honorable. Yeah, Martin is arrogant and think he's more powerful than every other villain. Where is that statement? Martin's a very wait, careful that person. Might actually, that might, what, he's he's like, that he's might he's actually be enough. Co- wait, wait, shush. He's not okay. even confident enough to go after the Kingpin until after he's arrested. But you think he's arrogant enough to handle villains on his own like that? Like, you think he's that kind of character? So Also, I, I, I do think... Oh, all villains are arrogant. Might... That's how we defend shit now, guys. All right, Ridiculous. all right, let's go. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Fucking sweat and grease <laughs> and stench. Hey, why did this villain make his biggest superstition? <laughs> uh, arrogance? So... You know, that's not an arrogant villain? It's like, okay. So... The Kingpin thing, I'm pretty sure he needed, so, so like, if he was to, uh, kill Kingpin, right, I think that would come down to, uh, what? <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? Kingpin. Fucking kill Kingpin. How is he gonna kill Kingpin? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so easy to kill Kingpin. Kingpin. He's gonna walk up and shoot him with his laser. Bro. Well, no, that's what I'm. That's what I was trying to illustrate, jackass. So that maybe that's why he didn't think he could beat him. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. I don't care about what we think. Mister Negative is smart enough to believe he can't beat him. Well, no, if he hasn't, shut the fuck up. So if he has an army of goons and it's hard to get to Kingpin, then that would be his reasoning for why he would think that. But with Craven, right? Right? Or the other Sinister Six members, right? Why would he- they don't have an army of goons about to fucking shoot him. If Craven just wants to 
fucking box one on one, get it in straight like in the field, right? In the streets, right? Then why the fuck would he think that he can't beat him? The guy who killed Electro. Okay. Does why he know would... how he killed Electro? Oh, that but, makes like, it doesn't scarier matter. if you don't even know. Yeah, if you don't know, that makes it scarier. What if he well, just wouldn't Martin Lee plan? think that... Okay, so like, what if Martin Lee what thought to himself cheats? he just depowered... Okay. How's he going to cheat against Mr. Negative? What's he going to do? I mean, he cheated against Electro. What do you mean? He could literally figure it out. He's literally done it with all the other Sinister Six members. You, you, have, to, you have to preface that you As can cheat. You have to him. preface that you can cheat against Martin Lee. Okay. Well, is Martin Lee, like, bulletproof? Well, he's, he's clearly so. he's not electricity proof. Well, yeah, well, yeah. What, what, what if fucking? Which Kirk actually, is this might be or something. He just, this this might be like Arkham Batman. This, might, this <laughs> actually might be another problem in the story. How does shouldn't Miles just easily like body him like w very easily like right away? What if, if he's that weak to electricity? I didn't say he's that weak to electricity. I already prefaced saying no, the Spider Man already... off the first. No, game. I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. shut up, <laughs> stop, shut the fuck up. After I was trying to help your point, but okay. I can't tell anymore at this point. Uh, I was going to say, in fairness, the elect, the like, obviously with the train, that's after Spider Man had to beat his ass. Yeah. So he was like weakened, but the fact that that still knocked him out does give us an idea that like Electro's bodying him easily because Electro's way above that. That's a can okay okay yeah. so one. Still weak to it. No, that doesn't prove anything. Because if he can dodge does, the though. well, no, if he can dodge the electricity, both Miles and, and Electro can no, 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 no. produce more electricity. If he can dodge the electricity, because he obviously <laughs> fucking scales up to Spider Man, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. You think Craven didn't just, get hit? At how least much once electricity? The guy who could tag Spider Man? No, I'm not saying that. Craven okay, probably tanked so the it. The fact he could conduct the fact that Craven could tank so much electricity, yeah, that's way better than what Martin could. Martin what are you talking fried. about? Do you got train okay. after getting his ass kicked. Okay, what? we already established that fucking Lee doesn't know any- He doesn't know the context- He probably doesn't know the context for how, uh, Craven- worse. Yeah, that makes it scarier. For all that we know- Frank, don't cut me off. For all that we know, Craven- For all, for all that Martin Lee knows, <laughs> Craven could literally, like, set up a plan to make him weakened. Like, he doesn't know. He doesn't... Like, if anything, that's terrifying. Like, how the fuck did that guy kill Electro? What the hell? That's insane. It, like, obviously, he's not going to go, well, yeah, I could handle him, because I don't know how he beat Electro. It's like, yeah, exactly. That's true. Cheated. Martin Lee, I, I do want to talk about his characterization. Lee? I do want to talk about his characterization real quick. Martin Lee very much thinks about uh, how the way the ways that, in which things work before committing to a plan. Um, like logistically, he has to think about okay, how would this turn out? Do I am I in control of this variable, this variable, whatever? Yeah, um, Lee doesn't take risks like this. Have you seen every time he encounters Spider Man, he doesn't try to fight him unless he's literally back to a corner? What? Because he doesn't. He's not confident. I would. I would. I would. I would characterize him as uh, as very cautious. Yeah, he's like the opposite of Doc Ock. Doc Ock is arrogant and reckless, but very intelligent. Lee is fairly intelligent, not as much as Ock, but he's not as reckless, and he's more controlled. That's like that's like what makes the dynamic interesting. You can't just go, yeah, he thinks he could beat Craven. He's not that guy. He's not arrogant that he thinks he could beat a person he's never met who has a reputation of killing other supervillains. That's not okay. So if yeah, we're fo so if if, if 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 Lee thinks that they they can't escape, like they're just gonna get caught anyway, then it's either. I have to fight Craven. I might lose, but I gotta fight him to stay alive, and I might just fucking win. I could potentially win. There's a potential We're chance. Chances teaming up with Spider-Man with electricity powers, then trying to fucking fight him on my own. Okay, but Miles isn't listening to that right now. But yeah, because Lee never try, tries though. to convince him. He never even like says, "Hey, Miles, there's a window up there. Let's break through it and make a run for it." Two superhumans versus a bunch of fodder humans with over-exaggerated tech, they're having a good chance getting out of there, especially when one of them can web-swing faster than speeding cars. They're getting out of there. Okay. Mar like, anytime, like, somebody comes close, and Mar Lee could literally just, like, energy blast. And also, if they start <clears throat> chasing him out in open New York, which is where they're at, you think the police wouldn't get involved? You think it wouldn't just cause attraction to other heroes and shit? If a million hunters are trying to capture two powerful superheroes? Like the actual Spider-Man?
We're, yeah, we're, yeah, that, that would that that would attract. You're the saying, so right saying so many fucking things right now. I don't know why I said actual. You're saying so many things right now, and I'm just not following it. You it's gotta go one at a time. Bias, SK, that's why. <laughs> you tricked me into saying actual Spider-Man. You're trying to frame me up, dude. <laughs> I get it. I right. get it. But I don't actually hate Miles. You saw me praise the Miles game. Uh, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. That's not true. Well, that's just because it was one of the good ones. Yeah, he was one of the good ones. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let me think about the Please. whole... Please, take your side. I mean, I... oh my god. No, let him think. <laughs> well, while he was, I was good. I was just gonna voice a thought. I just think. I just no, think no, no, if no, we no, look at no, 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 SK, just let him say your thing. I can writing. speak. I can think while you're while you're fucking talking. I can't I think while that. I'm being bombarded with fucking two different fucking smelly idiots. <laughs> <laughs> like I got four um, points coming at me all at once, and it's fucking like wait, wait, what, wait, wait, like, can I, I can wait? Believe I'm hearing rude, disrespectful things said about to my character with a fucking vector PFP. Dude, vector is <laughs> big. Bro. Like, I'm getting mad at this dumbass with this stupid glasses fucking <laughs> Damn, dude. Alright. Pissing so. me off. Damn. Well, what I was thinking uh, is just, I think what it really comes down to is that if Martin is arguing with him in this scene, which means he believes that there's, like, at least some kind of chance that he can change his mind by virtue of him attempting to argue with him in the first place, because, you know, that's the whole point of an argument... Um, I think one of the things he would want to just hammer in is, hey, there's a way we could escape. I think he would opt for the escape, the potential escape plan, because there's probably less of a chance that either of them have at beating Craven. What if Lee tries to corrupt Craven too? Like any like, and this isn't even a part of the argument. I just thought of this outside. Can he like corrupt Craven with his touch? I'd imagine Craven would break out of it mentally. Yeah, because Craven's just that perfect voice. He's like Batman for like, villainy. Oh my God. But speak, but like in a more serious note about like e even if theoretically, oh no, I gotta be chased by hunters. He like if any of them get close, he can corrupt them to start fighting each other. It takes time. Uh -huh. No, not against the weak-minded. He literally touch taps their shoulder, then instantly, boom, they're fighting for you, or at least they're fighting anybody. So do we know that Craven? So hold on, I'm not. It doesn't matter. About, I'm talking about no, no, no. Do we Just know? So do we know that when? Martin goes inside Peter or Miles' head that they that he's not speaking on the outside. Um that, that I don't think that's clear. I would assume not because because we because Craven doesn't know he's Miles. He doesn't know that's Miles Morales. He doesn't know the secret identities of everybody. And he goes, Your name's Miles, blah 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 blah. Well, it's like there's no proof that he does know. Well, so no, like, why I would, would he assume not? Well, he clear. Well, I mean, it doesn't. What do you mean? There's no proof well, that he doesn't know. Well, yeah, but like, I do you think that I'm pretty sure the game would acknowledge that he's speaking outside because he's saying crucial like private information a lot of the times. Whenever he does it, what does he say that's so crucial? Miles' secret identity. Okay, so if he says that, then what? What are the repercussions? Nothing. I mean, Craven <clears throat> wants to go after people Peter cares about to get him to kill him. What if he knows about? Well, that's this just because after. Well, no, 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 no. That's just because. That's because after he sees the black suit and how it reacts to it, like, because he knows the symbiote's like some thing, like some beast. He literally says that he's like, I see a man, but I sense a Lucas, right? <laughs> <laughs> He, he, here's a smart idea. If Craven starts hearing Miles and Peter, because Peter was also in the game in that thing, and Wait, like, what? if he figures out that Miles is like Spider Man, and he does some kind of background to figure out who that, which Miles it is, and then he connects that to the only guy it could be being like Peter, he knows and he figures Peter. out Peter is Spider Man, right? If he figures out Peter is Spider Man, that gives Peter a better reason to kill Craven. Why? If you don't kill me, I'll tell people you're Spider Man. Okay. So now with all the things he's added, plus knowing his secret identity and can threaten his f friends and family forever unless he dies. Well, at that point, yeah, in the that gives well, Peter a better reason. Well, so so at this point in the story, right? At this point in the story, um, what's it called? At this point in the story. At this point in the story, 
if he knows Miles' identity, <laughs> that doesn't matter. That has no implications. It has I mean, I, multiple. I already Shut brought it fuck. up, but whatever. No, but that's well, before. Ignoring, you're you're ignoring bringing Peter. up before. Ignoring Peter, if he fucking knows Miles is Spider Man, right? And then he and he's talking to fucking, um. Uh, you know, uh, Pete, like Peter, like during that scene where like Miles is damaged, he goes, "Yeah, Miles Morales, that's his name. If you don't kill me, I'm killing his mother or something like that." You think that wouldn't be useful to get him to not hold back? He's trying to push Peter to his limits, right? Right. A well, good way to so, do that is to really attack the heart, like actually do it. So a good way to, threaten, yeah, but a good I'll way kill, to do, I'll kill his mother. He's, he's already threatening. Me, he's already threatening Miles, and he sees how Peter reacts to it. Oh, he gave Miles a boo boo. Threaten his mom, then he'll actually go at it. Well, no, <laughs> he fucking literally pushes Peter to the point. He literally is yeah, about to brother. kill Craven. Yes, he yeah, does. Like, at, like after, yeah, after like fucking tons of tons of hard work, when he could have been much faster, if he goes, yeah, I'm killing your mother. What? Well, as soon as? Yeah, hold, on, hold 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 on, Pimpin. Hold on. So, hold on. <laughs> so, um, hold on. <laughs> so he already he he uses Miles, and as soon as he sees Peter start going crazy after the threat of Miles, you still hold back. What? What? You still, fight, you, you still hold, back. you still hold back. Okay. Yeah. Then what happens, then, Liam? Well, <laughs> then what happens, <laughs> Liam? <laughs> then what happens right after that, Liam? Bro, that whole boss fight, he was no. holding back. Right? How do you know? Because Craven says it, you still hold back. No, he says that before he shows Miles. No, at, no, in the end of the fight, he literally like trips him. He's like, "You're still holding back." Bring it out! Blah, blah, blah. He does that right before he starts getting choked out. Uh -huh. He's still holding back in that whole boss fight. You know, right. you know what would have, you know what would have, I don't know, hurried up the process a little more. I'll, Miles Morales, I'll kill his mom, Rio, like something like that. I don't even know why this is an argument. Are you serious, Colin? Are you fucking for real right well, now? What, what, calm bro, down before I call you that. Yo, down. you gotta relax. Calm down before I call you that. It's just a video game. <laughs> Name one negative thing. Name one negative consequence of him doing that. There's <laughs> nothing but benefit his plan. I didn't say there's any give negative. Me, give me a logical reason why he wouldn't. Uh, well. Okay, so he doesn't know. Exactly. Because you're not going to name anything. He, he was about to. I want to think, bro. Like, you like you, you think I lost <laughs> well, an argument because uh, uh, I don't say something immediately. He's, he's Calm thinking. down, bro. I'll probably, I'll probably have to think you about think I You think I took down the PS4 video from one day of thought? No. That was it. Yes. A... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really so, okay. That was okay. a four-month like... process, Pippin. Hold up, hold up, everybody. Hold yeah, everybody. you still didn't finish it because you're a coward. No, oh, damn. I, no, because I felt the grease inside of me overwhelming by my, my mental willpower. <laughs> Everyone, quiet down. Colin's thinking. Let him absorb the bad writing for once. Go ahead, Colin. Just think. Um. Use the noggin. So this is all coming from the implication that he knows Miles is mom, right? He, he Miles Morales, right? He, that's Spider Man, right? I got a name. I could kill his family, right? So, uh, um, so like Mer also <laughs> real Morales is a really big public figure too. Like, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she, like, she is. Was she, she again figure. Congresswoman or something? Right. Does she work in the White House? I think she works in the White House. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she does work in the, in the White, White House. House, bro. I don't think she works she in the White. Literally... I don't think she works in the White House. Prove it. Prove it right now. She well, she's the White got, House. well. Every time we see Rio, she's in her little office thing. That's not the White House. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we don't know if she goes to the White House during Sundays. <laughs> what is it? What is, what is it? What is the White House church now? <laughs> No. <laughs> that's City Hall, no, that's I'm church. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so he brings up my, I'm gonna kill his mom. I think... Just say he doesn't know he's Miles. Okay, so he doesn't know he's Miles. There we go. Now back to the point. So Martin Lee can speak to him in his head. Can we agree on that? Well, so if, so, hold on. Well, the reason I want to think here is because, like, okay, if, if he says the <laughs> words Miles, right... If he says the words Miles, then Craven's gonna be like, okay, I'm in New York. There's fucking hundreds of millions of people in this city. Now let's find the one Miles that I need. <laughs> the Miles that's mad about Jefferson Davis dying. Uh, from a bombing in um, City Hall. Because they're talking. 
Remember, Craven hears this now. He hears the whole conversation. Does Craven Wait. know that Jefferson yeah. Davis okay. is married to Rio Morales? I assume Rio would have talked what? about that. Why would Rio have talked about that? Jefferson, hey, wait, Google dot com. To... Google dot com. Who Literally. is Rio Morales's husband? Who is Jefferson Davis's wife? <laughs> do we know who the man did? who died in City Hall? Bobby? Do we know who, who uh, died? Who's you... his wife? Google dot com. That was literally there in City Hall, by the way. Well, she I mean, was literally there. Y- yeah, she's a victim of the same bombing. She was there and publicly his wife. It's not a secret. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. This okay. this is the true spider cop <clears throat> arena. This VC. This is the spider grease arena. <laughs> this is the spider. Listen, this listen, Col- listen, arena. Collins. You want you wanted me to bring some stuff up as early exposure, so we're prepared for when it. When yeah, because I was happen. interested in the civil discussion. I knew I knew what I was getting into with this. This is just a preview. Now you think this is bad? <laughs> Not just we're gonna end the world. The world is going to end. We are gonna end the world. We are gonna end the world. (laughs) We are going to end the world. The full on debate. The world's going to die. You're all going to die because Spider Man (laughs) Two happened. It's gonna be like it's gonna bro. It's no no no. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like the end of the Force Awakens, where where uh the fucking world like splits in half and Ray and Kylo get separated. It's just gonna be me and Liam staring each other down. I can add some extra Alchemex uh, toxic chemicals to it. I can add some Alchemex radiation to it oh my with God. one more point. You already radiate. Yeah, like yeah go ahead. Are you ready? Go ahead, go ahead. All right. So Peter's job, right? Obviously, he knows that he's, oh. he's a teacher <laughs> and he has a very strict schedule. So obviously, it's going to be very hard to be a teacher and be Spider-Man with the way, with you, the way that he has his schedule set up. Did, I already expl- Did so, we already talk so about this, SK? No, we we've never talked about it. Actually, no, the we've last DM we had. It. That's what. About what? Peter was already thinking early on in the game. He was already thinking about quitting, or I mean, not quitting. No, 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 no. That oh. was about the EMF Foundation. I'm yeah, not but talking it's, about it would be the, the same Foundation. thing here. I'm talking about his teaching. Don't you think it would be the same thing? No, here? it's not. Why? No, it's not. Well, I didn't explain the thing yet. I didn't explain the thing. Yet. Okay, go ahead. So my, what I'm gonna bring up is that Peter knows that he's on a very strict schedule with him being a teacher and all. Um, and he knows that, you know, uh, if something happens Spider-Man related, that he has to intervene. And if he intervenes, he gets fired. So I guess what, I, what, what I'm curious about is why he didn't opt for a different kind of teaching job that doesn't require as strict of a schedule. For example, um, being like an online tutor or doing uh, remote classes where like you record your lectures. That's a thing. Do Have we know... his lectures be recorded online so for question. his students. Yeah, um, yeah but question, yeah, question. So the school I went to, right, there would be uh, teachers that wouldn't come in every day, right? So given that, yeah. um, how do we know that Peter is work like his job at the, at the teaching position is like, I'm going to be in there every day, Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, Sunday through Thursday. How do I, how do we know that so Peter, he's, he has the entire curriculum planned out. He's, he states this verbatim for the semester. Yeah. He's the only teacher we see in there. And to add on to this, um, it doesn't matter which day it is. Any day could be a Spider-Man day. Right. But I, I, w- I just, I always assumed that like, okay, while he's doing this, he could rely on miles to do that. Not all, not always. That's very ten years into your career, and you think this—that's unrealistic. Um, yeah. And the reason is, for that... is, should this guy have a history of losing jobs because he's dude? Spider-Man if it's Rhino, it if it's a dumbass happening. like Rhino, well, no. this is huge. So no, dumbass the reason, fuck like Rhino. So the reason I think he's like already <laughs> planning on like taking a break in the beginning of the game is because when we see the EMF thing, uh, like when we get that EMF dialogue, it's like. Gonna miss these chases, da da da. Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. em- what? What? Nope. What? Not the same. Nope. Not the same. Nope. What? And I'll explain why. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 Explain it. Explain it. All right. So the reason they're not the same is because with the EMF Foundation, he's being shown statistics from Harry that the projects that they're doing helps the world on like a wide, wide scale. Like there right. is like it's it, they mentioned like uh thirty something thousand people fed by this stuff like that is 
huge compared to like the things he even does to spider-man um he's able to feed like so many people he's able to prevent the planet from from dying because of environmental it. issues with the emf it. it's specifically i get what you're saying it saves so I, yeah, yeah, I, get many what you're, lives. I get what you're saying no you don't yeah. now <laughs> now 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 hold on now now hold on now now hold on now, now. Now. I get what you're saying. Now. Now. I'm going to kill you, dog. I'm going <laughs> to kill this kid. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do you like I'm uh, going to I'm going to do you like Robert Pattinson did William Defoe. I'll kill you. I'm, kill Ruh, Ruh. You. I'm in this right. bitch. <laughs> I'm in Hello, this chat. bitch. What's up, chat? What's up? Don't subscribe to Noodles. Noodles. Subscribe. <laughs> All right. Um <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. So, um so I still think in the beginning. So like when uh when Peter's talk telling him right like uh in the, in telling Miles at the end of the game. I should have talked about what I was trying to talk to you about, and uh, it's from the for, for a while right. So when Miles is telling him, I need your help right, and Peter's like, and he obviously knows it's like yeah he doesn't need him he I, he doesn't need me to wipe his ass for him right. He obviously knows it's probably something to do with Spider Man. So he's like, are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? So that's why I'm assuming he probably had Miles, you know, on that duty. Like, because they, they even say it in the Miles Morales game. They, like, you know, combine, or they, they work, they have a schedule with each other, right? So while Peter is at work, uh, Miles can, uh, Miles can uh, you know, leave the occasional class to... Uh, he's achieving balance. What? Let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, balance is a process, not a destination. Let him finish. So, well, I was pretty much done. Oh, okay. Well, again, I, I don't know how you can, uh, how he can just rely on Miles and just be like, yeah, if something happens, I'll just let Miles deal with it. What if there's Rhino and Sandman out at once? That's bad. You what if both. the Sinister Six reforms? What if Doc Ock came up with another plan and escaped prison? So when yeah. Taskmaster came in with like a bunch of other Avengers level bad guys or somewhat. So like, isn't wouldn't you think that's just like a problem with every job he's gonna have? Nope. No, because there's, there's jobs with that. flexible hours or flexible yeah. days or right. jobs you can like. Do not we know come if he can get those jobs? That, that, yeah. How? Yes, you can be a, you can be an online tutor. You can record your lectures online. Right, but you, do we know if he can get a job like that right now? Yeah, it shouldn't be that you can hard. Get one as a teacher that's like computer. in person. In person, yeah. Be, yeah, being a teacher do is we way know, harder than yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. But we jobs. do know, yeah, but do we know. Is way more so, responsibility yeah, but there's multiple, multiple implications with this, right? So not only do <laughs> we not, well, well I want to say not only we do we not, not only do we not know <laughs> if he can get a job like this, but we also don't know how much the job would pay compared to the job that he's got now. He's been a TA many times. He has lots of experience already. What? I don't know why he can't get a job like this. Because yeah, not enough positions I, I available. Why, I don't know why we're acting. I don't know why we're acting like it's it's some impossibility. Yeah, but do we know how much money those would make him? It. Yeah, some could make him a lot of money. Prove that. Yeah. And also, what we can't I mean, talk like about money. Businesses? He's gonna no, 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 online no. businesses. Not what? even this. No, Liam. Like, not even example. that. It did, no, no, we can't even go about the money thing because if he fails his job day on any day, being an in-person teacher, he is fired. Yeah, like five getting fired means no money. So I don't even. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like That's obviously, don't get a low income job, but like, he, like, there's a lot of jobs on the internet that he should be smart enough to get that, like, fucking can pay him a lot and have flexible hours as spider-man i mean even like a lot of versions of spider-man and adaptations have like jobs that are this flexible the reason the freelance photographer for a career is so good for early spider-man is because it's really smart he could do it whenever he wants he just has to walk in yeah yell at Dane jameson and get 500 bucks like no problem whenever he needs it obviously yeah, he's older that's, and he needs like, that's a better something job. he understood as this is something he understood as a teenager i mean in spider-man ps4 what i really liked is that it, the Spider-Man seemed to mature because he got a flexible job that also had passion towards it. Like if if him and Otto succeeded and Norman didn't interfere, they would have been able to like like revolutionize prosthetics and literally got like what millions casually without doing much. Yeah. So you want to? So the the other jobs that you mentioned was online tutoring. Is that what you said? 
You can do it. You can online tutor, or you can just do your lectures like remotely for remote students. How do we know he wasn't going to do that? Because he goes in person. Well, that was the first day. He could still do it. What? You, if you're doing this remotely, you don't have to be in person. No, 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 no. I'm That's saying for the first for the first day. No, they specify. No, they you specifically know who would have been... specify. No, I when could... you apply for something, yeah, they specify if it's hybrid or, or remote. How do you or actually... So how do you know if it's not a hybrid? You know what we've been. Uh... You know what, you know if what it'll stay on the job application. Where's the job you know application that we see in the? Hold on, Liam. Where's the job application I, I, that we see in the game? I, I I don't think I don't think we need to, we need a job application to establish this. Why? Anybody that's tried to apply for a job in present day would know that if you do it on the internet, you're it's going to specify hybrid online. In yeah. So if he so if he specified so if he specified hybrid. And he just went in for the first day because it's like the first day of school. Then what contradicts that? Sorry, what? I said if he do what? How do we know that he didn't do hybrid? Because hybrid means you go in and you don't go in. Um, why would you do hybrid if you have to like be have strict hours of when? Uh, you're in? Do why not do online? So. How do we know that the? Either. So how do we know that the school? Dude, I just looked this up, remote jobs. I'm, I'm looking at this on Indeed.com. Okay. Um, remote tutor, remote tutor, remote tutor. All of these are online. How much money do they make? Okay, we'll look at this one right here. This one specifies um, living stipends, 26000 Wow. Um, $26,000 a year in this economy? That's stipend. crazy. No. Hold up. Legal education award valued at seven thousand. Um, seven thousand dollars. What is this a one? That's crazy. Twenty to thirty an hour for this one, and this is part time. Twenty to thirty an hour. Forty three thousand to for forty five thousand a year for this one. What'd you say? Oh, this is and this is part time. Uh, can you These show? Are, part -time are you right streaming here. it right now? Hold on. No, I'm not. Oh. This is forty to a hundred an hour. Well send, right me the, here. well, send me the link. Send me the link. That's Dude, just said. Google Google.com. Look just up. Just send me the link that you're on, so we can look <laughs> at the same com. thing. Google send the Why are you making this so difficult? I've been holding. I've been holding this in for a little bit, so I just want to say. Online you know what, tutoring you know what jobs. What would be a smart job for Peter to have? <laughs> which could help what, both Spider-Man and Peter. Male stripper. Oh, right. What is it? Happened. Why doesn't he work for Oscorp? You think Harry can't give him a position? What the? F why would oh, he want to work? Why? Why would he want to work for Oscorp? Why would he want to work in the for inside? He, does, he basically does anyway with the EMF when he knows that yeah, Oscorp is for the yeah, yeah, for, yeah, well, no, 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 no. He knows that Norman paid for this shit, right? But Harry's the one in charge of everything. Why would you not want to work no. in the inside of the guy that you don't trust and want to take down eventually? Would that be smart? That is that is a good point. Miguel O'Hara literally does that with Alchemist. Yeah, he can pull up Miguel O'Hara. He can work for Oscorp, and then he can get dirt off them hmm. while being Spider-Man. Yeah, that's a good and point. He, he especially would want to. Yeah, I, I don't got an offense. I, I, because it's Harry. Fair point, fair point. Let's go. Okay, so that's something so to think about financial... for next disagreement day. So did well, I think that we just... The whole financial part of the plot of Spider-Man 2 is all trash and badly written. The whole financial yeah, plot? The and financial plot. Not being able to pay the mortgage and his problems with balance. <laughs> all that conflict is stupid because Peter doesn't know what online jobs are or working for Oscorp. Well, no, 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 no. So I wouldn't say it's all stupid. I'm so done. Oh well, hold on, God. hold on. Well, if we work for Oscorp, right? If we bring with Oscorp, right? Do we know how flexible those hours are? I mean, they should be flexible because Why? usually for high, high esteem scientists I... in positions like Wait, that, stop, it would stop, be, stop, especially legend, when Harry's stop. his best friend. Comic Legend, stop. Also, Norman Comic is legend, a bias stop. for him. Comic Legend, stop. Comic Legend, stop. Norman's affiliate. Norman's the head of Oscorp. You don't think Norman's going to be able to make sure it's flexible for Peter? Yeah, Peter could literally He literally, he, he's literally, <clears throat> like, yeah, he has his connections there. Yeah, the, if you the, have your essentially there, this is you Norman's son. Privileges. Yeah, this is yeah. Norman's son in Norman's head. So, like, obviously he's going to be as as charitable as he is to Harry. He literally treats him like a second son. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get flexible anything. He Plus literally he offered him an point. opportunity with, at, at Octavius Industries, I think. Or, yeah, no, he said he can open that business or some shit. Regardless, he's still helping him out. 
Yeah, he's he literally wants to help Peter. He could make his own business be with Norman. <laughs> he could help Norman to help him make a business. It's just like, I get what you're saying. It's like you're the inside man or whatever. You're Spider-Man. But I don't... It's like... With Peter's character within the game, I don't know if you'd want to work for Norman. Like, even in the first game, like, why doesn't he work he for Norman? Why doesn't he work for Norman in the first game? Because, because, because he's he busy with the bigger Otto project. Can help lives. Also, he doesn't think Norman's a evil, evil McBad guy yet, so there's no reason to like get insight on Oscorp. No, 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 no. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. But before he found that, he knew he had an easy job at Oscorp. Hold on. One yeah. second. Yeah. One second. One. one second. One second. One second. One second. One. Um, one. One. <laughs> I, I would. I would literally just say play the first game. They literally explain why. What? The first game explains it. MJ literally goes, "Why don't you know? You, you don't. Why would you work, work for uh, Oscorp? Harry would hire you in a heartbeat, or blah 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 blah." And he goes, "Yeah, but like what I'm doing in all, you know, at Octavius Industries, that could save lives even more than, than my other job and all that." He believes that Otto and him can change the world, so it's it's based on passion too. Also, Oscorp once again, he doesn't think it's evil, and he needs insight on it to like take down Norman. So, like, yeah, it's it's like he's gonna get a sufficient amount of money, and he's gonna work on us on his passions. Um, see, like the only problem I have with that is like we don't know what specifically Oscorp is doing. That like if it does support his passion, so like if it's like with the teaching job, it's like okay if he wants I mean, to help young. Hold on. So with the teaching job, it's like okay, I'm helping people by being. Sometimes you have oh, to give up the thing right, you want. If the I most. can't finish a sentence, it's like holy shit. <laughs> if with the teaching job, it's like okay, if I wanna if I wanna help people with this teaching job, then teaching job teaching job can do that. But if I work at Oscorp, I don't know what kind, how many people I'm actually helping. And I'm only really okay. doing this so I can get yeah, inside. I, 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 I get the argument. That's why I'm trying to quote Spider-Man too. Sometimes you have to give up the thing you want the most, even your dreams. Like, he's he could possibly get a chance to take down Norman, who has done like unimaginable like terrors to the city, even unintentionally. I think the responsibility. So then why doesn't he do that in the DLC? More important than his personal passion. We don't know what, what he's doing in the DLC. DLC in I said, why doesn't he do that in the DLC? Why doesn't he do that in Miles? We don't know what he's in doing. In Miles, he's like a photographer, right? Yeah. Like back in. I mean, I guess I, I guess. Yeah, I but for all we know, thing, he could have know? a. No, no, no. Let me let me answer. For all we know, he could have an alternative plan to try to uh, take down Oscar. We don't know because yeah, that's not a plot thread in, thread in any of those that. games. Or sorry, the DLC and the Miles game. That's not a main plot thread. No, the right. shit with Norman. That is a main plot thread in Spider-Man too. So it's their job to elaborate on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, though these and are like no little side stories. Like they're not, they're not, they don't have as much of a responsibility as the full blown sequel. Like I don't explain, I, I don't expect them to to explain everything to do in the aftermath in an Arkham comic. I would wait for Arkham City to, to explain what happens in Asylum. It's like that. <clears throat> it's not the job of the side material. It's the job of the of the next sequel. Well, the side material doesn't know. So like I feel like well with my well the reason I bring it up is because like if he can get a job with Norman so quickly, um. Uh, those would just be everything you brought up is just a non-factor. How is it a non-factor? Because he should already be hired there. Like Miles's game takes place, what? A uh, fucking a year after. A year after the first game, yeah. I mean, even so if I do want to add to this. Well, how does this change that in Spider-Man Two? This is still an issue. Well, no. I, I'm so the thing I'm pointing out is like we don't. I don't think Peter wants to work for Oscorp because of their reputation and the things that they have. Yeah, I don't but think he, he wants to be connected can, to that in any way. Well, but if he, he can well, use his connection to expose them, then yeah, I think that would be within take, his character. Why doesn't he want to like, take down this organization after all it's done? Don't if you we're going to talk about the other games, so don't like, you... it doesn't elaborate on it, but there could have been an explanation. Like, yeah, Didn't sure, Prowler the DLC... literally do that to take down Hang Rock? Hang on a second. Stone? Hang on a second. Because like, in Rock the Stone DLC, works it's like, we don't... Oscorn. So in the DLC, we don't know where Peter's working, so that's just a whatever. In Miles, that's fair. He's like a photographer. You know what Spider-Man could have done to just, like, mitigate this? Just simply make an explanation why he can't work at Oscorp. You know, at least address it. The game doesn't say anything. Well, I think we I... don't know why he doesn't work at Oscorp. Well, I never, thought I, needed, I never thought I needed an addressing because I always just had the thought in my head he doesn't want to work there because of what Oscorp is. But you're bringing in the implication of, like, oh, Peter could be, like, some super secret spy. But, like, um... 
don't you think he could do the same thing as spite like if he was trying to get like inside information and he was working at oscorp don't you th like why would norman share that kind of stuff with him he sees peter as a son yeah so you he mean, would share so you so he sees peter as a son so he would share he in does time yes okay if you play your cards right that's fine. I, I, he's been at this for so 10 not years. only he's so very not smart when it comes to killing so secrets. so not only does he need so not only does he need to uh like if he gets let's say he gets that kind of evidence right not only is that illegal right but again no, no uh, whistleblowing is not illegal whistleblowing is not what are you talking about what does that so, mean? like do you, do you know what whistleblowing is not illegal what 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 yeah. is that. If he, if like somebody in your company realizes you're doing that, that company's doing illegal shit and calls it out and reports it with evidence, that's not illegal. It's illegal if you break into. It, the reason it's illegal in the first game is that MJ broke into like fucking Norman's private home. That's different than like in, like finding corruption in the corporation itself. And also like whistleblowing. Just so we're clear on what it is, it's a whistleblower is someone who reports. Uh, workplace conditions that he or she believes is unsafe or illegal. You know what I would have done to fix this issue? I would have simply addressed in Spider-Man 2 that Norman has trust issues after his devil's breath, so not even Peter's allowed. Because that would make sense, because literally, like, somebody close to Norman turned into a Mr. Negative bomber, remember? That's what, what that I would have was... done. Wait. I thought the Mr. Negative bomber came from the corruption thing. I could be mistaken. I haven't. I don't remember. I'd have to remember the well, story the, correctly. The, the the point is obviously Norman would have trust issues. Okay. Otto was his best friend, and he tried to destroy him. So maybe you could play with that. the The game doesn't say this though, so we can't use that. <laughs> the game doesn't say. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I want to bring it up. Well, that would have been a great explanation. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what do you want to bring up? Uh, remember what we were talking about with Arkham Knight. Well, if you want to concede, to, do you concede or or? I don't not know if this? I can see because I kind of want to think about it a little so bit we're in the, more. Okay, so then okay. we'll leave it at thinking about it. Do you want to bring up if the next gonna, thing? So if we're gonna talk about if we're gonna talk about the Arkham Knight fear talks and thing. Although you know what, even even if I concede and go, bro, we yeah, didn't even say what we were gonna say. <laughs> you knew it already. <laughs> it's, it's it's the only thing it could be. So I'll just address it. No, it's not. No, right. it's not. Oh, it's, there's no, more it's to not. it. There's more to it. It's a different thing. No. It, it has to do with evil dinosaurs. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What? Yeah, you remember. Well, whatever. Just move oh, on. it would be the same thing. I'm talking about interpretations in good faith based on the characters, right? Oh, no, I was thinking of something else. Oh, well, well he, I was he, talking he, about he, the he, Joker. I was talking about the. Well, hold on. I was talking about the Joker disease. Like, let's let's take oh, Arkham. Let's take the, the Junkler. Well, let's take the Joker disease in Arkham Knight, for example. Right? It's like the only way we're able to defend that, right, is through. Okay, you, look at all these. What? Even if, even if Batman was legitimately infected by it, it's still a fictional thing with its own rules. If the rule is you can mentally overpower it and it goes away, that's not inherently contradictory. Oh yeah, that's not a rule. Yeah. yeah well, even if we but, agree that he's actually infected, that's not a plot hole that he overcomes it or that like he's not the Joker. So, wait, the most but no, not even that comic legend. It's, it's a like, mental disease. It's a mental disease. So of course you can fight it mentally. So yeah, there you go. So if it's a mental disease that you can, fight... <laughs> I'm just thinking about this little logistical. I'm just like, dude. There you go. Okay. That's the <laughs> okay. stupidest the shit I've ever of, heard. But whatever, <laughs> dude. You can overpower it, a fucking genetic disease. All right. What? This yeah, is the well, same it's... universe where if you exercise enough, you dodge bullets and electricity. That's not what? even remotely the same thing, bro. It's you exercise no, enough, you can... You, you think hard enough, enough, you can, can overcome cancer. <laughs> It's well, just well, actually it's just thinking disease. about that. It could be it could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you could actually find studies that people being able to mentally overpower. I don't want to. I don't want to keep reading studies and stuff like that. I don't think that's actually impossible. <laughs> I think the power of the mind can actually mitigate certain kind of like sicknesses or diseases, like very what minor. You talking ones, about? Yeah, I'm gonna mentally overpower sure cancer. 
not mm. cancer, but this could be not clearly just not on the same level as cancer. Well, I mean, clearly it is. How? Vitamin Unknown says Peter it, working for us, but wouldn't I mean, doesn't it literally slowly kill you? No. Okay. Fuck. Does, yeah, it doesn't die. even fucking kill you. It's just it just messes your brain. So I guess me Batman is mentally strong enough to overpower it. This is the same Batman that can literally mentally overpower ten ten men levels of fucking chemicals going through your fear receptors in your brain. What if, what if Batman just doesn't have fear receptors, bro? Well, no. Well, no. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> How the fear toxin literally works is that they inject a poison that goes straight into like around the frontal lobe, which is where your where the reception of your brain like understands and emits fear. It turns that into max. Scarecrow did that ten times over, and Batman's brain didn't just completely combust and bleed inside. That's literally also impossible. Right. That's just. I, I want to go back to. Okay, yeah, I want to go back to Spider Man too. So. <sighs> Dinosaurs are evil. I want to go back to Batman because you know Batman actually gets good video games nowadays. <laughs> like Spider-Man, <laughs> too, I agree. It's a great, great game. Anyways, um. So says close not Batman game. No, I said like Spider-Man too. It's a great game. Oh yeah, I didn't hear you. Suicide uh, Squad 2, <laughs> kill the Venom, <laughs> kill the Venom adaptation. Dude, we need Suicide Squad, squad 2, go. Red Hood. I mean, I just wanted to ask Suicide about one squad. thing. I, I just wanted to ask about one thing about uh, the dinosaurs are evil scene. Uh huh. So, like, Liam, you say it's character <laughs> assassination, right? <laughs> that I don't know why you're laughing. I didn't. I didn't uh, no, say anything. No, I'm just laughing because it's so fucking funny that he said that. <laughs> you said it's it was character assassination that in his vision of like all the dead villains that included like lizard and. Uh, yeah, lizard, Lee? just lizard. Not Lee, because Lee is lizard, still a okay. terrorist. Uh, right. Yeah, just with, like, lizard, it's dumb. Because, uh, like, that might right. be what so he wants. What's... So, wouldn't we say that that was an intrusive thought he had because of the symbiote? Why would he have an intrusive thought of killing an innocent man? That's the problem. People have intrusive thoughts about a lot of things. People have and intrusive I thoughts about this... kicking babies. Oh god. Wait, what the fuck? I, I, the I fuck have those all the time. Of that? What's wrong with I that? do. It's called an intrusive thought. People have thoughts. Yeah, but not everybody has the same intrusive thoughts. It's still based on a character. Like, for example, yeah, so, well, one, one of the things everybody agreed with character Thank you for the $5, Christopher. Luke is, is like in Luke in The Last Jedi, like he had the intrusive thought to kill Ben. Like it doesn't change if that's bad for the character. Or I not, disagree. Or it's, not, it's inconsistent. I I always well, no, I always viewed that the as action. That's the problem. No, I always viewed it because like, he was about to kill Kylo. Literally turns his fucking no, lightsaber he on. He's what? No, he doesn't. Isn't that's it? wrong. Okay, then I don't no. think his character the, assassination. The film the literally said the film literally says he like for a, like a moment of weakness he got scared. He turned his lightsaber on reflexively. He didn't ever like was he was, he was never. Okay, then it's not character killer. assassination. <laughs> well, no, it is because he had the no. thought of killing Ben. That is completely not like Luke Skywalker at all. No, so I view it as okay. So Martin Lee literally says it gets in your head. It twists your desires. So. If Peter's desires is to, all I want, literally he says it, all I wanted is to save everyone, MJ May. So if his desires is saving everyone and the symbiote twists those desires, oh, then they, they those desires... That about that scene. Huh? The problem is how the scene is trying to convey it to you is that Lee is trying to vi very clearly tell you that this might be how he feels talking about Spider-Man. And Miles reiterates by going, yeah, he is Liz the okay, could okay. do this for him. Is Lizard a thing that hurts innocent people? Sure, yeah. Okay. Dr. There's Connors your, isn't, and there if you kill the Lizard, you kill Dr. Connors. Right, but the Lizard is Dr. Connors' mistake. Okay. So if so, like if somebody's like, um, so if somebody like made a mistake, I actually road, can't and, like, even believe like, this is like a serious discussion. I'm like genuinely that fucking. Like, I'm, I'm still, I still can't believe this is a real conversation. I mean, if you, I mean, if you want to go with the same line of logic that that like tries to defend Luke from killing Ben, go ahead. Intrusive thoughts doesn't just automatically get characters out of the fucking. Like, like, that's not a free pass if they do something, like, they believe in something out of character. 
Intrusive thoughts is still based on what they like, like their system of belief and shit. Liam, I don't care how much you want to lie about it. Uh, uh this every. Is bro I don't. Okay. I don't care how much you want to lie about it. <laughs> you. You have your own set of morals, oh. correct? Yeah. So you're telling I mean, no. me. I have Why is it morals? Okay, so then you're just always character assassinated. Yeah, I'm always character assassinated. Have you like seen the drama there I we... used to be be in in, in the internet, bro? Well, this is morals. No. Yeah, whatever. Dude, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually not arguing with this. What anymore. is wrong with the fucking internet right um, now? Um, get fest. better internet. I am the just solution. Like, it's working. Well, it's just, well hold it on. So, the... so chat. Everyone in the chat, me and SK's chat, this is just a preview of the Spider-Man 2. Are you guys sure you still want this? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. This is going to be awful. It's going to suck. Yes. It's gonna... I want it. So, we got It's going to be great. What you... Everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. I want it. Absolutely. Yep, I want it. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone's saying they want it. Yep. Saying they want it. I need it. So, like, I don't know well, I mean, the, yeah, but before I ask that, I get, I'm getting comments like, y'all still arguing? Can y'all just stop? Like, bro, tag, I'm gonna block it. you. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I need it. Sure. Yes. We literally got three people. Calm down. Oh, never mind. Spider-Man unknown. Fucking Christ. No! You guys are encouraging the grease! This is not good. Yo, you guys want the world to end. Yes, Colin. Yeah! The world deserves to end after not making any Brock Venom. That's such a never mind. Uh, internet broke again. <sighs> internet. Dude, SK, you really I... gotta get your shit together. Get fiber internet, bro. That shit's cheap as fuck and it's good as shit. I just want, I, I still just want to go to the fact that Colin just essentially conceded to the fact that all of Spider-Man's financial issues in this game is based off of stupid writing. Uh, you know, I don't. The whole MJ plot is bad too, right? So, the reason I don't think it, like, completely destroys everything... Stupid internet. Not everything, but it destroys, like, a quarter of the story. No, I didn't say it. No, I'm oh, saying fuck. everything with that specific plotline. It's because the way I still oh read God. it... The way I still read it, and I understand why you read it differently, and I don't, I don't really... I think you're, you're, what you're saying is valid. I'm just saying the way I read it is that, like, this, uh, this fucking... This thing, right? This, this, the Oscorp thing. I'm always still gonna read it the same way I read it in Miles, the same way I read it in PS4. Uh, it's like, he wouldn't want to work for, like, I remember seeing a video, uh, I think the guy's name is Lewis Films, and he, when he wrote a pre write for Spider Man 2, and he was like, oh, God. he's gonna work with Oz, he's gonna work at Oscorp. And I was like, no, I don't think Peter would do that. And I still just don't think Peter would do that. I get what you're saying with the whole. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want Peter to work in Oscorp either. Like as a writing decision, I just feel like the game should have just like made a good reason why he doesn't. The first game surely did that. It just gave us a reason why he wouldn't. Like just say something. Just go, fucking. Just literally just go. Like like I said, uh, Norman's paranoid and didn't uh, allow. So how do we know that's him. why he's not hesitant to join Harry? As well, he's not hesitant to join. No, Harry? he is hesitant to join Harry at first. He's hesitant for other reasons. Wasn't I mean, it, like... it could be for multiple reasons. It's because, like, what? The Spider fuck is wrong? About I mean, I read it. I read it. I mean, I read it as he's he's hesitant about it because he doesn't want the Spider-Man job to let down Harry or whatever, right? I feel I feel like I feel like he shouldn't like in EMF. It feels weird that he's working there because last time he worked, he says this in the end of the first game. Last time I became a scientist, I created a, doc a giant octopus monster that almost destroyed the world. That brings that gives me the idea he doesn't want to be a scientist anymore, but then he decides to be a scientist with his best friend again, like he did last time. Well, that's because Harry shows him the projections. What? SK went over this All right, earlier. I'm, I'm going to end this on my fucking message to me off. What projections? Uh, he shows the projections of all the lives they'll be able to save. Uh, yeah, okay, so oh I, guess so, I was going like, to... Well, back to the the thing. Getting... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't, I can't better. hear you. Hold on. Who? I... SK? All right, what were you saying? Yeah, SK, you're cutting out. Uh, should you already know this? SK, you're roboting. Stop talking. 
Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, just fix your mic quickly. But yeah, uh, he, he, all the lives. He what about saving, now? All that. What about with Doc Ock? He was obviously gonna save lives there, right? Yeah. What yeah. about now? Yeah, yeah, he was gonna save lives, but like, if Harry's showing him, world, showing yeah. him like per, per, if Harry's showing him like these all these projections, like look at all the lives, what like the millions and millions of lives we can save. It's like <laughs> with Doc Ock, <laughs> with Doc Ock, that was just like amputational stuff. Like that would help people help people get their limbs back, yada, yada, yada. Whereas Harry's research is, like, genuinely saving lives. I'm pretty sure, okay. I'm pretty sure it was and, about... A, and, it was is about it working now? In, yes. Maybe yeah, before you okay. go. Uh, it, I think... I, I was pretty sure it was about changing the world in general. Like, yeah, they were working on limb replacement because they're, like, starting small. I'm pretty sure the whole point is once o Octavius Industries grows, the more, like, they could do to help people. Like, it's eventually going to save a lot of lives with different experiments and all that shit through science. It wasn't just limb replacement. I don't limb even... replacement was the start. <laughs> I always... Okay, I, I want to... <coughs> so, saw limb... I, I thought it was only limb before... replacement. I don't fucking know, dude. I want to... I want to cover this I'm so this lost before before at this totally point. Move on from it. Um, do we I even wanna still want to argue about this? Thing? I want to go back to the dinosaurs are evil thing because I never got to explain my counter. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my right, Christ. So for the dinosaurs are evil thing, right? So he does have the intrusive evil. thought. We <laughs> already moved on from, from this SK. It's so stupid. Please, bro. I don't want to argue <laughs> then, about that. Yeah, but my shit lagged. My shit I, lagged, I, so I didn't get to explain. Well, so. rewatch it on the rewind, dude. I don't like All fucking... right, so, so then... <laughs> so then okay so Fuck. then so then you want to move on from that so dinosaurs are that. evil yeah bro dinosaurs are evil yeah okay dinosaurs the white house is city hall the white house is city hall dinosaurs are evil rebels yeah, okay. isn't canon rebels and... isn't right. canon jack the ripper doesn't exist we'll move on from the di life. let's see um end stream you're goofball. Yeah, I'm about to end. I'm I'm honestly about. Okay. I kind of want to fucking keep watching Invincible. I'm ending mine because uh, it was lagging hard. Bro, so, Colin, um, it doesn't what... even seem like Colin can handle like the fucking nuggets of of the debate. How is he gonna survive? Dude, we've already day? been streaming for four hours. You joined fucking late. Nah, yeah, you did you're join just, me. Just... And this wasn't. I'm not even. It's not mentally, even. It's not even. Mentally, mentally prepare for this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. I gotta do like fucking. Dude, I gotta take. Time. I literally gotta put time. my brain in like a fucking. Like I gotta take it out of my head. In a blender, and, do it. And put it inside like some like. <laughs> put it in a blender. I'll just put yes, it in a please. bath of steroid dust. No, put so it in I a blender. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like that guy from Unfriended. Like, I, I came on this stream ex ex expecting to fucking defend the Lego Batman movie, which is, like, fucking perfect. That movie is perfect. Yeah. And then, I, and then we went perfectly. to fucking... Did you guys even talk about it that much? We, we talked about yeah, we it for, did. like, 45 minutes, and then SK oh brought up... God, the yeah. Well, you wanted it. You wanted uh, no, it, Oh, no, no, we did it. We did it. <laughs> yeah, I did, but I didn't think it was gonna it was gonna spiral that but Oh, that my God, that's dude. My, that's my mistake. Well, well, I gotta stop going in a good... You're an idiot. Well, see, I always I always go in a good faith... Well, I always go in a good faith with these arguments. You know, I think they'll start off good and then they just end just nothing it's just the planet you know you, a section is, of the planet is, is destroyed the by every... it is the curse of the game it is the curse of the game honestly i, I think i think given the past two streams that we've had liam we've already gotten through halfway of the spider-man 2 disagreement day no this is the appetizer no these are the appetizers no, these are the, the, appetizers. Nine and a quarter way. yeah the you appetizers. haven't fathomed the really bad shit in the game the things i really think are fucking awful Okay. Damn. No, it's perfect. I'm well, I, 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 will I wanted to get back at another point because no, because you were talking no, about the projections. No. <laughs> you're talking about the projections at the EMF. I think you're projecting your um opinions onto others. SK, you're you're, you're fucking goofy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. all I was gonna say is yeah, it did show him that there was like uh this amount of lives saved by X or whatever. There was a lot of data that was there's all right will you at like least that. agree that studies you like all right that. liam will you, you, you read studies and stuff well, like liam that. will you at least agree saying shit like insomniac doesn't care about the character they're just fucking uh -oh. done now Do you agree at least that shit's a little fucking stupid yeah, i don't think insomniac doesn't care about the character 
I think the problem is is that they do have passion for the character, but they don't they don't bother to really understand the character is what I would say. They care about the character, but only to a surface level. I'm not it even gonna feel push like how back Rocksteady, on that. But it doesn't feel like how Rocksteady did with Batman because Rocksteady tr- like felt like they understood Batman inside and out, but with like Rocksteady, sorry, with like Insomniac, it feels like they watched like a bunch of the fucking shitty live action movies. They watched too many MCU movies. Like two cartoons that were someone not said good, four and hours and someone said four hours and no Lego Batman debate, brother. You missed the whole beginning of the stream. Yeah, there was there were debates. On uh, it. but there anyways, so I disagree because like we look at the ending of the game and what like people have been wanting for a long time. Like even with their first attempt with Spider Man PS4, it's like all the you go all the way back to that. It's like people have been wanting for a long time. Like you know, more mature Peter, growing up Peter, actually allowing himself to grow. Uh, So, like, the whole taking, this whole, like, I think the ending and what they did with the arc, no matter what the problems you have with it, I think they're trying to do something good with the, with what they think the fans want. And I don't think, like, you say the, the whole anti-Venom thing is, like, that's just fan service. I don't view it as that. I don't think that's just fan service. Well, I mean, I if think... they wanted to do what, what the about... fans wanted, why are they doubling down on things the fan base hates? Like, like the what? techie shit. Well, that's the techie just... shit has been complained about well, for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that's just kind of, like, Twitter bot. That, well, <laughs> you gotta take into account, it's like, okay, they could read that and be like, okay, we can either do what we want to do with our gameplay... And listen to the idiots that don't see the depth of it. Or we can just completely change our system, forget about any of the techie shit, and just fucking cater. It's like, well, why? You, well, here's the thing. Like, you can still do tech, techie shit, but the problem is it seems like they doubled down on it. Cause now I don't see how they dis- I don't see how they, I don't see how they doubled down on it, really. Because you're it's stupid. Really hard, it's really hard to ignore that half of the combat system is robot arms that I can't take off. Um, okay. Could not use them, right? No, I mean, so that so I'm using so so I can't use half of the combat system. Well, I mean, you look at the you look at the fucking ro- like, the robot arms are fucking cool. They like there's shit you do in the combat that's fucking cool with it. So I'm just yeah, like, what's the problem? From story perspective. Yeah, but for Spider Man, that doesn't. I don't feel like I'm playing a Spider Man anymore. I feel like I'm playing as some techie like video game character. I thought this is supposed to be a Spider-Man game. Yeah, like, but it still needs to the, feel like Spider-Man. I feel like the gadgets do more than that. Like when you're do doing, you believe, do you think like Arkham would be better if there was like, like air combos? Actually, yes. Like, that, like I don't agree. What what what, what, what planet is Batman going to do fucking air combos? That would be stupid. I would. It would. It would maybe look a little silly, but I think it would be cool. Well, that's Fair the thing. Trick. You gotta understand. There's a di- there's a difference between like what's good for the gameplay what's good for like the kind of game you're making and an adaptation like it, it's you're supposed you're supposed to be spider-man you don't think it would you be play a spider-man game so you, you don't think like it would be spider-man so you don't think it would be cool for like batman to be able to like throw people in the air and then like bat claw them down or some shit like or like no, i mean like Eric like Bible i think one of the my air, one like, of my f- may cry well no 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 it, do- it doesn't need to be that extent it doesn't need to be that extensive but like, why not? That would add to the gameplay. Then make the gameplay better, like objectively. That's that's more dimension to the. Yeah, combat, I, right? I agree. I'm saying it doesn't. You can still have a. You can still have a similar level of depth, right? With just keeping it to a minimal amount of error. Exactly. I agree 100 percent with you. So don't have the robot arms because you can have that depth without needing to add shit like that. You can have more depth without those that stuff. Give us more web gadgets. Give us web abilities. Literally, just replace it with web constructs, and people wouldn't complain as much. Okay. Like, decisions like that make me go, yeah, it seems like you're doubling down. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't really, I, I like the Iron Spider arms now. Like, even with, I mean, before the game came out, I was in the, I was in the boat of, like, I don't really want these things in the game. I don't really care. But then after I played with them, I was like, oh, neat. Oh, no. They're fun. Like, if I play with them and I they turn my brain off with it, it's fun. But if I'm, but if I want to feel like uh, Spider Man, it's it's hard to do that in Spider Man Two because he's popping out Iron Man fucking nanotech arms and like beating beating up normal humans with these big metal meaty arms. It's weird. I don't feel like that. That's not Spider Man. That's not how Spider Man fights his criminals. It just feels like a techie Spider Man esque, like a Spider Man that because like all the gadgets and stuff are like you know they're I mean, fucking. The, ga- the gadgets were really web based in the first game. 
besides like a few of them uh i mean you got the suspension matrix i mean i would argue the suspension matrix and like the upshot and shit that's that feels less like spider-man but i'm just like whatever it's fun game I, 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 I agree i agree like the suspension matrix doesn't feel as much but it's like like the taser like, webs and the fucking no, uh the taser webs are fine like spider-man electrocuting people like he's tased people all the time not with gadgets but like you know like like tasers are more grounded than robot arms i don't even think they are taser webs i think they're literally just electric bolts he gets it out of the Which taser. Tase they're, they're, they're tasers. It, it's it's exaggerated, but he's still shooting tasers at you. It's like, yeah, like Spider Man's tasing people. Like that's not, that's still grounded shit. That's still like grounded Spider Man stuff. The suspension matrix is pushing it, but it's not, it's not like so insane. Like having nanotech arms. What are the other, the spider drones? I fucking hate those things. The web the spider bombs, drones. The web lines. Well, yeah, the web bombs. Like, I don't have an issue with that. I, like I don't have an issue with the web. I think the web bombs are great. Uh, yeah, impact webbing, uh, trip mines. Trip those mines. are all web based. There's the air blast, the concussive blast. Yeah, the concussive like, blast. It's like yeah. once again, that's I mean, not that crazy. I think yeah, terror. but like you look at the gadgets that he has in the second game. You got the upshot and the concussive blast, which is like one of those was already in the first game. The other one is kind of like a, a suspension matrix that works a little differently. Um the oh, no. i agree the gadgets aren't that bad like they, they're around the same as the first game it's not breaking the limit but they doubled down by shoving arms on your back that you can't take off you can't even ignore them if you're swinging because it's like oh yeah now i can't just boost or jump up high or i'm stuck with a symbiote suit it feels limiting to like spider-man fans that don't like that stuff which is like actually a good many nowadays there's a lot of people that don't like tech spider-man the first game was pushing it. For I mean, a lot I will. And now only thing I'll it, but unavoidable. So the only in the first game you could literally ignore that. You could just not use the. Well, the only thing I'll say and... is I agree it's yeah. a little distracting for some suits that I put on, but I'm just like at the end of the day, I'm just like ah, eh, whatever. I mean, if it takes you out of the, my, I think the rule is if it takes you out of the experience in the Raimi suit, then we have a problem. <laughs> why because in the first game i could just swing around in the rainy suit and well it's, it's not like distracting. yeah but it's like immersion breaking if i'm out here using crazy tech gadgets with fucking Raimi too so it's just like whatever i mean i just yeah, view I mean, it in the yeah, same yeah, light like it's like yeah this feels matrix. a little weird whatever no i agree if you're like using the suspension matrix well even the web like, bomb even... like what is what is Raimi using web bombs and shit out here well yeah like but like the thing is like that's easier to ignore it's much easier to ignore that I don't see how it's. I don't see how the Iron Spider arms aren't easy. Aren't just as easy. Nope, it's bad because they're half of the combat and a good portion of the swing. Like you kind of need them. The gadgets are half swinging. of the combat. I mean, gadgets yeah. are the combat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but spider like, you know, combat. like, like there's a few of them you could still use, like impact webbing with a Raimi suit. Impact webbing is so flexible. It's like you still have a lot to work with. Like, okay, let's say I'm playing with the Raimi suit, and I don't want to be distracted by tech stuff, so all of my abilities I can't use, none of the gadgets I could use, so all I have is... Yeah, but they're making a... Combos. I think you have to acknowledge the whole, like, the fucking... When, when we're talking about Spider-Man, right? Like, there's multiple, multiple different in interpretations of Spider-Man, right? You look at, you look at Miles. Oh, oh, funny, oh, funny how this is barely used for Batman. Well, you look like, at... Well, because we do Batman Arkham, doesn't we really have... Really well, Batman do doesn't have any like fucking what what does even batman have like that's like he a, different he has a lot he has a lot like, claw, no no, no i'm not talking about no, i'm not talking about no, 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 no. i'm not talking there's, about like gadgets and shit i'm talking about there's versions well, that hold on, kill, hold on, there's hold versions on. that like fucking well that's actually interesting because i would like to play a batman game where he uses guns i think that could be cool <laughs> i think that would be cool well, no, no. My point is, it's like funny how we don't have to do this with him. If we play the Arkham games. Well, nobody, I'm. Well, what I wanted like, to bring up. A well, with well, the hold Arkham on. Games. Nobody goes. Well, there's multiple, multiple implications of Batman, guys. No, well, no, no, well, what I want to, well, yes, what I wanted it, to bring up. You, well, hold on, hold on. No, what I wanted. No, 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 well, Batman's well, the point I'm just simply so. trying to make is that the Arkham games and most adaptations of Batman, they don't go so far off the fucking version of the character that it's distracting. There's not there's not a Batman with like speedster powers in the in the video game. Well, that'd be fun for combat. It's a different universe, guys. 
We don't deal with that. But like with Spider-Man, we have to just go, well, yeah, it's a different adaptation, different universe, guys. That's why they did the. That's why they did everything wrong and not well, like. No, how well, no, well, 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 different is. No different what, stuff. I mean, well, that I'm, can be that can benefit a product. Well, but. that's what I'm saying. Well, no, 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 no. Can I, I say I, I, what I, I wanted to say for the past five minutes? Holy shit! <laughs> All right, all right so there's all these different adapt. There's all happening. these different Peter Parkers. There's fucking Miguel O'Hara. There's Spider Gwen. There's there's fucking Miles. Like these people, like the, at the end of the day, they have spider powers and shit, right? But there's different there's differences with the characters. So like, if you're gonna make a Miguel game, it's obviously not gonna feel. It's gonna feel like a Spider Man game, but there's gonna be like things with it that are like, okay, yeah, this is 2099 Spider Man. You play as Miles. You got electricity shooting out of your balls. It's like, okay, <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, yeah I'm Spider-Man, but it feels a little different. So I just viewed the Insomniac thing as like, okay, this is Spider-Man, it's just different. Yeah, but that's that's why I keep bringing up Arkham. We don't have to do that with Arkham. Well, yeah, because Batman's Batman. not as layered of a character with, like, the different shit that he has. Yes, he is. There's uh... literally Batman Beyond. <laughs> Batman be Beyond would be shit. fucking dope! That's not the point. The no, point that is the point. Is... That is the point. If they if they made a, a super oh techy high tech suit Batman like Batman Beyond, like I don't think people would fucking complain. But I mean, with Spider Man, it's a problem. I mean, are you sure about that? Because they complain about the Batmobile turning into a tank. Like well, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, that, well, there's the reasons point. for yeah, that. Yeah, well, there's well there's reasons for that that well, I don't no, think. There's people that literally say you don't. Do you I really like think? Batman do you really sense. think if the the tank's combat system was as in depth as the stealth or combat that people would complain about it as much? Do you really think that? Yeah, there's generally people out there that complain about it just. Well, there's to gonna be people that fucking game. complain about everything. Well, no, well, no, my point is it's like, yeah, you can even go too far with Batman. The problem is they just don't. The most you got is, like, the Bat Tank that people complain about. And even then, that's just wrong. They just didn't do their research. Batman has always had a tank. But the point I, I don't is, really care yeah, if he has a tank or not. I don't even have a problem with that. It's it's, it's not a problem. <laughs> I don't think it's an issue in the story. Or, yeah, I don't think it's or in the g- either. But or, no, I mean, I do think it's an Spider-Man. issue. In the, I don't He's think it... Poor is stupid. Wait, what? Having having a character that's known for his poverty have nanotech arms. Well, he insane. stole that tech. Oh, okay, sure. That he, fixes it. Why weird. does that not he, fix it? He steal st- nanotech. Where the fuck? He got nanotech? it from the underground. Okay, why does nobody else have nanotech? Uh, well, when you look at the uh, like, who needs it? All the criminals who um, stole it. You think nobody's gonna use nanotech? Well, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. In, so they go over this in the prequel comic. I don't exactly know what they do but like there's like these these tech caches or whatever uh where they do this and like peter he said he used the uh he said he used some of otto's old research to help with the arms so it's like the criminals would have to uh one get their hands on the tech if the spider-man haven't already confiscated most of it uh i mean is it okay if spider-man stole an iron man suit and we just have an iron man game though i mean if you stole a fucking iron man suit i don't know why he wouldn't use it well, no, right. well, if he does use it, if he does use it, and that's the game, is that a good Spider-Man game? Is that yeah. good? Does that make you feel like you're Spider-Man? Because there's a difference. Whoa, between- what if well, they- it's, it's, you're, you're saying, you're saying, I don't think, an Iron Man suit just completely changed, it, it's just out of the realm of the character at that point. Whereas Why? the Iron hmm. Spider arms, they're, they're not wow. that out of the realm. Wow. Yes, it is. Why? Or I would say, Spider-Man. what if he stole? What if he stole the? He Iron is a spider, spider like, like, character. Like Hold on. He is a spider character with extra legs shooting out of them that also Spider-Man spin is... webs. Spider-Man is known to be a, a kind of character who has generally low tech equipment. Uh, okay, 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 okay. But he's so, also, so yeah, but he's also yeah, known to be resourceful. Look at it like this. Yeah, Look I was about to like say this. he's what also he known. Stole... He's also yeah. He literally what SK just said. Yeah. Also, look at it like this. He's not (laughs) objaded. He's known to be resourceful, yeah. Well, no, I get he's known to be resourceful, (laughs) but resourcefulness doesn't mean you can literally have future tech on him. What's the f- what Depends is on how- What? We don't even know the extent- Hold on, one, we don't even know the extent of his fucking iron spider arms and how often he can use them. Uh, we don't know how much- if they wear out. We don't know- We don't know that much about them. The fact- he has nanotech is insane. That's pushing it. Uh, not really. Because yes, we don't, we don't. Now. Well, no, we don't. So we don't know the extent of how he can use that nanotech. My issue more comes down to the, the, the how overly futuristic it is. 
the, my issue comes down to the world building for it to be honest because if the nanotech can be used to create those arms i'm just like okay i guess otto never had any of this stuff on him but these no finn, finn, created finn created it finn created it well, SK mentions resourcefulness. Does it take it? Does it take away from him being resourceful in fights if he can rely on over overly like gimmicky tech? No. Oh no! He was resourceful he's in the to get it in the pop first out the place. arms and like solve it for him because like that that's like a huge help. Spider Man is usually a character who has limited abilities and he has to use what he has like around him and shit to win fights. That's what makes Spider Man so exciting. Like in a fight scene and all that. It's like he like when he's fighting Venom, it's not cool that he pulls up tech arms to battle Venom. No, he like tricks Venom and like fucking smacks like, uh, like a baseball like in a on like lo a bunch of lockers to like create the loud noise to like disorient Venom and shit, or like just any fun like spectacular kind of proves the point. That that would make it, it was so much worse if like instead of all the crazy fun creative environmental stuff that he does, he doesn't need to do that because. All righty, uh, I think this is basically just coming down to subjectivity at this point and what you think for this fits with the character. Well, I'm not even talking about me. It, I'm, this is the fans. Spider-Man fans... I don't fans fucking like care about the fans. Spider-Man fans <laughs> complain if the you fucking... Just said, you just said that Insomniac is doing this shit for the fans. Well, no, 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 no. There's They're going to be want, no 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 no. There's gonna be there's gonna be a majority of fans, and then there's gonna be a minority of fans. There's gonna be a there's gonna be fans. People like fucking who won't be named that complain that the classic suit in Spider-Man PS4 has a little notch in one of the black lines. There's gonna yeah, be yeah, fans not, like that. I'm not talking about them. Like there is still at least like a good half of the community that doesn't like tech arms. I'm not even saying it shouldn't be canon for them to have the tech arms even. I don't care if they're canon in the universe, but the fact I can't take them off and just do something I would like for my Spider-Man is just distracting. I don't I think that's just anti-fans. What are you Especially talking about? You don't have to use them. Oh yeah. You don't so have to use them. Combat, so half the combat system I I have to ignore now. It's the same thing with the, not, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but we're but if we're talking about the fans, right? A lot of the fans didn't like how gadget he is. You would agree? Okay, yeah. So maybe you should tr change that into something that that people would be more well. No, 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 know, no, 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 no. With. No, yeah, but Insomniac can Insomniac can take. Okay, do we agree with some with what some of these fans want, or do we think it's in our best interest to make an interesting or something that we think is an interesting combat system based on our. So DNA. Here's the thing. Like you look here's at, well, hold thing. on, hold on. You look at Insom you have, like Insomniac isn't just a Spider-Man studio. If you look at like their games, like Ratchet and Clank, it's a very gadget heavy, very techy focused like thing. And they like to put that like D like uh, they. Whenever I hear, I see interviews like where they talk about it. It's like they like to insert their DNA of the studio and like things that they're known for into their games in ways that make sense. So I I'm mean, not gonna knock them for doing I mean, without, that. What an argument, my like, you, you know, they like they already limited the gadgets in general, like, especially for like Miles, you had like four, and like that's like a thing. People people received Miles very well. Like Miles didn't need to sacrifice too much. You just I don't know. Well, there's people that think it has a better combat system than fucking PS4 for reasons I don't understand. Well, you you wonder <laughs> what the reason is? It's because people so there are people that actually don't like the gadgets and would rather just have superpowers because it's a superpower character why i thought the main complaint was that they took away gadgets in spider-man 2. no um, we're talking because about there was so much more combat variety of like putting trip mines and web bombs and stuff yeah i agree i, I don't agree. know what you're talking about yeah i'm talking about people why they why there's people that like it more which does exist i'm not, I'm not saying i'm not saying i like it more I, I actually do prefer those gadgets i think mm. those gadgets are fine i don't even think they push the threshold of like you know what what doesn't or does or doesn't feel like spider-man like i know that's just, that's has just comes that again i just think it comes down to so, I, there's a difference between yeah i don't care anymore yeah, at this point we're going in circles bro well you bring up like the abilities why can't you why can't we just have web abilities they didn't want to that, that wouldn't take away from the gadgets i mean the combat they didn't want to yeah exactly even though, even though the fans would obviously want that more. Wait, wait. Uh, can I ask something? You said you think the nanotech's on realistic when Finn literally developed it. I'm wait. I'm so confused on I mean, that. I, I wonder never if said it's... it was unrealistic. Oh, just... it's. Just I'm not saying it's unrealistic. I'm saying, I'm saying it takes away from like feeling who, like Spider Man if he starts having the show is not who, reliable. Who? Like, in the who? Cares. <laughs>
I'm the kind of guy who just doesn't use the Iron Spider arm ability in the first game unless I'm like using the Iron Spider. I mean, you're the kind of guy that like every minute you play a video game, you just gain every uh, game. That's crazy. All right, I'm about to fucking end my stream, dude. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. Thank you all for thank you all for. Do Coming not end out. the stream. Do not end the stream. Do not end the fucking stream. Do not do it. Do not end the stream. Do not end it. I would advise. Well, I would advise it. everyone that listened to this to take a shower, maybe twice. Um, Wait, well, I have one last statement. This piece of shit it. muted me. I just saw that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. How can I hear you? I have one last. I You're thought, of, I right thought about it. I had an intrusive thought, so I'm character assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say. That's poor I was writing. Just gonna say one last thing before I head out. Two, uh, two, uh, I just even two one last thought, thought before it ends. Yeah, one last thought before it ends. Okay. Comic speak. question: What did you think about the point regarding Miles letting Black Cat go? Uh, I didn't listen to the full thing. What was the conclusion? No, we just thought the grease was over. <laughs>